All right, this is PK 586 <laughs> with our guest, Matt Fair from the Smoking Tower. I did that on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. Of course. This Matt, episode of PKA yeah. brought to you by Express VPN and Lock and Load. Woody will be coming at some point. At oh, some point, you, he will be here. Why don't you drag it out? Why don't we just leave it ominous? Woody well, I don't want be, people Woody to be can't worried. Be here right now. I do want them to be worried. You, you, you're, Woody can't be right be here right now because of a, uh, a motorcycle crash Rap, no rapid onset pancreatic cancer there was there was a <laughs> motorcycle crash involving a, a very close family member and so um we're taking it minute by minute right now see that's what you're supposed to say <laughs> the, the implication is here that he crashed into a very close family member mm -hmm. like on, on the off motorcycle yeah like he just he, he cracked Me uh, meredith in the pelvis that's well that is what happened <laughs> <laughs> by the way to go to go we have brought to you by lock and load and woody is not coming i think that is a really interesting <laughs> uh way to turn a phrase he in in this way he's or coming he is, he like no coming. one else has came before <laughs> or no one else who doesn't take this product has came before yeah and speaking well, of which kyle i've been like the gorilla mode nitric that shit is awesome Far and away I the best pre-workout. If anybody wants pre-workouts and doesn't like the stim, Gorilla Mode, use code PKA, Gorilla Mode. Uh, the nitric blend is the way to go. Tastes great, too. Yeah, it's it's very, very good. Matt, will you do me a favor before we get started? Will you tap your uh, microphone just so we're a thousand percent sure that's the right one? Nope, not the right one. I knew it. <laughs> this fucking fuck always... <laughs> now, that's interesting. It always switches... Yeah, it'll do that to you. There's always oh, sneaky nonsense going on. I was, on. I was like, Matt's got that fuzzy, about fuzzy mic over there. Now, I'm better no. now. Uh, uh, I don't think I hit it again. What the fuck? Audio. All right, sounds a little different. So keep chatting. Yeah, no, the mic. it's definitely, it's definitely. Hey, yeah, okay, you're yeah, on board. Now. Now you're on board. Now you're getting <laughs> closer to it. That, I remember that happened last time too. That's fucking weird. I'll move it closer to my face, so now you can have the full, the full shit. I'll chinkle my, chinkle my eyes. That's that is what you're Won't doing do right now is what makes me want to be a whiskey man is mm -hmm. I see people like real adults mm. clinking the glass. They sniff it. I don't know mm -hmm. what they're, they could. You guys could be faking it. You could be just sniffing to look cooler like no, I no. assume cigar people do. No, but... it smells better than it tastes, especially bourbon. Ooh. Like there's no there's no alcohol that like tastes good. I'm not going to fucking lie and say that shit. But mm -hmm. like that doesn't taste better than cherry cola. But yeah. it does smell like bourbon has a very sweet kind of like corn, you know, because bourbon's made from from corn, right? So it's got this sort of like you sweetness. gotta get the mic, you gotta get away from the mic. <laughs> I gotta get away <laughs> from like going, no, no, the, the no, just the, the cling. The, 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 I, I'm really interested in what you're saying, but it's going jing, 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 jing. <laughs> I think you're it sounds cool. To fucking you're, far, you know. You're like, you guys, you're like Don Draper over here. And I, see, I'm in charge of your microphone. See, that's what you don't know. When Woody's away, I have to make sure your microphone's okay. And, right. and if I don't, I get I get a spanking. He's a big man. All right, I understand. He's, he's a big guy. I understand. Well, I forgot when was the last time uh, I was on the show. How long ago was it? Oh, maybe three, four uh, months. Yeah. All right. So I haven't, I haven't, I uh, haven't, I haven't smoked weed since August. So oh. it was that. It was after that. It was after I quit smoking weed. So why'd you quit? I was having panic attacks. Oh, from, oh well, from then don't weed do and weed and weed high powered weed products and high powered coffee products combined to create Captain Panic Attack. Well, that's that no sucks. Good. Yeah. yeah, I, I, I never understood why people like wanted to like weed. Where they'd be like, I'll try it again. It's like, Tyler, you have panic attacks every time. He's like, but maybe not this time. And then 15 minutes later, he's like, I did it again. I'm panicking. I know. I kind of want to be like, I kind of want to be like one of those guys that goes into the into the ganja store and is like, can I have like old hippie weed, like the like eight percent, you know, yeah. weed or <laughs> like I almost want to like smoke CBD only weed because I love smoking weed so much, but I actually like don't want the the you know, everything's like 30% THC now I'm, I, or more. Like, I don't, I actually don't, don't it, find that yeah. part that Un enjoyable. Unless you're I mean, like, you can do that. Unless you're like a really high tolerance smoker, because like I, I'm doing the legal Delta eight stuff and that doesn't hit your tolerance with, with regular weed. I took one hit like a few months ago. I think it was mm -hmm. not, not even a few months ago, like a Super Bowl party. And I took like one hit, one small hit out of his bong. And it was the first weed I'd smoked in a long time. And I, I was uncomfortably high. Yeah. For maybe an hour. And like the only reason I like kept with it is like, I was like, you just 
you've been in this war zone before, my friend. <laughs> Fight your way out of it. When they yeah. ask you a question, and then like someone asks you a question like, did you like that commercial? And you're like, <laughs> not really. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, Dan, played that off like a cool customer. <laughs> no, They have no idea that I'm so close to needing medical help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't the know. Second, it's like seriously. the meme of standing in the corner. It's like, they don't know I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Bro, over the, uh, over the summer, like in, uh, I guess it would have been 2021, like before I got, yeah, whatever, before I got my, my COVID vaccine, I would, I would have, you know, 30 ounce or, you know, a big, big coffee, you know, blonde yeah. roast fucking horsepower coffee, take two bingers, you know, first thing in the morning. And then I would proceed to, you know, first have an uh, anxiety attack about how, uh, whatever it was I needed to do that day and how yeah. much, how it was too much. I would never get it done. And then I would, I would manifest COVID symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> and I would and I'd be like going to get tested and shit. And they'd be like, have you been exposed? I'm like, no. Have you do you know anyone who's got COVID? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why the this fuck are you like here? I'm like, well, you see, I took these bong hits and <laughs> there was oh this coffee. And, and this is from weed and coffee. Like, yeah. It might not be yeah. COVID. It could be Ebola. Is there an Ebola <laughs> testing center? <laughs> have you ever done any like harder? Maybe you don't even want to say, but have you ever done any harder drugs ever? Yeah. Like, like, like in in the past, yeah, and I haven't, I haven't like, like I used to in college, I used to sell mushrooms, which I think okay. we've talked about before. That's not a hard drug, though. See, I've got a different definition of hard drugs. Hard drugs to me are like heroin, any heroin, and no negative on there. The, the, the kind that you can buy in a powder. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm DMT okay with cocaine. Once, once I, was I, I, I don't even think of cocaine as a hard drug. I do. It depends if you're. I, it depends what. what like I don't do cocaine. Class here. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Like, like. like I, I did cocaine years and years ago, and I just didn't care for it. And I really didn't like the upper of it either. I didn't. I maybe it was just bad cocaine, but I was just like, this isn't. This isn't a lot of fun, and it seems like a lot of crime to go along with it not <laughs> yeah. being a lot of fun. Like, like that's funny. Yeah, the, 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 the amount of, of crime to, that we are right now versus how much fun I'm having. Yeah, that's an important <laughs> ratio in yeah. all of life. I can be like, an like, asshole without drugs. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like speeding in a Crown Vic. Like you're taking the same amount of risk for your speeding ticket. Like, like if you're gonna speed, yeah. fucking do it in style. Yeah, like, like if you're gonna count. speed, fucking go for it. Yeah. yeah. In, yeah. in in California, there's uh, no difference in points between five over and thirty over. So, what is the argument against going twenty nine over everywhere? That's well, a terrible <laughs> system. Well, the real <laughs> argument we have a lot of terrible systems. Here. The real <laughs> argument, though, of course, is the human factor. You can get that cop, and you can be like, "Look, I know that I'm." technically a, a super speeder right now but <laughs> look how pale i am i know i am um, uh, that's why I, if, if you're driving like a real fast car you can make that argument you can be like look technically i was doing 80 and a 50 but the top speed of this car is 226 so i really hadn't even cracked the tack open much. Or, by or percentage just... i'm going less than that prius you know right a prius doing 80 when it stops it's like that prius was doing three quarters of its potential <laughs> yeah. whereas i was only doing one quarter of my potential so i'm good <laughs> yeah you're being responsible yeah the asshole going 100 miles an hour in a corolla is mm -hmm. a huge douchebag. Mm -hmm. The guy doing a hundred in a Corvette just like leans a little too hard. It's cruising. Yeah. So yeah. We, we go when we go make our car videos, we go up in the mountains, right? And, you know, very early in the morning when, mm -hmm. when they're as quiet as possible. And they're pretty, pretty remote, but but the the mountain range we film in in the Angeles National Forest, it connects Palmdale and Lancaster, which is like desert people with um with <laughs> la so if mm -hmm. you're from certain parts of the desert and you want to avoid you know the major freeways to get to your gig in la uh, as a bunch of people do you would drive over the mountains and so we when we're up there like at 6 37 in the morning we see people coming over the hill the opposite way we call that the palmdale 500 because we see folks in cars that like like from terrible unmaintained econo boxes mm -hmm. to to like yes baby to like box van you know like a big box truck that's just like <laughs> you know like like, like, like just a two two miles an hour from rolling you know? <laughs> it is nuts and so we go the other way <laughs> they need to prioritize those those hoodlums in their vans that should top out at 48 over 
you expertly flying. Well, fortunately, they don't prioritize me really at all. They leave me alone up there. I have, I have a very good relationship with the police. It's really understood that I'm white. No, uh, it's really <laughs> understood that. Um, that and I, I know do, their boss. I do what I do far in the middle of nowhere uh, at, at times when there's as few people as possible. And so um, they kind of leave me alone, which is which is. A nice position to be in if it's your job to drive real fucking sure. fast, isn't it? I remember, <laughs> um, like, I, I was a huge fan of the Opie and Anthony show. Yes, uh, and that used to one be for thing. fucking O and A. Oh, it is loved O and A. I spent I, I've spent more hours listening to O and A than I've spent talking to my parents combined in my entire <laughs> life, <laughs> and it's and it's not even a close comparison. That's more but, about his home life than anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I remember. Because Anthony Cumia would always be talking on the show about like how he was going a hundred miles an hour in his Escalade, and I'm like, on the Long in, in, yeah, in New York, like <laughs> that seems really hard. But apparently, they had because he donated a certain amount to like the, yeah. the cops ball. They yeah. give you like cards, yeah. and when he would get pulled over, he could like show like, hey, I'm a this level donor to the policeman's ball, and yeah. they would go, all right, have a wonderful day, Mr. Cumia, yeah. and it's like that. That is. So corrupt, nope. but also so cool. So in LA, that makes so much sense one. now. You remember the episode of Sopranos when Tony gets pulled over and he's trying to show the guy, he's like, I had dinner with your boss last yeah. week. <laughs> you know, he's, he's like trying to show him his like whatever. He's card. got a badge. I think he has a yeah. badge in his wallet. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like the commissioner of, of policemen or something yeah. himself as the biggest crook in town. And the, and yeah. the guy's just like not having it at all. Ends up working mm -hmm. at the garden supply store. In LA, there's a there's an even more uh, out in the open one which is called the 1199 foundation and if mm -hmm. uh if some if zach wants to throw up 11-99 foundation um we could you could share that link but it's you get it's not even a card you don't even have to be pulled over you get a license plate frame oh it says really? just on your car i am i am this big this big dick and okay what's really <laughs> what's truly amazing about the 1199 foundation is not that uh, it exists because that's not shocking at all. You know, mm -hmm. you donate to whatever and you get, you get this fucking thing. It's pretty, you got to get a lot of, you got to give a lot of money to get the 1199 license plate for It's a couple grand you got to give to get the frame. Is it but, like every um, year or just one time? I, well, you, they don't fucking repossess the frame. Yeah. What is that? Entry levels, three oh. G's up to a hundred. <laughs> Dude, you want that jacket for sure. You got to have the jacket, right? Yeah, I can't. I, it's it's real small. I can't read what it's. So if someone wants to read off what it says, you get for a hundred on the a hundred uh, personalized platinum award, platinum level watch, <laughs> special recognition level in the watch. yeah platinum level watch, special recognition in the eleven ninety nine foundation annual report, invitations to exclusive events, platinum jacket with eleven ninety nine logo. That's a winner. Mm -hmm. Laptop backpack, messenger bag, duffel bag, a lot of bags. Drop a toiletry bag. Two coffee tumblers, eleven ninety nine logo cap, two license plate frames per member. Oh, that's the thing that's at the bottom the thing. though. Leather no, registration no. holder, plastic it's ID card. Though. Leather but this is most of this is garbage except a, for the last one. They give you a brass ID card, engraved name and member ID. It's not even so they're gonna give you like two. Do you know what word things. they're not using there? That they're not using the B word. Brass ID card with engraved name is a badge. That's a yeah. badge, bro. <laughs> I want a badge. Wait, go That's back to what badge. was the what was the lowest? Um, how what was the minimum you could give to get a license plate frame? Because it's really yeah. about the license plate frame is really what it's about. Yeah, um, let's see. Pull pull that back up, Zach. Let's see. How what's much really you... amazing about the about the, oh three Zach says three K. You get the license plate frame for three K. Oh, so that's actually yeah, quite a good value. I want the duffel bag. <laughs> I want the coffee. All right, I'll give you three K, but I want. But the it's coffee a different tumbler. color. <laughs> Just to be clear, like the the the, the plates, the plate frames are come in different colors mm -hmm. with different letterings, and mm -hmm. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, you got the plastic shit, bro. Get in the back of my car. Yeah. The cops have the cheat sheet in the squad cars for sure. Dude, for for a hundred grand, I should also be able to arrest people. <laughs> they do give you a badge. Yeah. <laughs> I should be able to like you're an honorary cop, but the real kind, you get a gun. A hundred k. I want I want to be able to run blue and red lights on my car. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, that would be awesome. No, be but like what's crazy is like you'll see in California, um, it's the only state where if you, it's illegal to have your car registered in a different state. 
So if you live in Georgia, no one gives a shit that your car is registered in Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. No, just nobody cares. But California, because of taxes and because of smog, they want you registering your car in California. So if you have a California driver's license, even if you have 10 homes, if you have a California driver's license and you have like 10 homes all over the country and you have cars in California, technically you are required to register those cars in California. That's that's the law here. Mm-hmm. And so what's amazing is when you see the CHP 1199 frame around like a South Dakota tag on a Pagani. Like that's <laughs> like, or like or around like the like a month like I saw the most bootlicking the most bootlicking I've ever seen was a a Montana tag, which a Montana tag just, you know, you don't have to live there. You start an LLC. It's a couple hundred mm-hmm. bucks. There's no tax. It just Montana plates in California just scream, fuck your taxes. I'm not paying them. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have a real awkward conversation if you get pulled over with a Montana tag. But people doesn't mean people don't do it. But I saw a car that was eight hundred thousand dollars with a Montana Blue Lives Matter plate <laughs> and the, the eleven ninety nine frame on it. And I was like, whoa, you are simultaneously uh bootlicking and defunding the police. <laughs> I like that. That's like that's like a that's like a combo in a game. I'm playing both sides. He's he's min maxing. His, his character. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, that's so good. It was bold, man. It was really bold. <laughs> <laughs> So then there's going to be some confused cops. He's got the border. Oh, He's got the mm. duffel bag, but he mm. doesn't he doesn't he have the right to He's beating people up and road side stops, but he's not giving yeah. tax dollars. I was thinking the other day, like the 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 current cannonball run, the coolest one in the world, is to drive from Kiev into Mariupol right now with some supplies. <laughs> and I yeah. was just wondering if you had any, Tim, if you thought about Can, that. Like, cannonball. Like, like, the like, like, <laughs> maybe some sort of souped up six wheel like transport vehicle oh, wow. like a batmobile kind Russian of thing. cannonball yeah well they have the um they have the uh the peking to paris which is a a vintage race across you know china mongolia russia and all of western europe that's a real thing and i think wow. you have to do it in pre-1973 is the the cutoff. okay um, so people do it in like right. Citroens and Datsuns and shit from the fifties. It's kind of, it's pretty G actually. Like turn, turn a car from the fifties into like a ra- off-road rally car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a pretty boss move. Yeah. I would like to see that Jeez. now. No, I, I'm serious about the, that thing because I, they're, they're literally trying to make that run right now. Like, like. <laughs> And, and vehicles. They, no who's way. they? And uh, any like, run would be. Any like, run like, would be don't right imagine rich Americans and Europeans like stre- putting their goggles on and like. Yeah. Dude, I'm, like, I'm so like, stupid. No. I was imagining Getting people racing. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, like wait, this is the, this is not the time. <laughs> Richard Branson's over there, like, all right. <laughs> but like, if you did that race, any time would be record breaking. No one's done it. Oh, they have done it. It just wasn't a timed event. It was like you made it, you lived, you won. <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend named Alex who uh, he at one point had the New York to L.A. cannonball record. He doesn't anymore, but he decided to just start coming up with with random cannonballs yeah. to have the record. So there was like <laughs> the three wheeler uh, cannonball record, uh, the you know Denver to Miami, you know <laughs> fastest fastest car from Alaska to Key West or whatever. I was like. Yeah. You can have a record if you're the first person ever. You, can, you have to use like specific things. Like I'm going to set the record for the race from my friend Jeff's house to Tampa. <laughs> yeah, they don't know exactly. where Jeff lives. They can't exactly. compete. Exactly. Like, <laughs> that's how you win. That's yeah. how you cheat your way when you're not good at racing. Dude, COVID the 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 first couple months of the uh, of the COVID uh, you know lo- quote lockdown mm-hmm. was I mean the the fucking cannonball record was broken like seven times in six weeks. Yep. People were running. I mean, running. And the record went from uh, my friend Alex did a 3104, and this is from the Red Ball Garage in, in Manhattan to the Portofino Inn in Redondo Beach. That's the official official mm-hmm. route established by Brock Yates in the 70s. And um, he, was, he did 3104. But it's now, I think there might be a run in the 25s. Like, Jesus. 25s. Let me tell you how crazy. You need to have an overall average, like an including stops, an mm-hmm. overall average 
over a hundred miles an hour. That's stupid. including stops. All right, so so that meant okay. So he's he's actually averaging like hundred and forty or something. Yeah, yeah, you're doing <laughs> not that fast. But so, like so this is this is this is really a, like how, a contest of how long can you hold your no shit the way no. it's done now. I mean the way that the 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 couple of guys who have gone back and forth in the <clears> the, the real the in the the middle twenties, they have a, a, the same strategy that they've executed in different ways, which is mm-hmm. they have a very fast but fairly generic looking German sedans. They then use vinyl to make them look like other cars. So this dude fucking wrapped up his Audi S8. <laughs> and made it look like a Taurus S A <laughs> so If you were, if you know, if you really look at it for like a couple seconds, you go, "Oh, that's you." I see what you've done there. But at a hundred plus going by you, you're not, you can't fucking tell the difference. And then, and then they tune them up with these German, you know, these German uh, big turbos and and stuff like that. They're running eight nine hundred horsepower in these silver or white sedans, and then they they have a. 60 gallon fuel cell in the trunk. Oh my god, it is shady. <laughs> I don't They're understand. Two, like, like two stops across country. I imagine stops. them wearing do they now? I guess they don't wear helmets because that would be outrageous. That would be do stupid. They, but I bet they put their gloves on. They probably have gloves. They put at their gloves speed, on. The, they should put up a uh, one sided would help actually. I have mean, you is, seen really those? Really would, yeah. yeah, have you seen those one sided decals where you can see through them <laughs> but know. other people can't see in? Yeah. yeah, if you did one of those with like an elderly white woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like they'd be like, yeah. oh, she's just out of control. A little. No, the guy, uh, the guys. I think they're not the current holders, but I think it was one or two back. They turned a Mercedes E63. Uh, they got what was called an AMS Alpha Nine package on it, which was 900 horsepower. And then they, I couldn't believe what they did with the vinyl. It looked just like a Honda Accord. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really cool. They they changed the tail lights to look exactly like Accord. <laughs> Tail lights. It was wild, wild, wild stuff. And they're just oh, trying man. to not be as eye catching and like grab somebody's attention when they do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, in traditional cannonball lore, you know, back in the in the eighties and seventies, they they would the the winners would be driving Ferraris and stuff, which makes yeah. absolutely no sense mm-hmm. in in modern uh, times. Not only is the car way too flashy and attention grabbing, yeah, um, but <clears throat> but uh, you there's nowhere to put enough fuel. Um, oh, good you, point. You yeah. really need a, a 60 gallon cell, which is like, you know, plus the stock 20 gallon tank. You're running, you're running 80 gallons of fuel. And there's um, the modern German um, turbocharged like super sedans. You don't have to do much. I mean, you can put different injectors, different fuel pumps, different turbos, intercoolers, mm-hmm. and ECU tune, and and you can make 900 horsepower. I mean, easy, easy. It's not even like. You're not even stressing the car out. I mean, it's easy. Yes. <clears throat> to me, the most impressive part is evading a pullover because one is all it takes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. one and you're fucked. Yeah, if you get pulled no. over, your your record is uh, well. Who cares about run. like the legal ramifications? It's not going to be that bad. No, the records, the record runs done. Yeah, if, you get the if, it's, a, if it's a half hour yeah. stop, you're fucked. What if it? What if it happens like twenty miles from the finish line and you're on the verge of the record? Do you Take the arrest. To, do Go. you pedal to the metal and, and, and like let them arrest you at the Portofino parking lot? You're bro. like, you know, I Stand was going to break the record by <laughs> by three minutes. Now I'm going to break it by twelve. And you just, <laughs> you just floor it. Yeah. It's and it's, then you just um, like bank on it being like Dumbledore rules from the police department, where they're like, or, you did it so fast, we're giving you the key to the city. Or you Not bank on you bank on the fact that like a lot of people on on like street bikes, it's like. Catch me if you can. I doubt it. And you just leave them behind, right? Like on a bike, like if you want to leave the cops, you just leave the cops. There's a guy named George Egloff, and most people have never heard of him and never will. But he did all five original cannonballs in the 70s and 80s solo on a motorcycle. And he is one of the most hardcore human beings in 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 <clears throat> motorsports history, having never competed in any official motorsport. <laughs> but he's in my friend uh, my friend's documentary, and this guy is completely fucking out of his mind. <laughs> what was his time? Do you have any idea? I think it was in the 30s, 36, 37. He actually okay. had to stop and like sleep for a little bit. Yeah, I was going um, to say. 
Man. Is there any uh, any pushback <clears throat> from people who won the cannonball pre like the roads being 100 percent open with the lockdown who are like, yeah, there was that there should was, be asterisked. Yes, there are a lot of people who uh, who were saying that covid cannonballs should be asterisks. Yes, there were people who said that. Do you, what do you think about that? I mean, look, I don't endorse any cannonballs. <laughs> I, think it's very, I think it's very dangerous. Yeah. It's very dangerous. And although I respect the ingenuity involved, um, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely don't endorse cannonballing. Um, the people that do it seemingly are good. You know, I know some of them. They seem to be good drivers. They seem to be well prepared. There's never been a really major accident that mm-hmm. I've ever heard about. Um, and, and they do it in a way that they're able to avoid, you know, being caught. And then there's other fun ones too. There, there are vintage cannonballs where you got to use a car pre 1980 or whatever. And that, that I'm interested in. Yeah. yeah, That seems like actually a little, a little more interesting and fun. And that's true of all motorsports. If you ask me, because like one of the reasons I, I don't, I don't care for F1 because Mm. it's, I don't know. they those aren't really cars anymore at some mm-hmm. point. It's like, it's like, man, y'all have just, you put wheels on a plane yeah. and you change <laughs> you the aerodynamic the upside down. And yeah, yeah, you change the aerodynamic so yeah. it can't fucking take off. Yeah. And, and now you've strapped these poor little Italian men in them <laughs> and you pay them millions of dollars a year to risk their lives. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm not super into that. And, and like, don't think of me as like a redneck Nash car guy. Cause like, Jesus, turn left some more, bro. Like, like I, I get it. <laughs> NASCAR uh, on road courses is where it's at. NASCAR like on road that. courses is very good. That's very I, good entertainment. I was, a, I was the lone Jeff Gordon fan growing up. So, like, when, when they would go out uh, west and hit the road courses, I was, I was always like, yes, this is how you do it. Now we see who knows how to drive. It was, it was, uh, that was, that was, that was always fun. But I like when they're handicapped in some way. Like, like sure, I, I would, I would like to, like, like, nah, we're only going to drive cars between 1970 and 1971, made in a very specific region of Germany. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's all there's all different kinds of um, vintage racing out there. Uh, most of it's not like broadcast on TV, but, yeah. but there is some really interesting stuff. Um, Goodwood, um, mm-hmm. they have um, some really good stuff just on their Instagram. Let me. Uh, it's uh, Goodwood R R C. Goodwood Road and Racing, and um, that's uh, that's in England, the Goodwood Circuit. And that's all about vintage racing. And just the clips they post on their Instagram are fucking sick. Dudes racing cars from the 20s in the rain, <laughs> like fully locked up sideways. I mean, it's so good. Uh, I follow that. Goodwood Revival and FOS Goodwood, which is the Festival of Speed. Um, that's a hill climb they do every year. Um, the Goodwood shit on Instagram, you guys are must follow because they've got – you know, Lamar cars from the sixties and $25 million Ferraris and then shit from the twenties. That looks like, you know, carts. Yeah. Oh, the saloon class. Yeah. We've got the saloon wow. the that's awesome. Lotus and Ford saloon class racing. And, to yeah. me, like, like that's the sort of thing that, that might, act, we might actually get to the bottom of who's the better driver. I don't, and maybe that's not even the point of most motorsports. Maybe people don't care who's the better driver, but like, maybe it's just about the spectacle of the race. Um, yeah, well, but, some some do, but you know it's it's um it's there's a national pride, mm-hmm. you know uh, there's a there's a there's a manufacturer thing that's sort mm-hmm. of like just like a team in in uh in there and and there and there are you know in NASCAR specifically uh it's where the cars really are more the same it's uh it is more about the driver in Formula One it could be about mm-hmm. the manufacturer or the country mm-hmm. um, in Le Mans. It's certainly about the manufacturer more so than the driver itself. NASCAR is, I think, a little more about the driver. IndyCar is certainly about the driver because all the Indy cars are literally the same. Mm. Um, but uh, there's a you know there's a new NASCAR this year. They have a brand new car. Um, oh, and a it's new a generation. Pretty, yeah, and it's a pretty neat thing actually. I just went to that. I was at the race they had at the L.A. Coliseum. Did you guys see that? There was a race in the football stadium. They built you know, a fucking track. Now that you wild. mention it, I uh, I saw I think I saw just a, a screenshot mm-hmm. um, from the race. Maybe there's a crash, and uh, I did remember thinking like that doesn't look like the cars that I remember. Wow, yeah, that so does here, look slick. There's the new cars. It does um, look nice. There's a, there's actually quite a lot of differences beyond just the looks. They have 
um, sequential gearboxes now instead of a traditional H pattern uh, mm -hmm. manual gearbox. They have 18 inch wheels uh, with center lock tires instead of the 15 inch wheels they had before with the five lug nuts. So mm -hmm. it used to be doo, 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 doo. now it's they hit it one, once. Once they hit it once, just like uh, just like I don't like that one. <laughs> I, I the, do, yeah. do, 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 do. like that's very I, cool. I, 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 no, but but here's the thing though. Like like the more complicated a pit stop is, the more skill it requires to perfect one, right? So sure. like 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 we see this in in like video game speed runs, right? Like if it was mm -hmm. a very easy thing to do, then the speed run would get down to like the base minimum, and e but everyone would have the same score. Like yeah, we all do it in three seconds. I feel well, like they're you just described electric cars doing zero to sixty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all fucking dragsters. Yeah. Well, that, I, I mean, that's a that's an argument. I mean, people that people have made the argument you just made that going from the five lug nuts to the to the center lock one, it makes it less interesting. Yeah. But it, then it again, true. like like this, how how many fans give a fuck about Richard Childress teams, <laughs> left rear tire changer guy they they recruited him out of bama <laughs> he was they found him in a little mom and pop store he was yeah. zipping them off so fast they couldn't believe does, it does do any of those people cheer for like the woo get that tire off like do i've never <laughs> well, been to a nascar they I, do but the car well, the race is so loud i can't it. hear them yeah i don't know the race <laughs> is loud off. as fuck <laughs> how funny would um, that be if, if the one guy had had a gun in each hand <laughs> <laughs> they also, those cars also they've got like different a little bit different Call layout the different suspension. they are much more like um in australia they have a series called v8 supercar um which is a really neat series it's it's almost like watching nascar on the road courses where they turn left and right and 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 the cars are mostly the same but they're a little more advanced than nascars and and these new cars um, are a lot like those those V8 supercars. They're pretty. It seems like they're pretty cool, actually. I get your point, Kyle, about the um, about the five lug nuts. Yeah. But it's been interesting, and it'll probably get more uniform as we get throughout the season. But it's been interesting watching the teams like learn in real time, like mm. how to do fucking pit stops on these things. Uh, and the pit stops are getting faster for sure. Yeah. Oh, I bet. To do. Yeah. I bet for sure. I yeah. like it when it's uh, when it's dangerous as well. So like, <laughs> me too. That's why the vintage racing is fun. Yeah, and, and and maybe that's not maybe that's not a cool thing to say because you know we have lost some like fucking drivers over the years occasionally and yeah. But, but uh, man, it's like, hilarious. It's not cool to say that you like watching crashes and then like the compilation highlight reel will be like fucking two minutes of just crash. It's like, how dare you now watch this? Like not once <laughs> in that compilation will be someone like doing a slick move and coming from the outside and darting in and like outplaying somebody and going for the win. Oh yeah. my God. He moved up so far with those last 18 laps. Dude, yeah, every lap he gained an inch and then he won. <laughs> that was actually what was really cool about the, that football stadium thing, the LA Coliseum was because you could see the entire track. It was right there. You could actually watch as someone gained a couple of feet okay. per lap. And that actually made it um, as an in-person spectator uh, quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what NASCAR would have to do or any racing sport to like get me as a fan fan because it's kind of, I don't know. The only Have thing you I really tried to survive on Netflix. <clears throat> no, More I recommend that. That that has been really good for Formula One, and it because it it tells you the whole backstory and the narrative of what's going on with the drivers and the teams, especially the ones outside. You know, the top three. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I mean, it's it's a very well made series, and and it's it's done amazing things for Formula One's viewership, for people who weren't are not the um, the front runners that necessarily would get all the traditional media coverage. And I, the 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 fourth season premieres uh, tomorrow, I think. Friday. See, I like I like white trash sports though. <laughs> I need some uh, respect. Respect. I need some. Uh, <laughs> I need some drama involved. Like I need. Well, there's to know. a guy named Cletus McFarland. You know him? No, that but sounds, I love him that already. Sounds, is that yeah. the is that the Simpsons character? <laughs> it might as well. It's a, it sounds like a Simpsons name, doesn't it? Nah. He's a YouTuber. And Brian he, Dane, bring me some more food for our eleven kids. <laughs> Pretty 
much. I think so. No, this motherfucker bought a racetrack in Florida, like a okay. dilapidated racetrack, and has uh, YouTuber uh, races. Like he literally buys fleets of Crown Victorias and has fucking pay per view, straight up pay per view. And sells tickets to spectators and has YouTubers and professional racing drivers and personalities come race Crown Vix. There's one, I don't know if it's this week. It's like there's one in a couple, I think April 1st. It's called the Freedom 500. That's awesome. You, That's how really you cool. don't know this fucking guy, I'm shocked because this guy and you would get right along. This motherfucker bought a tank. Uh, he bought one of those, uh, that ripsaw thing off of Kanye. You know that ripsaw tank? No. You know what a ripsaw is? Um, not off the top of my head, no. It's uh, Zach, get us a photo of a rip saw because it's pretty fucking amazing. It's like a if, if you took a tank and made a sports car, a sports car tank. Oh, this so, is uh, awesome. He owns like, this? Yeah. <laughs> he bought it off of Kanye. Oh he bought it off of Kanye. <laughs> yeah, he did. He actually bought it off of Kanye. Yeah, that's it. It's oh, that's like a like- two-seater sports car tank. That's absurd. That looks it's like a, uh, one of the futuristic fighting vehicles that the U.S. is making right now. A kind kind of. of, yeah. It's not. It it's not a, armed in any way. It needs yeah. a gun on it. It, it. Hooning and going around and going and fucking around with. Yeah. The way this picture. I, I gotta say, this picture looks fake as shit, though. Like, like I believe that the, the man has one, but this picture in particular, like, I don't know. The the, the scale seems off. This looks like a miniature. It, it, it looks yeah, like it looks it's like, six inches long. It looks like forced perspective, but uh-huh. it's real. look at the gravel think, like under it. I think it's like iPhone portrait mode or something. Yeah. yeah that <laughs> but that is, I mean, that is basically what it looks like. And, it's and this dude, this dude, uh, his real name's Garrett, but like he's, fi- he's fucking figured out his hustle, man. He's got this racetrack. He's having these YouTuber races. He's just fucking fucking around. I mean, doing all the kinds of shit you'd want to do if you had a racetrack to yeah. play with. And, and I mean, then, oh, oh, by the way, he bought a t- <laughs> you know, I was going to ask if you if you knew anybody who did that because <clears throat> it whatever's going on, uh, whenever this thing in Ukraine ends, however it ends, there might be an enormous amount of tanks for sale. Oh, dude, you've seen Operation Odessa, right? <laughs> no, I don't know what what. what Get the what's fuck that? out of here! You don't know what this is? No, mm. it's a documentary about this guy no, no, who no. is like a fucking coke runner in Miami. And owned like a strip club. His name, I think his name was fucking. He had a hilarious Tarzan. His name was Tarzan, I think. <laughs> and he helped buy, after the fall of the USSR, helped buy Soviet military equipment for Pablo Escobar, up to and including a nuclear submarine. That's oh, no. a big get. How you haven't? How you guys haven't seen this, this story? No, so I haven't they, seen it. They're Not buying. They're buying choppers. They're buying tanks. And then they eventually, uh, you know, not to give away, it's a documentary. They eventually all get arrested and go to prison when they attempt and are basically successful. I mean, they're not successful in getting the submarine from mm-hmm. uh, Russia to. Colombia, but they are successful in meeting with ex-Soviet brass and negotiating a price and picking a sub. And like they were about to get a fucking nuclear submarine for Pablo Escobar. That's ridiculous. And the guy's fucking name is Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, his, his name was Ludwig Tarzan Feinberg, <laughs> which is a very out of left field. It doesn't rhyme with his name, Tarzan. No, <laughs> no. but when you see a photo of him, he really looks like a Tarzan. Honestly, <laughs> it was. I, I don't know if it's still on Netflix. It was before, but it is fucking bad shit. But you're right. It's it's like it's what you're talking about, <clears throat> but 25 years ago. Yeah, I got to look into that now. It's no, it's crazy. Oh, I get the Tarzan. This guy had tremendously thick, luscious locks of hair <laughs> yes. for many years. <laughs> yes, yes, I think right now. I think right now, <laughs> if I set my mind to it, I could have a tank in three days. I think if I flew to Ukraine, and they would have me, and they're like, <laughs> they, they allow you to come. Like, there's a whole website to coordinate. It's like, it's like you want to come fight some Ruskies, and you like click yes. I'm from Denmark, and they're like. Then it changes to fucking your language of choice, and you start signing up for how to join the Ukrainian like resistance army, and they they get you there, and they arm you, and they send you in. So like, seems like if I could get there, 
And from what I, everything CNN has told me, and I believe them, <laughs> there's just Russian takes lying about. If I've got a jerry can full of diesel, a jumper cable, and and, and like a little bit, like five YouTube videos, are you I feel like home? I can have a T72. It's a, what do you mean? How am I going to get it home? I'm going to drive, drive it. That's bro. true. It's a tank. Who's going to stop you? <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. We're going to start flying that Ukraine. One of the guys with the anti-tank rockets might. So I got to let him know right away that, you know, it was just a bit and the character was was Russian, but I'm not. They need to know that right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wear just a, a, a blue and yellow track a shirt, suit, no a shirt, camo. A shirt that just says, it was a bit, guys. Yeah. In, <laughs> in Russian is an appropriate. <laughs> I thought more people would understand professional Russian as a joke. <laughs> Look, if, if, if this had happened 10 years ago, I would have went, I think, for the, for the sake of making videos. Um, I really think I would have, and I'm so surprised that nobody's like cool enough on How YouTube Jake to do Paul that anymore. Not already there. I mean, like, I feel like well, Jake because Paul because he's got he's it. setting he, up the boxing match with Putin. Yeah, yeah, he's all good. He's all good. He, he, he just beats the ever loving shit out of Putin in a YouTube. Did he fuck off match. to Puerto Rico? Uh, Jake um, Paul? I have no I idea. Think he, I think too. he. I think he dipped out to Puerto Rico. I think he was like, "Fuck these taxes. I'm gonna go to Puerto Rico." Oh where, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, him. As Zach says, him and Logan. Went to yeah, Puerto yeah. Rico. Nice. It's a family yeah, no, thing. They got rid of those taxes, but they and and it was right before they started really making money too with those like mm -hmm. eight ten million dollar deals for boxing. Yeah, that's well, crazy. Good for him. Probably but living I, in a giant. If it was ten years ago, and you went to get a tank in Russia. I would. Uh, I'd watch that video. I would. You'd have the, my click. I, I, I can't be believe. Video. Look. YouTubers used to be a little more hardcore. I'm shocked that none of, nobody has gone. And I, nobody's vlogging from Ukraine right now, like <laughs> daily and like doing cool shit. And I'm just saying, like, you are missing out on so much money, like, like yeah. so much money. I'm a felon. It's hard for me. I, I, can't remember, I can't even remember the password to my YouTube channel. Like, I can't upload anyway. Like, take advantage of this, boys. Somebody needs to be over oh, there right now God, doing a silly so accent, funny. talking about killing Russians. Make your character. Make a make a prank video over there. <laughs> Go guy. prank a Russian uh, soldier. If you just did like first person, you know. Go fucking, pros all over you. Just <laughs> turn yourself into oh, yeah. like like a uh, like an Oculus filming like device. Dude, ultimate grenade prank. Hundred million views. I'm waiting to see like Google Street View driving through Kiev. That's what I think. Of, like. <laughs> Dude, like, like, there's no reason to, to not go. I mean, you you could die, right? But, there's a but, couple like, reasons. Well, that's people yeah, risk a huge I, reason. People risk their lives for less all the fucking time. Like, like, I've never like, been to Ukraine. What if I don't like the food? Jose well, Andres is over there. Waste a trip. Wasted Wasted trip. Trip? I'm here for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to let the world <laughs> events dictate my vacation plans. <laughs> so you want to hear about you want to hear about the least important story of this war? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, Porsche gets the material for their ceramic brakes from the Ukraine, and so Porsche has run out of ceramic brakes. <laughs> oh no! You know, um, I think be yeah, there's back. a. There was a couple other industries that are hurt by um, yeah. Ukraine's exports, and it's really specific little niche things like that. Yeah, but and, but it's and it's easy to be like, oh, who cares? The Porsche guys don't get their brakes, but it's like, come on, let them get their. There's lots. Of, there's well, a the of little you know what? Like Here's why I know this. <laughs> <laughs> because, you're a Porsche guy who needs some brakes. <laughs> yeah, because I can't get brakes. Um, I don't. I'm sure. Shocker. Did, did you guys see that uh, my car? Uh, that I ordered was on the boat that fucking caught on fire and no! <laughs> Are you kidding yeah. me? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. That's my car is so my car was first melted in a lithium fire, and then it was it's now it's now resting at the bottom of the fucking Atlantic Ocean. Dude, what kind of car was it? <laughs> a Boxster Spider. A brand new one? Yeah. Oh how much brand new built built for me. Like 120 grand. It's yeah. fucking expensive. Yeah it's expensive. It's really holy expensive. shit. Yeah. So what they 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 get you they're back for that, another right? One. Yeah, they're, they're building oh, another one. Yeah, of course yeah, yeah. he can't be responsible for the ship going no, no, down. No, it's in What if they wrote I, I didn't you a letter? I didn't pay for it yet. <laughs> they, were for like, it yet. They, they were like, "Did you buy?" It is with boat? a heavy heart we <laughs> inform you. <laughs> Did you buy the boat insurance? <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking talking? The boat yeah. insurance for your car. <laughs> yeah. No. Fortunately, the boat has the boat insurance. Dearest Matthew, we've encountered. Yeah. 
calamity on the high seas. <laughs> <laughs> With a heavy heart, we regret to inform you. <laughs> Portia we will not was not. Be building you a new yeah, they they were all uh, you know sorry, um, <laughs> but then they, you know they're going to replace you with the car, right? And then they yeah. and then which is okay, you know I don't I don't mm-hmm. I don't. I don't really care. There's people who have real fucking problems right now, not me yeah, having to yeah. wait for a car. And uh, and then they ran out of ceramic. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't get ceramic brakes. Now, fortunately, I was able to buy ceramic brakes from a guy. <laughs> Okay. Ah, black market they, dealer. They were yes. actually they were supposed to go on a Ukrainian <laughs> tank. They ripped them right off of it, sent them to Matt. Couldn't, couldn't help but notice your little brake problem. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose so, hypothetically, someone could procure this for you. <laughs> the so there's, yeah, there's a guy who's got the, the interestingly the guy the people the people who go to racetracks a lot the track day people they take the ceramic brakes off and they put steel brakes on because the steel brakes are a lot less expensive to replace if you wear them out and so the guy who builds the race cars actually had a set of brand new ceramic brakes that i was able to buy uh and so when my new car arrives we can put them on here (laughs) yeah they ran out of ceramic uh, brakes i saw the I saw that cargo ship go up, and it was just such a shame to see. So, like, like I didn't want to look into what cars were on there. I oh, was, I, there's a lot. Because, because I was just imagining, like, like it doesn't matter. Just, just imagine so many precious, beautiful things that got burnt up. Why did, how, do, do do they know the cause of the fire? Like, oh yeah, what, what eight dollar light lithium batteries? Yeah, it was an EV fire. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but you guys, I'd electric cars are good for the environment, right? Holy up until they're fucking not. I, I don't eleven hundred think... Porsches were on board. Total yeah. value three hundred thirty-five million. Have they 1100 ever hundred Porsches? There's like fifteen hundred Audis. There was yep. uh, a bunch of Lamborghinis. Have they like, done like a net CO two emission thing for like an elect an EV vehicle where it's like all right because it takes X amount of like. Um, CO2 emissions, if, if we're going to use that as a barometer to like right. make the battery. Right. Uh, like, how long do you have so, to drive it before you, yeah, you start before the saving net, before the world? The net. It, it, so it gets a little tricky, because, and we're assuming the car doesn't burn to the ground, by the way. That's a different story. Mm-hmm. That's a assuming, huge... Net, you have to average those in. Yeah. Assuming normal operations, um, it actually... De- your net CO2 depends on what state you live in oh, because that. states that you know uh, it makes the math complicated because if you live in california and your your electrical power comes from a cleaner source versus living somewhere that's burning fucking coal it's a it's a it's a bit of a different mm-hmm. thing god in damn it you're right cases most cases it's cleaner to drive an ev total than it is to drive a inefficient gas car. If you're okay. talking about mm-hmm. a very efficient gas car, like a Corolla, you know. You know, the real problem though is that it doesn't fucking matter anyway because the percentage of CO two emissions that come from like, I don't know, American cars don't it's just a drop in a bucket. To drop. Well, in a bucket. yeah, I mean it's a global problem. It is. A, it's a global problem. We all fucking obviously. But, but it's too late. It's too late. I don't know if it's too never late, say never. It's too it's, late. It's, why do, I don't know how why do, people. How do we know? Come on, dude. I don't know why nobody wants to give up on this yet. Like, like, <laughs> just just like, give up on it. Double like, down. Like, no, don't Bad double down. Head. Don't double down. I'm not saying that. But like, there was a lot of climate deniers that took a real big <laughs> leap from it's not real to it's real, but it's too late. So fuck it. Like, there's no, a lot I, of people that took a cast. I never understood climate deniers because I was indoctrinated from like kindergarten. We I remember this this like video we watched with like penny stacking up to explain yeah. CO2 emissions because a kid can understand a penny. And yeah. it's like this <laughs> like when we when we get eighteen dollars, we all die or something like that. I don't yeah. remember what the what the moral of the story was, but I remember yeah. at four and a half, five and a half years old being like the world's getting hotter because of like burning things and making smoke. Sure. And we need to burn less things. Sure. So like, and uh, at, from from five, I knew that. As Americans, thirty five. As thirty five. But Kyle, do you remember this? Like, I remember getting those lessons also. I'm a little younger than you, but I remember like the end point of like, and calamity happens, and whatever year they told us. I remember my thought being like, 
this is bullshit. Why am I even in school? What what am I learning for? Like, oh, can I Grandma just go home? We're gonna die anyway. Like, the world's Why gonna don't end. I just do art. Fuck but it. I'm gonna get my high school diploma and then walk out into the sea and drown. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's what they made it sound like. And I'm like, this is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> shouldn't we, shouldn't we learn boat building now? Yeah, yeah, it seems like math is so, a thing of the past, unless we're you know building an ark. That's what we need to be doing. Yeah, you're still teaching yeah. me about fucking. So, you know, my honest American opinion history. on the thing is that that like China and India, these, these like multi-billion people countries that are trying to like catch up. Uh, mm -hmm. China's pretty much there with GDP. Yeah, they're, they're trying to like catch up industrially speaking, and uh, it's they're not done with the dirty part of their economy no. yet. <laughs> And, oh, no, and, and we're not either. quite finished with ours to give you no. the, the real timeline of what's no, actually not. going to happen. No, no matter we, what happens, we're China not, is even not going clean to turn shit it off. In some cases, like we're like with co electric cars, like electric cars might make our urban air cleaner. And that's OK. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like, yeah, you know, great. cleaner yeah. urban air is good. But we're outsourcing our filth to wherever the lithium mines are. You know, yeah. and 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 so it's. I'm okay it's... with that. <laughs> See, just I'm to be not. Clear, I don't. I, I don't really I, like that. I, I want but, to be clear you know. that, like, I'm neither on the left nor the right of this issue. I'm on the greed part of. I'm the Kyle side of the issue. Yes. If you're telling me I can get cleaner air and someone else has to deal with a lithium mine. Okay. <laughs> Good fucking, <laughs> great fucking deal. Sounds sounds like someone already is negotiating this is, for this is me. This is a good idea. This is why it's good to be an American because somewhere along the way, Taylor, someone sat across from a negotiation table and they were like, all right, we get the clean air and you get the lithium mines deal. And somehow or another, the United States <laughs> made sure that the other guy said, yeah. Yes, sir. That'll yeah, be uh, fine. Well, you don't you don't want to do that? Well, we already have 14 military bases in all your key cities. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're not wrong. Uh, on the other hand, the other, and the flip side of that is equally selfishly, I drive an electric car not because I think it will save the planet, because I think it's fucking nice. It's just <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, I, it's it's smooth and it's fast and it's fucking quiet and you know I charge it at my house and I think and the experience of driving it is fucking nice. As mm -hmm. far as the environmental stuff, I think that we need to um, definitely need to cut up. Whenever I see a goddamn plastic straw stuck in a turtle's nose, I feel so goddamn bad because I go through so many straws a day, like dozens. It's probably mine. We're yeah. finally here in California. I cut them into little figuring... pieces. <laughs> Really? If you do, good for you. No, it makes it so much worse. I do. You what, know I, what I, I do, do is I, I reinforce I'll, my I'll my six pack my, uh, can holders. I'll cut the six pack. I'll cut the wire. six pack. Yeah. I, I with wire. Them. I put wire around it. Those little fucking turtles won't know what hit them. You fucking barb wire, barb wire the six pack holder. <laughs> That's fucked up. Just the most evil person you could be. And there's, there's just evil. There's literally nothing to gain. <laughs> you know what was extremely pimp when I was yeah. in Italy a couple of years ago, and they used <laughs> pasta as straws. A fucking tube of pasta. Yeah, I've it seen those. Uh, my lips. I, they've got um, sticks to your. I, I've seen <laughs> at some stores. They have you know the you know the six pack holder that almost looks like cardboard. Yeah. Now I've yeah. seen those, yeah. and you don't have to cut those. Yeah. But you, can you just know, I'm fine. Apart. I'm fine with shit like that, but I'm not fine with the the paper straws because paper straws it, are terrible. It doesn't they work. You have to sprint through your drink, and if you don't sprint through your drink, you, what and you need you, a new paper straw if, every time. Sticks to your what lips. If, what if you tried to reuse your paper straw after drinking milk? Like, <laughs> you'd probably get, you'd probably how, get sick. How, bad, how bad would it smell on day two <laughs> <laughs> you like having uh, the environment <laughs> we got metal straws in my house and we refrigerate them joints it's kind of nice okay refrigerated straw is, is luxurious especially for like a like if you had like some sort of fancy milkshake or something yeah like, I, i've seen that's when i've seen metal straws the metal is, drink is, holder is is the way to go the metal water bottle it lasts forever and it's a weapon that's now the weapon part's true. I like that. Yeah, it's it's forty two <laughs> ounces and it's made of steel. Like you could fuck somebody up with that. <laughs> well, it's forty two ounces of capacity. What are you gonna put in there? You gotta weight that thing down. You're gonna lead. Really somebody batteries. Oh. Uh, definitely <laughs> batteries. <laughs> Lith my lithium batteries. Mine didn't have. <laughs> now, to now you're like a bomb, dude. I've seen. <laughs> so so I remember. Um, we were doing this thing um, in Texas, and I was with a YouTuber called Richard Ryan. 
And a big part of he had these uh, super high speed cameras before anybody had them. They were a quarter million bucks each. And um, so he would do, he would shoot like expensive shit and record it in high speed. And it'd be a big video it'd be like like the, the brand new iPhone that everybody stood in line for. He'd shoot it with a 50 BMG and like 5000 mm-hmm. frames per second. And so all you know, the simplicity of it is just I love it. I just yeah. love the I love the simplicity of those ideas. Like the will it blend guy loved it. Sure. So yeah. we were uh, <clears throat> We were doing that out in Texas, and he shot one of those hoverboards that are just, oh, yeah. you know, the two-wheeled electric scooter thing. The lithium fire that it made was <laughs> so fucking scary. That, like, like w- keep in mind, I, I was there. Dr- I just had driven this a is tank. A toy. <laughs> I just had driven a tank through a house. Like, I just yeah. had driven a tank through a house, and then they sealed me inside of it, and then they blew the house up on top of me. And then we went outside, and the scariest thing I saw that day was that fucking hoverboard going off. <laughs> it was so fucking scary because it was that – it was a com- combination of – Did it, of, like, fireworks out, or did yeah. it just – it did? I've seen, like, a main power line go down, and so I've seen those big arcs of plasma before. Yeah. It was, like, arcs of plasma but mixed with kids' firecrackers going off. It was yeah. so scary. Shit was popping off and moving around and, yeah. and big blue fireballs, and it's so goddamn hot. There was a crash uh, with a Tesla, I think it was a year or so ago, and it's on video from someone's dash cam. And the Tesla is fucking mobbing through this residential neighborhood and hits a fucking double yump and bottoms out twice and then Ooh. fears left into a house and explodes. <laughs> fucking, I don't want to laugh because the guy died, but it, was, no. but it explodes like the 4th of July. And it, like it just you filled it with fireworks and it was Jesus just Christ. cells lithium cells going all yeah. over the place and it was one of the gnarliest car fires i've ever seen it's um, um th- those things have always been scary anybody who's ever like anybody listening what you what you never ever want to do is take like the the remo- the battery out of an old cell phone and hit it with a hammer you would never ever want to do that yeah you know? That's a bad thing to do. Is it just get? I mean, it would just the impact of it of that start a massive fire? Massive fire. It'll start cooking slow, and then it'll it'll hit that chain reaction point, and, yeah. and the fizzling, and then it just goes off because if it's it, it crushes those cells together or something, mm. and it just starts heating up hotter and hotter and hotter, and eventually because with this car fire, fire like I didn't know if it was like we used to do that all the time generated by bottoming out or what it was mm. that actually you know caused oh. That. God knows in a Tesla, how big is that? Like, like I'm talking about cell phone. Cell phone batteries like, are scary. Like, a Tesla is like 68. A Model 3 is like 6,800 laptop batteries. Put oh, together. my God. I had no idea it was that big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this, has this happened multiple times where it went up? Yes. Like in a Tesla? Yes. Holy it's a, shit. It's a, That's it's a, scary. I don't want to say it's common, but like yeah, if you just not. Google Tesla fire, and I and I don't want to purely single out Tesla, although it's anything with do, a giant. They do catch fire. <laughs> they do catch fire more than the other one. But the boat, but but the boat that fucking my car was on, you know that had Volkswagen ID fours, mm. that had Audi e-tron GTs, and it had Ooh. Porsche Taycans. Now, had the boat made it to where they were towing it and they could investigate you could find out which it was that actually started it but now that that fucker's on the bottom of the ocean you know we'll never know um i don't know there might be enough money involved but that they go down there and find out depending on how deep it is oh dude someone emailed someone emailed me and I, it was one of the dumbest emails i've ever gotten in my life <laughs> and they wanted me to fund some kind of search search expedition to fucking salvage shit off this boat. And they were like, I will need one hundred thousand dollars US for a search and rescue. Right. Wait, to, to dive down and and bring the car so, back, the melted so, car. So it was so beyond de- stupid. It depends how it depends how deep it is because like um I was in a thousand meters. It's deep as okay. Well that's you're not getting then. nothing. But and, you know, it was, you burn, know it was a lithium yeah, fire for four up. days. Where what do you uh, burn up? Bring up a bunch of melted <laughs> a little historical fact that i think i still remember is i think the lusitania went down water that was more shallow than the boat was long mm-hmm. so 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 like there are those places out there where it's like oh yeah let's just park up here and scuba down and grab a bunch of like i don't oh, know yeah. like like the emblems off of every mercedes or something will be a, oh, there's 500 dollars. yeah we're, we're just scuba let's do it let's go all day there uh 
Yeah, I mean, I, if, if if the boat just if the boat hit a fucking iceberg and sank in two hundred feet, you know, you might there might be some kind of argument that going down there and salvaging something could yeah. be worthwhile. But after a four day lithium fire, yeah. I, I can't possibly imagine. Dude, I, I guess I've never like looked mind? that that closely at lithium fires. I'm watching a compilation of oh. top Tesla fires. Yeah, these. Like I've seen cars on fire. These are malicious, angry <laughs> fires that like I watched the fucking firemen just sit there and just hard scope with a that doesn't matter for, for 35 Electricity seconds. Electricity loves water. And all it did was piss the Tesla off. He needs and an it, earth, he needs an earth Pokemon. He can't use that water <laughs> elemental. Dude, I just saw I just saw a guy undoubtedly die on the highway from an explosion bigger than anything in the most recent Batman by an order of magnitude. It is <laughs> I, I think he I killed the person laugh, in the but... centra next to him. Like yeah. there, there's no. The, he didn't even get the door cracked. It was a <laughs> boom. Like the yeah, that's wild. I mean, there is you know, th and and that's it's not unique to Tesla. I don't want to unfairly yeah. crap on Tesla. I have lots of fair reasons to shit on Tesla. They do an unbelievably shady job <laughs> with a lot of things you know they what? do. You know but, what? My, but, my favorite. But Tesla this is thing. that's a, just an that's EVs overall. You put a mm -hmm. giant fucking battery. Nobody has magic batteries. Everybody building EVs right now does it the same way with a bunch of lithium basically laptop batteries fucking racked together so there's no there's no magic mm -hmm. formula yeah they need one though they need they need, they need to figure something out um yeah. that, that's that's a little bit better they're fine the range now very though. scary like like, yeah. they, like like the thing that ev has figured out okay we're good on range mm -hmm. we figured the range thing out yeah um, and actually and, we're and, good and, on range and we're good on like chargers uh near major interstates what we're not good at is the number of high speed chargers and we're not good at the number the reliability of the chargers so the the tesla supercharger network is very good mm -hmm. um and because it's it's only for one brand your you know your credit card and all your bullshit is goes in the car and so all you got to do is pull up plug in and it just done whereas mm -hmm. the stuff the the other stuff the electrify america the charge points and all that stuff because it's a bunch of different brands you have to have an account with an app and that app could suck and it mm -hmm. and it and and the paying for the charge is is i think I, that uh biden mentioned kind of something uh i think they mentioned the state of the union that they were going to work more on the charging yeah. stations and the infrastructure bill yeah so that would be good and, they um, should, but, and they, it, it would but, be helpful yeah I, it doesn't matter until we're getting the, you know, the electricity that goes into it from a clean place. And I'm okay sure. with where the lithium mines are. Could, Zach, could you tell me what hell hole? The, um, <laughs> where does we, lithium come where's from? lithium come from? Tell just say, don't say Russia. <laughs> no, they, because and they, and the I, answer is no, it doesn't anymore. It doesn't come from there anymore. And we also want to see like subsidies for uh, owners of apartment buildings to install chargers Can I guess? in apartment buildings. Uh, Taylor. Africa. I'm guessing Africa, Africa too. Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. It looks like it's mined mostly in, just know. in Australia oh. and South America. And more and than ninety-seven percent is refined in China. Yeah, it looks that? like China's taking care of all the sweet. Well, at least we if we're banking them. on it, we can trust Whoa. them to provide us with a steady hey, China. stream. All right, China's got our back. You think wow. China would tactically withhold a useful resource sometime in the future? You're crazy. How does China? I, have I would. I, I have to admit, China? I did not. I did not think of nor know, know about Australia. That that one, I, I no, probably should have known. I didn't know that one. I mean, that's that's like America too. Like like, like we we've got that. You know, they're they're down. I think of Australians as like part of the southeast of the United States. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> like, a... like no, I got it. They plug in right into the Gulf of Mexico. That's Australia. Like if you plug them, if you just took Australia and stuck it into the Gulf of Mexico, like everybody would be chill. Like no they one speak would the mind. Same language. Much. Same it language. Like like same yeah. culture, really. Like same culture. Really. Yeah. I if love you, Australia. I haven't been in a long time, but last time I went, I had a great fucking time. What a cool place. Yeah, I don't. They haven't had enough time to come up with a culture. Some, unlike us <laughs> Americans. <laughs> unlike us Americans. How long has yeah. Australia been a thing? Longer than us, I think. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> well, but weren't they uh, extant as like a, a prison the colony prison for colony. many years? Yeah, and that's why they're they're such like they're so into rugby and stuff now. They got to get that pent up aggression. Tough as shit, dude. That's yeah, why they're mad. I think up. they uh they still have the queen on their money, right? Dude, there's like a hundred countries with the queen on its money. 
Yeah, but that's Yay, a big one. Yay, imperialism. And I, I, are they going to move on to the next figurehead after she dies in the next few days because she's 110? Like, um, or are they just going to be like, you know, we've had the money on there enough. Well, fuck me. Enough I don't, money. Uh, Kyle, I don't think Australia's going to fit in the Gulf, bro. Yeah, I but all, all of those Australia is covered by 30 look, look, states. Look, if, if my magic <laughs> allows me to put Australia in the Gulf of Mexico physically, then it also allows me to shrink it. it Dude, you, like could, Tas- you could so like shrink Tasmania would fit in the nook of Georgia and Alabama. You, you could okay, shrink but. Australia by 95% and it would take their country weeks to notice. <laughs> all right, but show me show me where the population centers of Australia are. It's where Florida is right now. It's all on yeah. the coast of Florida up to Pennsylvania, I think. Yeah, we don't need the whole thing. I think Australia has might have the population of California. It might. I don't know if it does, but I think it, it might. All right, take be that down. It's, it's blinding. It's blinding. <laughs> what a horrible <laughs> picture. Uh, not not the picture itself. The choice of the graph maker. Hot pink. Yeah, not ideal. Not no, ideal. not good. That guy doesn't. So know what last time I was on the show, I taught you guys about Judaism. Has anyone converted yet? Not yet, but we're still trying to find a, the, the main I, thing we admitted was we wanted to steal the holiday days off. Yes, that, and we should. That's a what's huge that? Thing. Uh, you know, you know, um, what's the thing where they put the, the ash on your forehead? It's that's um, Catholic, that's Catholic, yeah, it's that's ash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, <laughs> so, like, that, it, to Matt, me, resident that, religion expert, <laughs> so, like, that's the Catholicism is a real foreign concept to me from uh-huh. being from the south because there's. The only thing there's like no Jews or Catholics here. Like we got rid of all of them at some point, mm. um, and bad yet bad. the blacks remain. Like like it it shows you the stick to itiveness of the African American mm. because I'm I guarantee that like they tried to get rid of them too, but for some oh, reason wait. there's no Catholics and no Jews. Like I, I never knew any of them growing up, and uh, so whenever I see them with the ash thing, I, I had no idea. I thought Biden was dirty the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I saw Biden and I was like, oh that poor old fella. <laughs> Somebody saying you got a you got a little schmutz. <laughs> somebody, somebody clean the president up. He's, oh, look how look how sooty Mr. President is. He he was just playing he, by his toys I by the thought, fireplace and he didn't notice. I thought, I thought he'd fallen into some dirt. <laughs> oh, I was gonna play, play with my toys out on the lawn. Well, just the other night I went down the rabbit hole of the the stramel, which is the Hasidic fur hat the cylindrical fur hat they wear yes and i went i went down the fucking rabbit hole of this fucking thing and these hats are like five thousand dollars <laughs> jesus really Christ. expensive they're made of like sable fur oh yeah like that <laughs> yeah. i think it looks it looks good who is this a picture of this this is oh okay it says right below this, that's a generic a, rabbi a rabbi it's, dress it's someone who's unbelievably rabbi. jewish Dude, why does he look so much like Dumbledore that it hurts? They got him in a real bad day, honestly. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, like, he's wearing like an emerald robe and, and like <laughs> he looks like he's worried about some wizard drama or something. Dude, like, six thousand like, dollar hat, water out of a plastic cup. Right. Well, but it, well, but look, look, this the, the if if look at a modern one, I'll put a picture up of a modern yeah, one. For those you. Spectacles under his the hand. modern ones are are like real serious and very and you so you Ooh. wear the hasidim the very very religious jews they wear them instead of wedding rings and they're given like a dowry what? like from the bride the bride's family gives the the husband to be the groom to be one of these fucking hats because they don't do wedding rings or engagement rings it's this like this thing. article is about fighting the ban on fur <laughs> Well, that's because they're made of they're made of fur. No, so they're shit. Made of look at that fur. thing. The, the, the it looked like the animal was in pain when they made that hat. <laughs> and uh, they have to keep it alive. Like that's required. Yeah. But then also, like, there's if you want to see some like really, I just said the link. There's like really offensive costume versions of it that are like basically made of rolled up bath mats oh, <laughs> it come, it, but, but it comes with the little uh little like this, this guy right here like i don't is, think he's a jew 
<laughs> I don't think this guy. <laughs> I don't. I think they photoshopped this because if I was that guy, I would not be that happy to have that. It's piece. Clear. Can, can you can look, you imagine look, that you're look this at the ears, guy? It's photoshopped. Yeah, he, oh he showed up one day and they're like, "All right, just smile. Now we need you to frown. <laughs> we need you to look up and open your mouth a, a gas. <laughs> All right. Well, the uh, thanks for working with Shutterstock. And now he's I think, <laughs> I think this guy's chest hair is and eyebrows are also photoshopped to make him. <laughs> to, <get blended. laughs> to make him to, to, to sell this who's buying this i don't know but now Who i fucking kind of kind of want a stray mole you should they're go like, for it they're like four g's on etsy dude that, that'll help uh, mad expensive that'll help assuage your pain from the uh the porsche that'll help what if i just what if i just started wearing one of these in the videos like i would love it <laughs> And then, and then, like, if people call you on it, you could be like, "That's bigotry, and I won't accept it." I'll be like, "Lachaim, brother." Yeah. L'chaim. Have you guys? Uh, you must be new to the channel because my Judaism is part and parcel of who I'm I still, am. As I a person. still wear my bar mitzvah bracelet, bro. Thirty years I've been rocking that shit. Damn. Yeah, it's years. got the date on the back and everything. Eleven, thirteen, ninety-four, baby. We've talked about that. Twenty-eight before. years. That's how we. I think that's how we got down the rabbit hole of Jews last yeah. time with the. Yeah. Uh, because, well, what is there? There's the bar mitzvah, 13 for Jews. Mm-hmm. There's a quinceanera for, I don't know what countries do that. Latino, Latinos. Latino, yeah, at least some yeah. some Latino countries do that. We we don't have anything. Like, to, well, who's like, we? Like, just, just a random, a, normal, like, regular like, white white, Jews? average regular, white, white guy. Regular, don't Why you are you a, struggling you have a with white? Just a, you have a don't you, know, you get, get uh, baptized? Uh, you well, black, black people, black, white black people don't have it either. They don't have like a quinceanera or like a sweet sixteen. I guess sweet sixteen, but that's only for really rich people. Like yeah, I sweet sixteens only... are yeah. That's a that's just a. At what age can you be tried as an adult? Girl. Eighteen. <laughs> that was, that's fucked up and kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations! You're going to the big boy prison this yeah. time. <laughs> no more chewy for you. That's up. Have a party for that. Yeah, no. If you have a sweet sixteen, you are a one percenter for sure. Yeah, like absolutely. Do you remember my super sweet sixteen? Remember that fucking show? That show was just made to hate white people. That like, show like, was like, well. There, there. I mean, yes, but there were some. Very privileged black people on there that were. show as well. Yeah, they it were. was. Yeah, you know what though? There weren't people. enough black people on that show. I, they, they, I feel like they did that thing that cops did, where cops was. Here's what, they, <laughs> here's what happened with cops. Cops used to just go out and they would film for like two weeks with like three different cops in, in an area, and then whatever they take the best shit they got, and then they they like throw it on Fox. Mm. Holy shit, cops, bad boys, what you want? Then they were like, guys, we've noticed that you haven't arrested a white person ever 40 <laughs> whatever the demographics of the area you're filming in that's how many whites blacks and latinos you lock up from now on and yeah. so now you've got this episode where some rowdy asian man is like getting taken in <laughs> and he's, he's like what is this all about your accounting didn't add up <laughs> what why are we on tv <laughs> like, like, like sorry had to even out the episode <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. white white collar crop that cops like we need some it, we need to get some financial improprieties going on this yeah. bitch <laughs> i'm almost positive they took it off the air i i think during like they the did of, uh, black oh no they 100 percent fucking did and, and probably rightfully so i mean I well think was... like maybe but but like it was a documentary more than anything, right? Like, like it, it, the way, is the way I saw. Well, I never, I never it's really a documentary, it. but it was like, well, what are they? What do they choose? What are they choosing to make air? You know, is oh, think you was, think it was a bit of propaganda because they were skewing the I, facts. I think a little bit. Yeah, I do. I do think. See, a I think bit. it's the opposite. I, I prefer cheaters. Could like, be. cheaters is pure, oh. pure entertainment. <laughs> Remember when he got stabbed on the boat? <laughs> That's YouTube video. Ever, to be honest, wait, YouTube. what? The, what? 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 You don't know about cheaters? I've never oh, watched yeah. cheaters. All right, so no. There's a show called Cheaters where this douchebag Chris Hansen knockoff guy is yeah. like, this time on Cheaters, we're gonna ruin Marco's life. Marco's getting a little side pussy, and Diane sent us to see if we could find out something. So they send in like private investigators and hidden cameras and shit, and they catch Marco cheating, like like every, every uh-huh. which way but loose. All the evidence they can get, they they got everything. They got, they got files and folders. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
and then, then they, they roll they, up. Then, so then they go to like the girlfriend. They're like, "Here's the evidence, ma'am," and like it's it's damning evidence every time. Uh, they make this poor girl like watch a fucking iPad of this. She gets cucked. fucking railing yeah. some other chick. Yeah, there, yeah they cuck her right there, and and so <laughs> and, and then they wait until like boyfriend is cheating again. He'll be at like a nice restaurant, like yeah. on a patio or something. Yeah. Like, like out on the patio. for six they, weeks. Yeah, like, they roll up. It's they your roll birthday up. and he's out with her. They roll up like SEAL Team 6. <laughs> Two cameramen, the lights, the microphone, and our douchebag of a host with the, the, the wronged, like, you know, husband or wife in yeah. tow. And they know they're on TV and they have been getting them like, you know, like when you're down by six, and you're in the locker room, and the coach has to come up with something to say to fire you up yeah. to get you out there. That's what they've been doing to this woman in the van over there for the last 45 fucking minutes. He, he humiliated you in front of the world. He took your love and he shit on it. He gave her your towels. He didn't. Like, like, like he said her pussy was better in a text. He said, "He said your pussy was dry as the Sahara Desert." I didn't oh see that God. text. Try we didn't. He show said it you had Trust split me. in. He said, "He said your weave was shitty." <laughs> like, like getting them like pumped up, and when they open that fucking van door, that sliding door, it's like the rodeo when they throw open the fucking <laughs> yeah. gate. She's on his ass, and like there's a there's a fight right. It's like there. a gladiator when the fucking lion comes out of the coliseum after being starved for a fucking yeah. month. Sometimes, sometimes people are half naked when it when the fight begins. Sometimes, sometimes like. The 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 sometimes the rage is focused just on the 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 husband who's been doing the cheating, but sometimes the 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 side chick gets it too. It's always wild. Well, one time they what I think they do is like they sort of like tinker with this other person's life to get them in scenarios that are fun to ambush them in. Like, mm -hmm. oh hey, look, here's a free dinner at you know a nice restaurant. Oh, you think you think conspiracy. You think they give them a little, you've won a gift certificate to Mastro Steakhouse. You could, oh, you could just put it, you could just put it in the mailbox, right? And you could yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. that they ended up on a nice date that night. Well, somehow or another, <laughs> this did. guy is cheating on his like girl it, on the ocean, on the fucking high seas. Yeah, they're on, like a a boat. Little, on, they're a on a boat. boat. Yeah. On a boat. International waters. So it's what not are we gonna... a big boat. It's like probably like a 25 foot bow rider kind of fucking boat. Yeah, we don't want four or five people in this thing tops. Like we don't want to get crazy. They decide the best move is to roll up on them at on the ocean. On they, they get in, the, in a chase boat and they roll up and they board the vessel. <laughs> Well, that is insane. Maritime law, bro. I will defend. Yeah. <laughs> Their Chris Hansen knockoff guy gets stabbed by the person he's yeah. rolling up on. He's not having it. Ch yeah. ch ch fucking shanks him right there on camera. <laughs> <laughs> really? But that was a wake up call. And, and nobody ever like felt too bad about it because he is a real piece of shit. He it sounds like he is. He sounds oh like my a God, zombie wait. guy. He you loves remember, I, I just his name. Was Joey Greco? That's it. That's Joey it. Greco was the host of fucking cheaters. I'm Joey Greco. And here's I, I got the I got the photo I just put on the chat <laughs> of his face immediately after he was stabbed, and it is his facial. <laughs> <laughs> His facial expression is incredible. Oh, that's, that's tremendous. <laughs> I, love, I love the reply right below that. It's just a, a gif of a laughing iguana. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like the, inter the internet is so mean. Yeah, life comes that's at you uh, fast, doesn't it, retard? Look at the, look at the laughing iguana. <laughs> Season two, episode eight. Okay. <laughs> Season two, episode eight. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to watch one episode of the show. I'm going to watch that retard get stabbed. That sounds great. If you're going to watch one thing on television tonight, please make it fucking that. Dude, that, that show, I mean, yeah. Was it was that show better than what was uh, – was? oh, it's Chris Hansen was To Catch a Predator. Yeah. yeah, right? we, yeah. We, uh, we had him on this show um, Did you really? years Back. ago. It yeah. was really was fun. It, like, like, was it amazing? <laughs> so, like, the – what was a bummer is he didn't really have a sense of humor about the show At all. when when clearly the thing is is funny. Although like I don't know, I guess it's hard for him to like laugh about anything publicly because they had all that drama, right? Yeah. I don't know if you're I don't know if you're aware, but they caught this one guy who was some kind of like a local politician type yeah. guy. He offed himself 
um, oh, and, yeah. and, uh, and it became mm. a bit of a controversy. That, and also, like, didn't like none of the fucking charges stick? Very the first few, couple very seasons, few, right? right? No, you know, it's 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 stuff. worse than that, oh. Taylor. So so er, almost everyone knows that for like the first season, they, there weren't any cops. It was more about exposure and humiliation, and mm -hmm. like, don't you try this again? The idea would uh -huh. being that like you've turned this guy away from the lifestyle, yeah. and everyone <laughs> yeah. was like, yeah. everybody works. was everybody was like, bro, get the cops next time, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we didn't think of that one. <laughs> and it would be like if you set up like a a, a a stolen car sting, but there was no law enforcement involved, right. and they were like, yep, they stole another one of our cars. <laughs> we gotta stop leaving keys criminal confirmed <laughs> have a good day like, yeah. like it, that's not how you do things but but even still when they got the police involved because of the nature of the show and uh people might not like hear this but if you don't go out there and start looking for a ch a, a, a pedophile there might not have been one is, is is my opinion on this thing because there's a lot of creepy guys that are out there who will never do anything, but what they do is they take an adult woman and have her pretend to be a little girl who's just young enough to get this guy in trouble, and she attacks this guy. She flirts with this guy. She like does attacks her best. To him. <laughs> she does. She seduces this so guy. It's, it's an it's an entrapment thing is basically what. what and, it, and that's why not, so, maybe if it's not that word, he was like entrapped it's, by it's her feminine wiles. But 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 they literally are entrapped by by yeah, by yeah. the feminine wilds. Like, like, like they literally are. It, imagine I mean, like yeah, that's true. Like, like because the, you see the guys who show up to see. You're like happen. I would have never fucked a 17 year old because no 17 year old has ever come on to me before. That's and, your, and, that's your no, well, well, like I'm saying that. But if that, the opportunity was there, you don't have to use. Me well, first of all, 17 is perfectly legal. It's that it would be the distribution of any photography that would be a real no no there. I believe. I see. Uh, 16 is actually legal in my state, as far as I know. Um, doesn't seem very moral, though. Uh -huh. um, but but with the Chris Hansen thing, I think a lot of the charges ended up not sticking um, because of, like, the various ways that they contacted these guys and, like, how the evidence was handled. Because I, I'm not sure that the court is like, all right, Officer Stevens, could you give me your testimony? Well, first, Mr. Hansen from Dateline, he gave me the evidence. Wait, what? Your chain of evidence begins with a TV show host. Yes, ma'am, that is correct. All right, you're free to go, Mr. Pedophile. Yeah, and he's yeah. just like, <laughs> and like yeah. sprints off into the night. I can see how that night. might not hold up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, like, so I mean, I think, it, the whole time it was a show that was 100% about entertainment that just masqueraded about kind of caring about justice. But like, right. It was it about Chris like Hansen, like, like, are you here for somebody. sex? Are you here to Does fuck a child? Yeah. Well, it says, I just remember there was a car, there was a car forum guy that was, they caught one really? guy who was like oh. big on the Mustang forums. It really? Like, yeah. It was like 96 Cobra guy or something was his username. And he showed up in that car, and it was like a big deal on the oh. on the Mustang forums. And it, oh. at, at at one point, I was a big like Mustang person, and so I had, I I I read about it from the forum side of it, and then I saw the episode and and whatever it was. The guy was it was it was pretty gross. I mean, I remember you was know, obviously. And now there are some of those guys there that are there for like. So what the, the decoy will often do is they'll sort of like be like, hi, I'm generic 14 year old girl. What's going on? And as soon as they find out what the guy is into, that's what they start saying that they're into. Right. But, but and that's how some of these guys show up there, like with some crazy nonsense that they're mm -hmm. there for. And that's the scariest stuff that, that, that I think like when they get to court and they start reading off the transcripts, like oh, yeah. I, I think that's when judges start being like, so Mr. Hanson, you've got all the evidence in order. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you won't be uh, shoving any kittens into 12 year old <laughs> girls anymore <laughs> yeah. because I'm yeah. taking you away. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah. some of the most like shocking ones are the guys who would show up and like they'd have in their conversation like do you like have you tried beer before oh and yeah like right. tee -hee, i don't know and it'd be like this one uh, it's a, a 38 year old man and an 11 year old girl and he walks in with like a hundred beers <laughs> just to like try and get her out just I like when they pass like, out helpless drunk or, or like like a, a no i was gonna drink all these 
like they'll yeah. bring so <laughs> many condoms. You, and, yeah, and they've got they, they'll literally bring like do you a know why box of condoms? Here's one. Oh, here we go. This is the one here. The episode, the episode is the shiny Mustang. The and, shiny. and the username was hot 95 Cobra guy. Oh, and uh, yeah, take a it's, look at uh, this. it's not good. We can't show hot it on the show. Yeah, don't, don't no, show. You can't, you can't show that. put YouTube in YouTube. I understand. But uh, let's but see. That was uh, hot 95 Cobra guy. Oh, that is a nice Cobra. <laughs> Oh, those uh, Kragers? <laughs> yeah, that, that car sounds really nice. Cobra yeah. guy says, frowny face, you're young, and I don't want to get in trouble. But here he is. Wow. <laughs> here, he is. <laughs> here he is, traipsing into the home, following a woman who is beyond, obviously, in her early 20s. Like <laughs> the, um, the, 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 the Mustang forums, when he tried to sell his car, uh, really did not. Oh, we're not a, but they were not about it. <laughs> Dude, was, any, was anybody at all like, but guys, but guys, he's, he's so guys, great with paint those is, things. The paint's really nice. I mean, I'll be honest. There was another one. I mean, there was a guy, um, there was a guy who, uh, got real big on Instagram for modifying a Ferrari. And his name, his last, I can't remember his first name. His last name was Button, his B U T T O N, and his company was Button Built. And he did something. He he had this cool Ferrari he built. It got a lot of Instagram love, and then it was. And then he had some fucking, some charge, some 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 like rape charges mm -hmm. or something came up that that he was involved in. And he this motherfucker disappeared off the internet right quick. Yeah, that was the that was one of the cars. Yeah, he had a couple couple Ferraris. He slammed and stanced out. There was a a three oh eight. The whole, um, yeah, Mitchell Button, yeah, that was him, and uh, and he he fucking vanished off the internet as soon as people realized what was uh, what was in that backstory. Huh? Jesus Christ! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I dude, I, don't I try and get internet famous. So you got mad shady shit in your internet fucking past, bro. That's <laughs> bad. It's a bad. It's a bad move. Just it's, just disappear. Just, well, just, sure, I was on to catch a predator local. ten years ago, but <laughs> I want to I want to do Minecraft Let's Plays. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not that. Yeah, well, um, that's what they'd be interested in, right? Or certainly don't put your name on the fucking company, dumbass. Yeah, I wanted to get Chris Hansen to like joke rape enterprise, about it, but but he was not having any kind of a sense of humor about that. Maybe but you it was get Joey Greco. Joey Greco oh, might have a sense of humor about. All right, let's let's reach out to Joey Greco. We should absolutely reach out to him and be like, "What did it feel like to get stabbed like an idiot in the middle of the ocean?" Yeah, was it These scary guys, when you thought you might die? I have literally never looked for Joey Greco's Instagram, but I am now. Ooh. That's not him. Hang on. Yeah, it was. I've seen that episode three or four times because, you know, so like, good. I can't remember. Like, like, I think I had a girlfriend once who was like into that show. She thought it was funny. And uh, and I, I was like, this guy is awful. The host. And she's like, yeah, isn't it great? Like, like he's she's like, it's perfect. You need a douchebag to like go after like other douchebags. He's our douchebag. And I, and I was I kind of got that. But then when he got stabbed, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, this, this is the show that keeps on giving. All the bad guys got it in this episode. Like the cheater <laughs> went to prison. Joey Greco got stabbed. Oh, Joey like, Greco's on Twitter. I found his Twitter. I'm trying the to find jo the stuff. Joey Greco. He, is he does seem Twitter. like the kind of guy to have 9,000 followers and try and get his own name hashtag started. What an idiot. Well, let's this, see. This dude is twit. What's up with his Twitter? Anything interesting on his Twitter? Not really. No. His Twitter no. feed is full of a bunch of garbage honestly. this guy is this, this guy, guy is, is so boring like i can't even recommend you follow him his twitter stinks. all right well the most interesting <laughs> thing about him is that time he got stabbed but, yeah. but if that's so, the highlight that's uh, my favorite thing about him that's my favorite thing about i just learned about him today and that's my favorite thing because he does seem like a piece of shit to just go into a failing relationship and be like hey this will be good tv let's stoke this and cause emotional damage in people well you know it was part of that early 2000s you know, for you, th that now mm -hmm. we kind of realize that it maybe wasn't the best thing to do with it, and it, it same thing, you know, with Britney Spears and with and with people that maybe didn't quite deserve the ire. You know, yeah. Are you guys watching that Pam and Tommy thing? Have you guys seen that shit? No, no. Who's Pam and Tommy? Pam Anderson oh. and Tommy Lee. Come on, oh, are you fucking I don't know. serious? Are you <laughs> serious? 
Do you really not? I really didn't no. know who you were talking about. How old about. are you? If you 30. If you would have said Pam, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, I would have known that. Okay, so Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, you know, obviously they have their own careers, but they, in the 90s, made this sex tape that was the fucking big... It was the first major celebrity sex mm-hmm. tape to be spread on the internet. I remember, I remember watching it, yeah. Right, and I'm 40, so I am I am at the perfect age yeah. to have <laughs> found this thing at the perfect time, right? And so... <laughs> But but the the story you know it's it's a very they've they've uh, re, it's a it's a dramatic recreation uh, series mm-hmm. about it, and I didn't know that this fucking tape was jacked out of their fucking house by yeah. the contractor they stiffed. I didn't I didn't yeah. know that, and so he's kind of the protagonist actually in this, in this story. Absolutely. Until the later episodes where they where you realize how badly uh Pamela Anderson was really treated from this whole thing. They fucking they uh I don't have the right words, but they treated her like garbage. Yeah. Um, yeah, the whole thing was terrible. Um she didn't deserve that and uh I know she said that she's not going to watch the show. Uh, if, if I was her, I wouldn't watch that. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah, it sucks. Um there's a but, there's a thing in episode two where Tommy Lee talks to his own penis for eight minutes and is one of the <laughs> most awkward moments on television. And the penis talks back, which is actually the more oh. awkward part of it. So eight I, don't, I might skip episode two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm probably just going to skip the whole... The animatronic thing. penis talks back. <laughs> you were talking about Britney Spears. Did you see that like unhinged instagram post she made i think i tried to find it on her account it's deleted but i found it on twitter on from some her, random I saw, account i saw her nipple the one where oh star of david oh yeah yeah she like had a uh like oh i did star see of this, david yeah. over it and she wrote and i'll i'll read what she said in a world where it's okay to lock your daughter up and make her work seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., no days off, 105 people are in and out of a small trailer home weekly, no private baths, seen naked when changing, drugged, can't even speak or talk, has to be available to the treatment people and show up every day for 10 hours a day. If not, we'll have to stay longer. Never given a date. No sentences here. Never given a date on when you can leave. 9 p.m. bed every night, like eight gallons of blood weekly. This happened to me for four months after I worked for my dad and my family for 13 fucking years. I gave my all when I worked only to be literally thrown away. I was nothing more than a puppet to my family, yet to the public, I just performed on stage and did what I was told to do. But it was worse than that because I just accepted it and approved, and it was approved by the people I love the most. Looks are deceiving. It must have its night. I must have it nice on vacations, LOL. After 13 years, damn straight, I should go. I was treated less than, demoralized, and embarrassed. Nobody should ever be treated the way I was. The reason I bring this up is because ending the conservatorship is a huge deal to me, but come on. That's it? They all got away with it? If you've ever been in shock for four months, threatened for your life, you'd be upset too. I'm not done. I want justice and won't stop until something is done to those who harmed me. And yes, I was harmed. This is a message to all who have been threatened in their life. You are not alone. I mean, that is... You know that's a traumatized person. Oh yeah. no, no, no! See, you I, guys have been you guys have been duped. So when you take the star of David, <laughs> take the star of David, superimpose it over that image. Now, see, it's a puzzle. You, at each point, you want to take that. You want to take that phrase, and you have to assemble those. I've been okay? so blind. Yeah, <laughs> I've been so blind to the implications. Like, I one million percent believe she was abused. Like oh, her yeah. her behavior, like even in the mid two thousands, where she was losing her mind and shaving her head, like she was clearly being abused. And we now know it's way more common than people let on that young yeah. girls and young guys are abused in those uh, industries. Well, and that was that sort of you know that sort of peak paparazzi mm-hmm. uh, before celebrities were able to speak directly to their audiences via social media, but where we still wanted to like know everything about them. Mm -hmm. It was, it was super voyeuristic and, and fucking creepy. Um, And yeah, Zach, Amanda Bynes, totally same kind of thing. I mean, I, I don't like, I don't, I, I, I don't fucking wish I had that at all. I hung out with, um, I hang out with Tom Segura, all Hollywood name drop. I hung out with Tom oh, Segura nice. in Seattle. Tom's a friend, and I can call, and, and Bert's a friend now, which is really fun. We're doing this, we're going to do this two bears racing thing, which is going to be really fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's great. Um, 
but but Tom was like Tom's one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet, and he and he invited my wife and I up to Seattle um, to see his gig for the for the weekend. And it was like super fun. We did all this really fun stuff and hung out. But before the first night, me and him just like took a walk and had a coffee in Seattle, and the number of people that stopped him, and like he's he's like you know he's famous. He's not an A list, yeah. but he's pretty well known. But the number of people who stopped him. I was like, I don't want to be that famous. That's not, that. This is awful. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds terrible. I can't imagine what it's like to be that like, ah, you know, level of, yeah. of famous where people are fainting and crawling on your car. I mean, and really- oh, oh, I mean, Britney Spears at that time was the most famous person on earth. Yeah, yeah. You don't and, think and, so? That uh, at least in middle in my world of middle school, when she was there, she <laughs> well, was the yeah, most. Middle she and school. she and in sync and the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, she was. Cool. I mean, she was top five for sure, top five. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 the the world was not uh, was not very kind to her. I'm very lucky that I get to like, I can go to a car show and be famous, and then I can leave, and I'm not famous anymore. It rules. <laughs> it's like, you, get to, you get to have your cake and eat it, too. <laughs> totally selective fame. It's great. <laughs> um, but, but um, and and even, even uh, with, like, Tom, I was like, I was like, wow, you are, you are actually fucking crazy famous. Like, it's, I, I don't, I haven't been outside with Joe Rogan ever. I've only ever hung out with him in, in controlled environments, but I imagine he'd probably be like that right now as well. Where oh, he's, yeah. I imagine like he's he's on the level of fame where like I can't imagine he enjoys like going shopping, going in public at all. He doesn't like, have to. Everyone in the country recognizes. Yeah, exactly. He has earned himself out of those tasks. <laughs> <laughs> his like his videos, like I every once in or I don't even know how I found it, but it was like he, he has a whole archery. Oh, that's how I found it. I, I'm, I'm when I was getting into archery, I found uh, Joe Rogan shooting bows, yeah. and like I found videos of him doing like the Meat Master, or whatever the fuck that guy's name in was, where they go hunting and shit. Mm. But the, I found this other one where we had like fucking some UFC fighter, and he has a I guess attached to his podcast studio a sixty yard shooting yeah. area for bows, and yeah. then a like thirty thousand dollar like four K looking uh projector with like different yeah. areas where they can shoot and it was like this is such a cool level of wealth of him being like what do i like i love archery yeah uh, where, where do i practice can't do it in public i'll drop a mill on an yeah. archery range yeah i mean uh, you know when you, if it, <clears throat> the, it's weird you when you cross that kind of let's call it the uncanny valley of fame mm-hmm. versus money where you go i can't really do the thing i want to do at the places normal people would do it, mm-hmm. but I can get myself, you know, uh, a facility to do it in private. You know, it's, it's for sure. It's weird. It's weird. It'd be um, a bizarre. I'm not level sure. Of I'm not sure I would trade. I think, I think, uh, I think uh, there's a, uh, there's something to be said for like, living in reality still yeah. you know where you where you get you get enough money where you don't really have to think about it anymore that's mm-hmm. that's really like i mean that's I, uh, such a luxury that so many people don't have is like yeah. i just i just don't need to think about this all the time that's mm-hmm. that's a nice luxury but i could still uh you know go out and do shit and not have people fucking bug me all the time so you sure. know, uh, Joe uh, Joe Rogan had that whole issue with uh, the they, they had that montage of him saying the n word over and over, and yeah, uh, he dropped a lot of n bombs. And then uh, and then they, um, you know, he didn't go to like the last UFC event. He didn't he didn't show mm-hmm. up for work. Basically, he said it, he just made up some excuse. Essentially, he didn't show up, and uh, he showed up for this last one. And there were two. One of the fighters' name was like, it's really difficult. It's like. Nimina, mamina, mamina. And it's, but it sort of starts, there's like an, it begins with an N and there's a G like three or four letters in. Oh, no. And, uh, and he's announcing them. And he's like, I'm not He took that. a pause for like six seconds and gathered yeah. himself before he began. <laughs> and then he was in the ring and, um, with the fighter who had won, like, like this is live on the air on pay per view. Mm-hmm. Um, the fighter who, who had won was Nurmagomedov. His last name is Nur- Nurmagomedov. Kind of a tongue twister, especially if you're yeah, reading it. Yeah, that's a tough one, yeah. too. Nurmagomedov. Took me a while. I mean, look, I think... Joe knows the name. 
But yeah. he goes, and thanks to Nimmig. N- 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 uh. <laughs> That's what Bail. he did. Bail. He Pull the that. shoot. Pull the fucking shoot. Bail. He pulled the yeah. shoot and walked away. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I think I think he knows he fucked up. I I do. I think he knows he fucked up. And, I think and that I, people that he respects were like, yeah, you kind of did fuck up. And you kind of like, oh, fucked up, homie. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. But <laughs> but and I and I think he probably will uh, make a make a, a solid effort, you know, going forward to to adjust that that behavior a little bit um what i wish is that like he'd have jamie fox on and and jamie or patrice he needs a patrice dude I, I wish R.I.P. Patrice, you need I a wish... patrice o'neill patrice o'neill would fucking i want part the waters oh, I, want, yeah. I want someone to call joe rogan their n-word <laughs> <laughs> like, like 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 on his show and to just to watch his reaction uh, I want that so goddamn bad. And then he puts that. that quote like on a plaque, like he used to have Elvis behind him. Yeah. <laughs> I had Patrice. someone put one of my quotes on a car once. I thought it was really strange. I drove a car and I, and it was a mod, super modified Porsche to take a left. And I was like, "This shit is boss as fuck." And somebody, someone had that printed out and put it on their fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is boss as fuck, Matt Farrelly. Like, right, Don't cool. do that. <laughs> Weird. Like I put quotes all over your car of me saying um, that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was I. You know, I hung out with Joe a couple of. It was probably it was right before COVID. It was probably the end of 2019. No, you know what? It was yeah, it was probably end of 2019 when he talked about. And I we hung out at the comedy store. I went to see his set, and then he took me in this bar in the back of the comedy store behind the kitchen where the comics mm-hmm. hang out. Oh, and this is a was, Me Too story. It was yes, and then he touched, was Louis, did he touched Louis me. Did Louis K. He was too strong. It was, and no, it was like the, one of the greatest <laughs> fucking nights of my life. It was literally sitting at a table where I'm introduced as a friend of Joe, so I'm like pre-approved to all yeah. these other comics that are legends. It was fucking next level shit. It was one of the coolest things I've ever done. That is awesome. But he said he, we were talking about he had talked about that day or that that week that he was going to vote for Bernie Sanders, and and the backlash from that. And he's like, dude, I this he's like this podcast shit. He's like, it's a runaway train. He's like, I can't, you know, I can't just like say something to my homie who's in the room, and mm-hmm. then it, and then it's it becomes fucking news. You know, it's yeah. news now, and and then there's backlash and the shit. And so it, you know, that was two two years ago and, mm-hmm. and change, and it and it it was clear to us in that conversation, like, okay. Or at least it was clear to me, like, all right, it's a runaway train, but like, but you're going to keep doing the podcast and keep talking to these kind of people. So like, you kind of got to accept some responsibility, you know, to your, to your audience. If it's going to be this and you're going to keep doing it and you're not just going to talk to comics and fighters, you're going to talk to intellectuals and politicians and scientists, you know, we need to have some, some accountability. So so the the backlash he's received, um, both with some of the, the the vaccination people and 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 whatever, you know, I think I think I hope you know he seems like he's someone who wants to learn. So I hope that he's obviously his bottom line has not been impacted, and 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 yeah, I don't, you know, we're not we're not close or anything, but uh, you know, I'm st- I chat with him once in a while, but like I just hope that I hope that he takes that sort of account because he's more powerful than fucking news anchors and politicians and journalists like he's not a, he's not mm-hmm. like he's not a like he's more powerful than a journalist like, he's way more the, if you look way at way more if, powerful. If, if you look at ridiculous the, numbers the, the 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 ears that he puts words into versus mm-hmm. like anyone else who speaks into a microphone it, it kind of pales in comparison it's 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 a big margin it yeah. is crazy. Think, it's like you, you know you think of like pepsi as coca-cola's rival right like, like i can't remember what the ratio is but it's like eight to one or something like oh go, yeah go to pepsi yeah, yeah. pepsi's yeah. not even close yeah yeah it's just... no and it's the same thing his number his numbers are so crazy oh yeah like you'll see um, the the media I... comparison numbers where they're like oh tucker carlson with three million and rachel maddow with 1.7 or whatever it is yeah. and it's like oh that's interesting in the last week joe rogan's just his youtube channel has 12 yeah. like the and new episodes have, like, probably have three and those million people piece. you know i mean i don't know about i don't know about uh, the the quote opinion section of MSNBC mm-hmm. and Fox News, but but certainly the journalistic section, uh, you know they've got fact checkers and they've got you know there's there's at least some level of um, 
accountability and and fact checking and stuff like that. So anyway, I I, I don't I I I hope that um, that 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 going forward that he kind of understands the weight of his words. I wish he didn't have to. See, I see. I'm but on the that's other. That's not where we're at. at. You know, that's not where we're at. You know, your but, audience but that, becomes a certain size, and you kind of have no choice. I, I, I don't think that he should be responsible for the stupidity of others. Because I, the the issue that I'm hearing is that the audience has gotten so big that they can't. That there's a percentage, a large enough percentage of them, are absolutely retarded and they can't <laughs> understand humor. And it's actually becoming a danger to society because. When, when you've got 10 million listeners every day, the, even though it's 0.001%, that adds up to like 10 assholes out there who are running around now with AK-47s. We can't do this. And it's just like, dude, it just, there's a disclaimer before this thing. If you couldn't tell when you saw me smoking weed the whole fucking time, yeah. and talking to Method Man, sure. alarm, and, and like, like, like this is just for funsies. Like, like, did you think that Joe Rogan was a scientist? He's all tatted up. He's Joe Rogan. Like about, no, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think he's a scientist. But if you're gonna bring, you don't like when he endorses on, a scientist. If you're gonna bring, yeah, if you're gonna bring mm. people on that are sort of these, you know, fringy type contrarian scientists you know now that, that are, that's what are scientists and that's and just give them the platform you know what it's like um, you know you you mentioned that joe rogan took you back into that room and he was like this is my friend so then yeah. everyone was like oh that's joe rogan's friend he vouched mm -hmm. now if you'd went and like if you'd, if you'd if you'd like went in the corner and broke out like some heroin or something <laughs> and like and like everybody freaked the fuck out like they'd be like whoa Joe said this guy was cool. <laughs> this guy was cool. He's shit. Yeah, that's why he's so cool. <laughs> and, and he's <laughs> over there. He's over there passed out totally. with a syringe hanging out of his arm. Like a guys. Cool guy. Dude, yeah. he bit Mike. <laughs> he totally. Yeah, I told like, you know, I think that I think that's a it's it's that's an absolutely excellent analysis, Kyle. I think you're right. You. I think I think <laughs> the 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 endorsement of the guy you can relate to who who is intellectually curious, you know, carries a lot of weight and, um, you know, but, and when, but, and when your audience is that huge and when your when your paycheck is that huge, you gotta, you, you just gotta exercise some, Here's, you know, where I, I, while you guys have been talking, like I've been looking at the, just kind of like past five years, like mainstream media, like ratings, like, yeah, they they are dying at a unbelievably fast. Oh yeah, like and I, dying I, as I, fast I knew as their were. audience is dying. Yeah, <laughs> even even faster. Like from twenty twenty, Fox is down over a third. CNN down almost forty percent. MSNBC mm -hmm. down twenty. Like oh well, that's a it, bad metric to use though because you have the Trump factor, right? Like if I bet if you used a wider you well, know. but uh, see and like you saw that too, like twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. Like I still you know worked in the area then, like the ratings you were getting were outrageous. Like whether yeah. it was CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all of them. Like Rachel Maddow at some point in 2016 was pulling like 3.7 million, if I recall. Like she passed uh, the, the Fox opinion people at one point. And mm -hmm. since 2015, like it's been a continuous, yeah. just like, and sometimes, and I, I think what Matt said is like largely correct. Like the people who use news media on the TV with cable as their yeah, primary news source. Dying. Yeah. They are literally dying off faster than they can because people our age, like are you, I'm not going to watch. I'm not paying for cable. I'm not going to watch CNN cable? or Fox. No, no. Cable? Well, see, no. here's the thing. I don't know why you need cable because like there's a, there's an app called Pluto that's fucking for free. And it just has CNN and Fox News and all that shit on it. Like, like oh, really? That you write that shit too. Like, Even like, if it's free, though, I'm not going <laughs> to watch it. You know what I mean? Like, well, well, like right now, I like the war coverage because there's a lot of, uh, uh -huh. yeah, you know, it. I, I didn't have CNN because I don't watch that shit. But like mm -hmm. during this, it's you know that's where the, uh, the the White House press press conferences are held, and uh, anytime that like Macron. How do you say when I hate fucking French Macron. names that require you to sound like a piece of shit? Macron. <laughs> Macron. Macron. Macron was having some breakfast this morning. He was having some croissant. Macarons. <laughs> like, like, Jesus, take your hand out of your pants. They do have the smarmiest accent on the planet, French people. Did you see the, the, the photos of Macron after he'd spoken with Putin yesterday? No, what, what happened? He looks so. He looked <laughs> like they just told him his dog died. <laughs> Maybe did they repossess his yacht? 
<laughs> no, like, 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 I think that Macron was trying to make, like, you know, speak to Putin rationally and say, like, hey, you seem to have accidentally caused a, a war. I'm sure you didn't mean to. I'm, sure, all. I'm sure you didn't mean it. You may uh, not know this, but your troops are in Ukraine right now. And, and Putin was like, I know. I'm going to kill as many citizens as I can while I'm there. <laughs> and then like Macron, Macron is, it, it looks like Macron is realizing he's dealing with like someone who can't be reasoned with. Yeah, and he's just, he looks real defeated. That or he was just constipated. That's possible. Dude, th them sitting at that way too long table is so funny. Like ha they're having guys. Oh, that's the, the previous meeting. That That's like a oh. month or two back. Um, so the, the, the tables are, are one of the things that, um, like internet sort of conspiracy theorists have been talking about a lot and and maybe some that are closer toward, you know, the center than you might uh, think they they're wondering why Putin has not been sort of photographed or seen uh, for a month or so, a couple months next to anyone like, like, like within arm's reach of anybody. And, you know, there's the video recently where he's, uh, I saw him at the end of the fucking long table, which was hilarious. He's at long tables with everyone for the last oh, few really? months. Oh, really? Is this the and thing he's doing is the long table thing? Long tables with everyone. When he addresses his like defense ministers, he's at the head of it, and they're at the very end. But, this is like but, fucking Louis the Thirteenth shit. No, it gets like, better. It gets better. Crazy. Yeah. So, so people have been have been like calling him out because the Zelensky guy is like in the streets making his yeah. videos, and and Putin is making his addresses. They're saying that they're all pre-recorded because they can tell he's wearing the same tie or the same suit. There's these little things that like a good faker. Would Maybe he's like Jay out. Leno where he has 30 of the same suit. No, he, he's like a bad kid. Like he's supposed to be a KGB agent, but he can't yeah. even figure out how to change his suit when he's trying to make like a fake video. But then the best part is this, because somebody was like, Oh, here he is at a table with a bunch of people. It's, it's green screen. He moves his hand. And his hand goes through the microphone. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he, that's he's, interesting. He's, there's a video that he's like a composite, like a Zoom call kind of thing. No, he's supposed. To, he's like it's zoomed way out. He's at a table, mm -hmm. like it's a deep fake almost that they went to, to that le level because people are reacting to someone who was sitting in that chair, but it wasn't Putin. Doesn't they, he have enough henchmen that he could set that up for real? Probably. He doesn't. For some reason, he doesn't want to be close to people right now, though it seems. The, well, probably yeah he, he I'll, doesn't want people poisoning him some people like have said gas yeah. gas or stabbing with a needle or some shit or something like that like stay the fuck away from me homie kind of thing it could I, be. I guessed last week that maybe he had cancer and it was one of those cancers where they oh. like nuke your bone marrow and he was like oh. super immuno um suppressed now like, that's like, that's a fucking conspiracy theory that's that like yeah, That's my a, my brother in law is recovering from uh, chemo right uh, from uh, leukemia right now. Sick, he just passed six months uh, cancer free. But it's great. Yeah, it's amazing. Science is fucking crazy. It's really wild. But that's a that I mean for him to be for him to be starting a war while having some massive immunosuppressant fucking. Oh yeah! Look at that. His hand going right. Yep. Look at that. He, he's gesturing around, you know. And, and that woman supposedly is there with him. No, she's not. Well, that looks like a shitty background. I mean, I can see the line around the woman that looks fucking terrible too. Yeah. Yeah. This was on. Terrible. This was on Russian television. Nobody knows Photoshop in Russia. If he, if when that, you watch, if that's so, really him, like forget the background, just just him. Mm -hmm. He looks too well to be going through proper chemo cancer situation. Yeah, yeah. If anything, just, it looks like he's gained weight since I He saw looks him. a little chubby, if I'm honest. They were, <laughs> yeah. He does. They, they, were, they were talking about how puffy he looked, and they yeah. were saying... Um, it's probably stress eating. It's going poorly the, for him. The, the idea would be, <laughs> like, like the theory would be that this is a dying man who wants to, like, take his last stab at securing the Soviet <laughs> Union. But, you know, bring it back to its glory, like, like put that stamp on his legacy before he passes. Because, like, what he's done here makes that's an interesting fucking because, because the alternative theory is well, that looks this looks terrible. This that, that, that doesn't look real when you watch the video, it looks better. Like, oh, like, okay. like, 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 watching the video, I didn't think it was fake. The video is still played on, on like mainstream news outlets, and they mm -hmm. do not mention that this is fake. No one mentions that it's fake except Why? for like people on Reddit because they don't know. Dude, it took them seven days to get to the bottom of Bernie Gore's. 
<laughs> Dude, so, you're right. They are fucking so, idiots. So Matt, so Matt, there's this thing where like um our, the previous host of the show, um, Wings of Redemption, is this guy that they they goof around on and troll on the internet now. And one of the ways they do it is every time there's a natural disaster, a war, anything big that happens, earthquakes, volcanoes, wars, they take a photograph of him, they create a fake CNN account. So like let's say it happened like in Sweden. Oh, they make CNN SWND Sweden and then they use the Swedish flag and everything and it looks very official and then they they throw something up like this they say that our boy Bernie Gores was executed in Kabul you know I actually think I've seen this photo before. <laughs> so the reason yeah. the reason you may I've have seen, seen it, this yeah, yeah the reason you've made it just make news like the last uh, two days three days big I news think. big yeah, news yeah, recently yeah, 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 because yeah. because we're in that age this guy looks very familiar yeah yeah, yeah. so so He's he's entered a new ring of fame. So like so That's like the, so like a whole the, at the at the the iceberg that Wings Redemption iceberg as it were <laughs> just just got a little bit fucking deeper and wider. Yeah, because Hilarious. because what happened was both sides got a hold of this for different reasons. Of course, you have the people who are saying, "Ah, oh, the Russians killed an American journalist. Mm-hmm. Fuck the Russians." Then you have the people saying, "No, don't believe that, comrade." That's CNN lying to you. See, they did it before. They said this guy died in Kabul. <laughs> and you got those people who are mad. And then you got the people who are like, oh, my God, CNN is always like they're they're not on the Russian side. They're, they're just on the side of the truth. And they hate that there's this big lie. And everybody's going back and forth to the point where they had to do an investigative report about this, where two people are sitting at a desk on CNN discussing my boy wings of redemption. Oh, my God, oh yeah. So and, and in the in the comments, like, like they played that? a clip Getting of it. his Twitch stream on CNN. And, and, <laughs> and he was sitting there and he's like playing with his he's like laid back, looking terrible like with his cat. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> he's like play, like, Yeah, there we are. Right there, that's me. And he's 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 fucking petting this fucking cat. And uh, you know, or whatever it is, and he's, he's just oh like, my "Yeah, God, that's they crazy. keep putting fake pictures of me on CNN." And <laughs> that's not. He's like, "That ain't really me, though. I'm not Bernie." <laughs> Dude, in in like the oh comments, my God, that's like, amazing. Th- like there were there were arguments in the comments of these like fake articles and everything, and a lot of them were genuinely people like Kyle said who didn't know the meme, who were either like, "This is pro Russia," or "This is pro Ukraine," oh, oh. or like, and they were. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm wow. I'm sorry, but I had I forgot the and, and I hope I'm not stealing your thunder on this. No, no, go There's ahead. also our fans who are like Bernie was the finest journalist CNN ever had. You people, <laughs> you people, that this is a false flag. Those those Kabul <laughs> posts were not there before. It's photoshopped. He died, and they're trying to pretend like he didn't because they don't want war. They're lying. Oh, yeah. They're lying, dude. That's, that, that's what that's, people need to do. Oh that, God, that's, that's what, so that's what I was gonna say. We had so many of our fans and people who know about it, or just wings, fucking with them in the comments, and I knew because I would see those comments and I'd click the profile, and it'd be like follows you. It's like, okay, this guy's trolling. The next one, okay, follows me. This guy's trolling. This guy doesn't follow me. He seems pretty sincere. He's got a fucking, he's got a Russian flag in his bio. What the <laughs> hell is that about? <laughs> that is amazing. So it's 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 pretty brilliant that the, the, the little like inside joke trolling that happens mm-hmm. like from our little podcast here funny. essentially has gotten to that level um, where you have like, there was a, um, a state, a member of like the United Nations, like something or another from Russia, like an official person was like, look at this CNN lie. They're sa- they've told this lie before and they're telling it again. Like, like he tweeted that out at Crazy. one point. And, and it's all from a fake uh, CNN Ukraine account. Yeah. That, that isn't yeah. a real CNN account. Yeah. Oh, and then, of course, I didn't even mention that, that like CNN is, is, of course, having to defend themselves because CNN has made fake news before. I'm sure we've all seen like one clip or another. There was the one yeah. where they were faking a background, and there's plenty of them where they like go and like dig a hole to sit in, so it mm. looks like things mm-hmm. are scarier than they are. Like there's there's definitely when nonsense. They dig a hole to sit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know they're they're well, all. I mean, yeah. It, they they I, stand five feet deep in in water while the yeah. cameraman's like on land. <laughs> I've seen them do it. Yeah. What's really um what I found tough you know, is because I like to, I like to, to, to try to be informed. You know, I like to try to, 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 to know, uh, I call myself a fucking journalist for fuck's sake. I mean, I mean, you know, I'm an mm-hmm. autom- I'm an automotive journalist. I don't, I don't study wars. I don't study politics. I try to read about politics. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm 
definitely a progressive, but I want to be a progressive based in fucking reality. Um, mm-hmm. You know, following a war on Twitter is really hard. Oh, yeah. Um, you just you really don't know what is fucking what. You oh, know? yeah. You'll uh, read okay. like, why are you using like antithetical things? Don't use Twitter. Um, you want to get on Reddit. I, they chase me off of Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to post and troll people. I, uh, you, uh, you. I, you know, <laughs> I, I used to be a very active po- uh, poster and member of Reddit. And then, oh, you see my cats fighting in my over the back there. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I used to be very active on Reddit, and then someone made some thread that was like unpopular opinion. You know, Matt Farad is drives irresponsibly, oh. and that thread was the most responded to upvoted whatever thread about me involving me or anything yeah. in in the history of my experience in reddit more that so sucks. than than my q and a's more so than any of my amas which went on for sometimes up to 12 hours more so than mm-hmm. than anything i'd ever done on reddit and so i said well if that's the if that's the vibe if that's if that's how all these people feel then i i won't I won't participate in that community anymore. And so I stopped you know, I stopped participating in Reddit that very day. And I and I never looked back. And I can understand um, that. I can understand that. But Jackie didn't want Kennedy, me anymore. Sure. You, you know, Jackie Kennedy didn't like swear off cars after <laughs> or bullets after, after Dallas, you know. She, <laughs> well, she, she, like, uh, she still, she, 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 she would still eat like lasagna, pasta. <laughs> I'm not telling you to go like com- get into a community. I'm just saying if you go to no, like, look, Ukraine, I, I, Conflict my, my, on my moves aren't necessarily rational when it comes to this kind of thing. I, I but but it it just I won't go into Dick's sporting goods. It's I know what happened. <laughs> it, won't go into Dick's. Won't ha- it we'll is go what it there. is. They they didn't they didn't value me on Reddit anymore, and so I left out of principle. I, I pretty um, woman to Dick's. I'm and I'm not. And to be fair, to be fair, I'm not. I'm not going to Twitter to learn about the war that's not why i'm going to twitter but i go to twitter for just um you know my my life my professional career and the war is unavoidable yeah uh, on twitter i mean i'm there for i pretty much only follow shit that posts about the nhl or hockey highlights and even still it'll be like oh that's a great goal against detroit and it's like 10 killed in Ukraine. It's like, I don't even follow that. Like, yeah. it's just, <laughs> yeah. how did this end up here? Yeah. Well, look, I follow car stuff. I follow I other writers I like, but I also follow, um, I, I've learned, I've, I've actually, I've learned a lot about U.S. history from people on Twitter, not necessarily from their tweets, but, but their tweets that have led me to buy their books. I mean, there's been a lot okay. of authors that are of really, really great books. Kevin Cruz. Um, is an amazing historian from Princeton, and I, f- I found him on Twitter. Kittens, what oh come on, this is awesome! Don't break them up. Yeah, you great. Guys, can you guys hear that? Them oh, I'm watching every moment of that. <laughs> That's brother and sister. That's Nikki and Finn. I got money on the Nikki. one on the left. Nick, yeah, Finn, Finn is the boy. Nikki under the table is the girl. Oh yeah, my Excuse money's on. Excuse me, Boy. you guys. Five dollars, Taylor. I'll take the one. Um, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've followed. Oh, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I found a lot of great historians and, and, you know, uh, and people who've written great books on Twitter. But, but, but anyway, um, you know, it's, it's hard to, to follow a war on Twitter, and I don't, I don't recommend it. Um, yeah. We're getting the notes from Zach that there's a, uh, it's time to do ads, yes. and uh, my wife is also texting me that it's time to go to dinner. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity to to dive bomb on out of here. I, I usually peace out at around the, the two hours and yeah, of course. Thank you so much mark. for coming, man. My attention span is limited, but oh, I really appreciate you guys you guys having me. I always appreciate you guys' perspectives. I think I think it's it's great. To get to sit do you down have any, and talk to people. Do you have any? T- if if Woody makes it tonight, do you have any tips to tell him? Uh, to tell his wife. Well, I hope his wife still has bones. Uh, yeah. For for sure. Um, yeah. And uh, also, ha ha ha, because if you crash out during on, your on, fucking me... testing. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. That was uh, ha ha ha. If that that you was... crash while fucking testing. Ha ha ha. ha, ha. ha. Uh, Exclamation. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, follow <laughs> yeah. the Smoking Tire on Instagram, the Smoking Tire on YouTube, the Smoking Tire podcast is uh, wherever you get podcasts and on YouTube. And all, all of this for Woody's wife. All of it for Woody's wife. <laughs> all of the, Woody's wife needs to make sure. I need to make sure. I'll she's make sure following. she follows you, but I don't think she's seriously. Up I hope she's fucking okay. That's yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, I but I, do let's do it. Let's uh, let's let's do it in, in another three months because I, I like I like sitting down with you guys. It's always really good fun. No, for sure. Yeah, like, like, totally. like maybe maybe in three months we're talking about how you can't get any more European cars ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's gonna be a fucking disaster. No more um, gas. You're reviewing carriages in six months. <laughs> oh it's got dude. two horsepower. This is John and Big Mike. People say oh, to stay away from the Clydesdale. I I, I like the power. <laughs> Yeah, no. and Zach, make sure to send me the link when the permanent link is up so I can share it on my socials. Awesome. Yeah, and all, all right. your links will be below, so check out Matt's stuff. Thank you, guys. Have a great care, night. Man. I'll see you all soon. Yep. See you soon. All right. Oh, so this is going to be fun, Taylor. <laughs> all right, here's what's going to happen. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run and piss while you do the first hit. I'm going to do it as quickly as I can because I don't mean to leave you here by yourself. Okay. But I got to piss. All right. All right, go for it. And then we're gonna then we're gonna fucking double team this thing. Both sides. We're gonna do it. Two a yeah. double just the boy yeah. just just me and you, PKN. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be good. Unless what he's gonna show up while you're in the bathroom. <laughs> Change the link. <laughs> All right. This episode of PKA is brought to you by Express VPN. Admit it. You think that cyber I'm gonna do this one slower because there's no one here. Admit it. You think that cybercrime, that's something that happens to other people. You think that nobody wants your data or that hackers can't grab your passwords or credit card details, but you, you, my friend, would be wrong. Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi, far and away one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make that money. When you leave your internet connection unencrypted, may as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a giant billboard for the rest of the world to see. Which is why we decided to take action. Which is why we are recommending that you get ExpressVPN to protect yourself from cyber criminals. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. ExpressVPN has easy-to-use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, and tablet. Turning on ExpressVPN takes only one click. Just one. Using ExpressVPN, I can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having my data stolen. Oh, Kyle's back. For less than seven bucks a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection that I have. ExpressVPN is rated the number one VPN service by Tech Radar and comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash PKA. That's E X P R E S S VPN.com slash PKA for three months free with a one year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash PKA to learn more. Just seven bucks a month. Three months free with a one-year package. That is expressvpn.com slash PKA. So check that out if you are interested in staying secure online. Code <clears throat> PKA. Also brought to you by Lock and Load, the premium quality, finest load supplementing product that there is on the market. Anyone who tells you otherwise, I take umbrage with. I'll use that strong of language. So it's a tremendous product. We all use it every day. It makes you come like a fountain. And you can use code PKA, get 20% off of our cum pills. And you can also use that for anything else on Derek's site. So I would say, check out the pre-workout, the nitric he sent me. He was like, hey, we're, we're going to send you guys a bunch of stuff because, you know, we want you to have a, a wider breadth of understanding of our product line so that you can promote other things on the podcast that you genuinely think are good. Now, I, I, I've been taking the turkesterone for like a week. I can't tell any difference there. How much anything. are you taking? I'm taking four a day. Jesus, that's it? It's, it, it, I don't know, is it bad? Oh, what does it say on the bottle? Uh, One. One a day. Or one every, I don't know, I didn't read the bottle. But, you but I'm taking, taking at least eight a day. Okay, eight a day. I'll, I'll, I'll pop those, those rookie numbers up. Maybe 16. 
Maybe it's external. <laughs> let's 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 roll with with four for a bit. I'll tell you uh, what I actually. No, I, did. I think it's I think it's a morning and night thing. So that would be two. But yeah, uh, what I you can safely did, amp it up. I, I tripled the dose because uh, I bought three bottles and I did it in a month. Okay, so yeah, so whatever. I, I know. Uh, I know lots of the big fitness guys take quite a bit of the stuff. But anyway, it wasn't the trichesterone I was talking about. It was the the nitric mode pre workout. It is there's no stim in it, which is perfect for me. I love that one. And it gives me a much better pump. I think that's because of the gl glycerol or something in there. I've never taken glycerol before working out, but I feel like a little more pumped up after I'm working out with this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's been a few weeks. Oh yeah, that's uh, got that got that's got cell plump cell plumping technology. I believe it's called. it does cell plumping. Well, and uh, I, I asked for more pre workout, and he was like, "Hey, let's, I'm going to send you something that Kyle speaks highly of the the glycerol for that maximum pump, that big swole look." Do you do you use that still or do you yeah. not anymore? Because yeah. do you drink it separately between? Yeah, don't mix them. They're, they're different flavors. Oh, OK, so you drink that one totally before the workout. I drink them both um, like 30, 40, 40 minutes uh, pre-workout. And then I just start drinking water until it's time to work out. OK, well, I yeah, drink I would so recommend water that before. one. The uh, the blackout cherry is the best flavor of any pre-workout I've ever had. The uh, the close. the um the glycerol or whatever, <clears throat> I'll be honest, it doesn't taste good. Um, I wasn't looking for a flavorful drink when I bought it though. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it 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 does like really get you pumped up though. Uh, it, it's something about getting water into muscle cells. Like that that's what all that shit is going to be for the most part, other than vasodilators. But it does the job, uh, especially on top of like the regular pre workout. He's also got protein powder that's really good. Um. But yeah, buy our cum pills for sure. Yeah. Code PKA, 20% off. Dude, I was watching um, the UFC last week and uh, I saw something I hadn't seen before. There was a women's fight and this Chinese chick took like a, a knee to the cunt, like hard. Is that, and, is that legal? No, no. Clam it's hammer? The, clam hammer, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she hit, hit a cunt hammer. punt. A cunt punt. A cunt punt. Yeah. 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 And uh, like a real hard one. And, you know, they show the replay. And, mm -hmm. and as they're showing the replay, Joe's like, I'm not even sure we should be showing this because you like see like the foot go like up into the vagina. It's like, huh, oh, maybe don't show this. I don't know if we should because they don't get a Did you, do, can you Can you see a little bit of penetration? I hope not. Um, but but those the girls don't have a cup down there. They just got like boy shorts they, or something going on. Like they've got like athletic bottoms on. They can wear pussy protectors. I remember I was in like we were like 14 or something and I was in a hockey locker room and this guy on my team was like, dad, I forgot to bring my cup. I need you to go buy one from the, the shop. And his dad's like, OK. And he comes back like 10 minutes later and just throws the box at him. And it's like th this guy always took forever to put his stuff on. And so he waited to the last second and then took it off, started throwing it on. And he's like, what the hell? What the hell is this? And he's like, Dad, like leaning out of the, the locker room to like scream into the main air. Dad, Dad, you bought me a pussy protector. <laughs> you bought me a pussy protector. And everyone on the team was laughing at him. And his dad was a total troll. He's like, I bought, I bought what I thought you needed, son. He had like a weird trembly <laughs> voice. I, I bought what I thought you needed, son. And we're all like, dude, Mr. P, you are so fucking funny. <laughs> did he also get him a cup? Because that's going to suck. After that, he did make an honest mistake. He didn't mean to buy him. Oh, that's factor. really funny. Oh, but, he's yeah. a, I didn't. We didn't know that those existed. Oh, he's time. just No, I didn't know they existed either. Well, they don't use them in the UFC. Maybe they're not good for like wrestling and stuff like mm -hmm. they would for like a stand-up sport. Uh, so like you could tell she was really hurt. Now, now I've seen girls get twatted before, but they <laughs> usually just kind of shake it off and they get back to it. But you can take up to five minutes on a low blow to recover if the ref is there. You know, the ref will just yeah. stand there and just wait till you're good. She so, she needs time. She's like she's like yeah, and like she doesn't want to grab her pussy because we're on TV and it's like which is another thing that like I don't know the guys will reach right in there and like start look they'll like be must, like pulling their balls back out of themselves <laughs> or whatever they're doing you know like they they got no shame but she's just like kind of putting her hands on her thighs like. Ooh, my pussy hurts and, and and the ref goes doctor and and joe goes what's the doctor gonna do when he gets there <laughs> joe's so funny like, pop like, that like, pussy out man see joe's the only one who like has that sort of comics mindset that that's always looking like a step or two ahead with like anything yeah. it works really good for coming up with a joke but when like shit is happening in front of you that's unscripted he's like 
But when the doctor gets there, what's he going to do? Is he going to look at her vagina in front of us all right now? Is that where this leads? Because yeah. <laughs> and everybody else is like, my, by God, you're right. That where, what is the doctor going to do? <laughs> and the doctor kind of like gets to the door and he's just like, <laughs> like, like I, probably, probably good. Probably good. They good call pussy. me Dr. Johnny Giant Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, eventually she just like, you know, decided she was okay and got back in there. But it was the weirdest like thing. I, I've seen plenty of eye pokes and weird, blo- you know, fouls in the UFC. But she was legitimately like in a lot of pain and nobody knew what like the step would be if like we needed a doctor or something. Like, like, they, like just, they could have her like jog it out back to the locker room real quick. And then for, a, for what, what there's an OBGYN back there. You leave the ring. It's over. Oh, well, I don't know the rules about if your pussy gets. I don't know if there is a rule like that, but but I've never seen anybody leave the octagon for any reason and then get back in and continue anything. Not even like someone had to go to the bathroom. I don't know what happens, but I think that you piss in a bucket while someone holds a towel if it's an absolute emergency. And my guess is it happens more than you'd think, but the camera crews know to just get away from it and like go to like something else while dude is literally pissing in his corner. I guarantee that's happened. Yeah, I've, I've, I've but said, they're not leaving. Uh, dude, there was there was a time. Maybe I'm getting the goalie's name wrong, but it was in the NHL. You know the the biggest league in the world and just in the middle of a game they're like roberto luongo very good goalie i think it was him they're like luongo skating off quickly (laughs) in between the whistle what is going on is the coach calling for him what's happening like what are they gonna do he's the starting goal the backup is coming in. he's been playing tremendous he hasn't been injured what's going on here and then like 10 minutes later like he's back he's back on the bench we don't know what kind of protocol this was and like afterward he's just like i was about to poop all over the ice (laughs) (laughs) i I absolutely had to and i there is nothing worse than having to take a shit playing goalie because when the game is on the other side you have nothing to think about but having to shit the whole time and i remember me and i think his name was nick uh, he was my backup goalie on a team. I think I was like, I was maybe 15 at this time. And I was a starting goalie and he was the backup and we were playing a game and it was in a, a tournament, I believe. And I was feeling like dog shit. And so was he, I think he might've gotten me sick and we were both having diarrhea. They put both of us in the same room for the, for the tournament trip. And I go out there and like before the game, I'm like, Nick, like if I start waving at you, I want you to please get get on the ice quickly. Like <laughs> I, I would, re- I like I don't want to embarrass myself and p- poop my pants. And he was like, "Dude, I totally get it, but I'm not staying out there very long because I got to poop too." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and so, like, period one, we're in the middle of the first period. We're halfway through the first period. I, Nick, Nick, like, there's a. I'm waiting. I, I think I smother the puck. Whistle book it off and we told the coach to expect some erratic goalie changes and he understood he doesn't have other goalies what the fuck is he gonna do put a plug <laughs> in our equipment expect some erratic goalie <laughs> changes <laughs> it was like we weren't gonna win this tournament anyway who gave a fuck and so i skate off and it is unreal hard to shit in goalie equipment first of all your knees with the pads you can't see the door of the goddamn thing in front of you you're like a mountain of a man, you can't get your pants off without taking the buckles off of your pads. So imagine like shin guards, you know, on the front, you're unbuckling the top ones so that they fold down off of your legs towards the the ground. And then you pull your pants down and then you take your shit. You're like a knight in armor. And I'm in a giant, I can barely reach my ass to wipe and take care of it. Cause I, like like a retard, the first time I took the shit, I was like, I'm, I'm going to leave this on. This is speedy. And in the middle of wiping, I'm like, am I getting shit on my jersey? (laughs) (laughs) thankfully i did not get notes to you you're just smearing (laughs) shit all over your number back there no one wants to get close to the crease they're too intimidated by that goaltender it's like no it's because he's got shit all over himself the ultimate defense and so i i get back out there and i swear to god the second i get back out on the bench i start to feel more grumbles and I see Nick waving it. I see Nick waving it. It was one of those shits where all I was doing was relieving temporary pressure. There was no a full evacuation there. And so he, Nick, immediately waves me over. I'm like, are you kidding me, man? He goes, he runs in there, takes a shit. I make it through the first period, and I think I make it through most of the second. And then I had to bail. Like I think I shit three times. We each dude, shat three dude, times. Remind me again. How did you get like poisoned? What happened? I don't. I cannot. I don't remember. We ate the. It was on a trip. And so we ate the same shit both 
of us this the night before. So it must have been something we ate. I don't know. But it, that's the only thing that makes sense. We were in the same room. We probably got some like room service feeling like big shots for, you know, from the fucking bullshit Marriott we were staying at. But yeah, that was that was horrible. That was the least fun game of hockey I've ever played in my life. Like the the panic of having to shit and knowing not only are you not near a toilet, you are five minutes of frantic equipment removal once you get there. And once you can see the porcelain, your mind tells you it's time. Yeah. Psychologically. Yeah. And so I'm there here dancing, trying to get that shit off that. Oh, absolute nightmare. That sounds like no fun at all. No, no. I, 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 I'm surprised that it doesn't happen in more sports. I, I have seen it. It's in true. UFC, not in UFC, I don't think, but definitely in like mixed martial arts, them shitting themselves. Like, Oof. well, that's good. They have to leave the ring for that. They can't let them keep wrestling if they're shit. That's a disqualification. Uh, that's you know what? Fair. Fair, right? That is fair. You don't. You make, you don't he shit himself. Kids. Well, you sir won. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, gross! <laughs> You're some metal. He's, he's up there like I don't hear no bell. It's like, dude, you have <laughs> shit yourself. You lost. <laughs> like by by every measure, it's over. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, getting I, I the shit kicked out of you literally oh. in front of all those people. I watched a video last night, like 4 or 5 a.m. Um, Midi or somebody sent me this video. And you've got two different angles on this thing. You've got the cop's um, camera that he's wearing. And then mm -hmm. there, like, there's a little shed that like runs one of those gates with the, uh, the arm that allows cars in and out. And um, there's a camera inside of it that looks yeah. that pans straight down. So you could see the operator who normally sits in there very well. Well, I don't know the backstory, but a maniac runs into the thing and takes this Sikh gentleman who's wearing the turban with a beard mm -hmm. hostage with a knife. He's got like a dagger, like like, like a six inch blade. And he's like got him in a headlock <clears throat> and he's trying to like pull the knife toward his throat to like, I think, to keep him hostage. Not mm -hmm. necessarily. He wants to get into hostage holding like Position. mode. Yeah. You know, he, he wants to, like, get this wrestling over so that he can effectively negotiate with the cops who are just on the way. Yeah. So he's kind of achieved that. He's got, like, knife almost to throw, but the seat guy is still, like, kind of wiggling around a bit. <clears throat> and he's behind the guy, like, in a headlock sort of uh, situation. Two cops walk up, and fucking Johnny Thunderbolt must have been officer number one because he goes... <laughs> Bam! And shoots the guy in the top of the fucking head immediately. And That's the guy, awesome. like, as the guy's falling over very much dead, he shoots him in the head again as his head's falling over. And you see, like, mucus fly out of the fucking head. Gross. And the Sikh guy is, like, trying to get the fuck out of the guard shack. And Johnny Thunderbolt's like, right this way, sir. And he's <laughs> like, are you okay? And, like, he can't he can't johnny thunderbolt doesn't understand what's wrong with the Sikh man because mm -hmm. the Sikh man is being real weird and kind of like acting funny like turning his back i spotted it right away the Sikh man has pissed himself <laughs> 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 he doesn't want the cop to know but but like look, <laughs> that's an acceptable time to pee yourself <laughs> that is the time to piss yourself dude it was just like you know those targets that you see where like yeah. a hostage the, the hostage taker has the woman and like you can see his ugly mean face and then she's just like oh no and you've got to shoot the mugger without hitting the woman yeah dude must have been a model for one of those posters at some point he's just like what are you gonna do copper and the cop just immediately shot him in the top of the fucking head like the guy's wearing a baseball cap and you see the cap go ass. poof. And it was so ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that before. I've always, when I've seen fucking wild, like, uh, well, I've seen that snipe. There was that dude sitting in a chair with a gun in his hand, and somehow they shoot the gun out of his hand without it even the bullet even hitting his hand. It, it yeah. just hit the gun, which is wild. Yeah. That's I, a I've always thought ball. if I was taking a hostage like that, that's a very Hollywood kind of hostage to have a gun over here and be like, I got hostage. Like I'm hiding entirely. I'm like I'm making us both like do DDR moves together, jittering and jiving around. That shit doesn't work. I, every time I've seen someone actually do that because they watch too many movies, like either they shoot the guy or eventually they're just like grab his arm and pull it away, and then they have him, and they're all mad at him. Oh no! <laughs> like I, I I saw one in like <laughs> forgive me I don't know what country they were brown and the street was red mud and. When then they got the knife away from this mustachioed gentleman holding this pretty little girl, they just started whooping his ass. And it was, 
<laughs> you couldn't count the people that were beating him up. It was like when you see like a pile of ants like tearing a grasshopper apart. Like, yeah. how many do you think that is? A thousand or a hundred thousand? I, I don't know. Dude, it was I saw, all of the people. They all beat the shit out of him. I, I saw some brutal, like, beat up video. And it was this, it was in India because the title said India. That's how I knew. And it was like village gets revenge on rapist. And it's this like, apparently like Joey rapist was like just known in that community as raping a lot. And so like all these women and men and even like younger kids, they just like are grabbing him, throwing him on the ground, kicking him, like picking up bottles and things like he deserves it. He's a fucking rapist. Sure. And I think a pedophile as well. So according he, to Reddit, he was just according to that whole Indian village, they wouldn't lie. What if it was like a witch? Thing? I was gonna say witch. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we don't speak Hindu or whatever. So, but but if we did, if we we hear we hear witch, witch, witch. Geez, I'm so glad that you guys killed that pedophile. He was not a pedophile. He was a demon. Oh no, we would <laughs> never kill a pedophile. We all love children. <laughs> Fucking. And it the, oh, been. there there was. Like they beat the shit out of him. They like pull his pants down. He's like on the road, like knocked out. Like people oh, have no. kicked him in the head. And then yeah. some lady takes like a broken broom handle. And, oh, not that. Uh, you don't see it. You just oh. off from the side, but it's like, but, oh, 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 oh. oh. No, all right. That's, I can't oh, do he, that. Oh, he, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh. oh, that's a colostomy bag waiting to happen. I, I don't want to. I don't think that. he had one available in that dirt. Dirt floor road. Well, he'll need you know. one soon enough after a, after a, after a, a buggering with a with a dirty brown <laughs> was person's quite broom handle. <laughs> <laughs> it was bu he was street buggered. <laughs> Dude, it was it was brutal. street buggered. Yes, yes, street buggered. I can I can watch those those brutal videos if the person is a pedophile. Of course, but th that involves most of mostly imagination yeah as I've said before i was like, about to say a little 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 make-believe then we mm -hmm. watch that stuff um because I, mostly it seems like it's just drug deals gone wrong with someone on reddit wanting to post it but knowing that that's not mm -hmm. going to get the same response as this I person was mean to that person and then he caved his skull in i just really don't like the videos of just assaults like i saw one the other day and it yeah, was like, like like some guy was coming out of a gas station and he had some sort of a disability. Like he walked with his hands and kind of funny. I don't know. He had like a wiggly walk and this black guy just walked up and like knocked the shit out of him for no reason and Aww. ran away. And like this poor guy like, is, is all like, ah, why does it, you know, like, like why did somebody just fucking de like deck me? Like, like it was just no reason at all. What a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, I've stumbled upon some fun videos to watch though. So I could go for I, some fun. It's all yeah, war. So, China and India um, have like this border dispute, I guess. And so, like, but they have a rule there um, it, or a law or just an understanding. If, if they were to use firearms against each other in any of their little like t skirmishes, it begins a war and mm -hmm. it's a big war, you know, like, oh yeah. So they just don't have guns there. But that, so they get into full blown melees between the Indian and the Chinese military with fists, really? sticks, rocks, and vehicles. Like, I watched one today where, like, I think it's a Chinese Humvee trying to, like, progress down a dirt road, and there's, like, a dozen Indians beating it and, like, knocking the headlights out and, like, screaming at it and forcing it back. Like, it's like something medieval. It's like yeah. they brought, like, a siege machine and, and like, the, 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 the knights are out there beating on it with their swords. They had, like, batons. <laughs> and, Jesus and, Christ. And I'm, I was reading I'm the comments. Of this. Yeah, and the comments said, um, oh, this is nothing. This happens all the time. They can't use firearms or it'd technically be like World War III and everybody be involved. But as long as they keep it fists and sticks, melee only, as it were, they're all good. And they get after it. Like apparently, like there's Jesus dozens Christ. of videos of them just like beating the shit out of each other. We really haven't evolved as far as we thought we have. No, we pretend that we have. Mm. Yeah, we pretend. I, we're, like, we're still. Like, I love that. I love that in the same speech, Biden is saying we've got to send as many arms to the Ukraine so they can fight for freedom as possible. And he's like, by the way. What do y'all need those 30 round magazines for here? <laughs> he, he said, What are the deer wearing Kevlar? And it's just like, dude, how it's not for deer, dumbass. It's it's not for the deer, dummy. Like, like, like you just 
you just that's such just a willful misrepresentation of what the second he amendment just is. It annoys six, me. He just sent sixteen billion dollars to the Ukraine, and he can't figure out why somebody might want a thirty round magazine. Um, Ugh, it's ridiculous. been a wild week, though. Like you can see that the weaponry that the whole fucking world is like sending, because the like you can virtue signal yeah. the new virtue signal is sending a fucking rocket to some Ukrainians. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what have you done? I sent. I sent butterfly mines to the Ukrainians. They look like toys, so the Russian children will pick them up. Oh, God, you've done... What a great guy. <laughs> what a great guy. This guy is killing knew. the next generation. Well, maybe settle down a little bit. <laughs> Jesus By the Christ, way, that, that's children. the thing the Russians are doing uh, around Mariupol, I believe. They're dropping those little butterfly mines. I don't know what like, that is, a butterfly um, mine. It's this little green thing that looks kind of like a plastic toy. Uh, I think a... You might call them also like toe popper mines. They're kind of made to maim people rather than outright kill them. They blow hands off, arms off. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, they look like toys, so kids pick them up. I mean, up. not that the ones to, that kill well, them they, were better. Well, they drop them from airplanes, though, so they're like super indiscriminate. They sort of like drop and flop around and s- disperse, scatter. Mines as a whole against people just feels like such an evil way to, to well, kill depends, someone. Well, it depends on what side you're on, right? Because right now the Ukrainians are mining the fuck out of their beaches. Oh, there's one. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, and so that'll blow up like your leg or or something. Yeah, yeah, that blow your foot if, right you, off if you step on it. Is that what it right. is? Or, or pick- he picked it up and played with it. Like um, the story I was reading, the person had been holding it and it blew the bottom of their face off. Oh, that's the second most important half of your face. Yeah, it is. And not it's a close second though. It's a close. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very close. You really need the whole thing to make it come together. <laughs> Have you ever seen those World War One photos where a guy gets his jaw blown off, and like their their like fucking solution back then was to like saw saw down a fucking horse's femur and try and plug <laughs> it in, and the guy just looks even sadder than with half a. Fe- uh, hey, Mister so Ed, come show come show me your jaw. Yeah, you got the fucking horse teeth coming off. Or the the glasses oh. with the half face like yes uh, yeah that's so Boardwalk sad. empire dude that guy like like i think that might be my next rewatch um i could rewatch Boardwalk that. empire yeah because i, I don't i don't know after either. that character we know dies i just earlier, watched season one earlier on than he should have died i lost oh, i kept watching but i lost interest same you just knock out season one and you're good you knock out season one you're good um it, it's a quick little mini series thing the other Pretty thing much. that I kind of want to rewatch, I just need to find somebody who want, wants to watch it with me. Um, I want to rewatch The Outsiders uh, because that's that's a really good show. Is that the spooky one? Yeah, that's that really scary Stephen King thing on HBO. Um, it's like eight oh, yeah, or ten episodes. It. It's just the last episode is kind of lame. But otherwise, I think it's excellent. It's really fucking good. Yeah, I just saw so Juicy Smollett. Smollett oh, whatever. yes, I had this written down. He just got sentenced just Tell me. like an hour ago, it says. Can I guess? Let me guess. Let yes. me guess. Let me guess. Yes. So my guess, because so so I saw that they had a lot of character witnesses, like Rainbow Coalition, um, like, like like all of the all of those all of those guys wrote letters. Actors, uh, Samuel L. Jackson wrote a letter. <sighs> Did they give him six weeks of like time in a place? They gave him 150 days in jail and 30 months of probation for staging a hate crime. Wow. Which is more than I thought a celebrity would get. Wow. Taking a hate crime. That's what I thought I was aiming high with six weeks of jail time. What kind of it's a state facility, right? Was it a, it was a federal thing or a state thing they just did? A state thing. It says dude. jail, not prison. So I guess. Dude, that sucks so much worse. Oh, yeah. Well, that no, if he's going said, to, a, if he's going to a Chicago fucking jail, like that's legit, like a rough fucking time as far as I as far as I know. Like like I can't imagine, like like the Atlanta jail is the one they did on sixty days in, dude. Like 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 mm-hmm. when when me and my lawyer oh, yeah. were discussing like, worst, <laughs> that was my worst case scenario for like once I once they said okay you're gonna do sixty days, it's like okay where though best case scenario halfway house. I sleep there, do my days here at my house, right? Like mm-hmm. worst case scenario is the Atlanta jail. <laughs> and, and that's the kind of place that like I think they're gonna send Juicy to. So good, good, because yeah. like it's not even what he did. It, it, it's like what he was trying to do. He was trying to like fan like fan incite anger. 
<laughs> fan the flames of hatred and and divisiveness like like yeah it, it, if he had done what he did as a russian actor they'd have tried him for treason yeah <laughs> that's i mean that's true but like it, it is nice to see some of some justice there he said i am not suic- i'm innocent and i am not suicidal if anything happens to me you must all know that and it's like no, I, nobody's going to suicide you in jail, man. Like, yeah, you're going to be given probably special treatment because you're famous and you're rich. If anything, you, you, you should you reply back. But I hope if I hope that I hope they do suicide you and I'm going to gaslight everyone <laughs> and make them not believe single handedly. Just like do the just, footage. Just like you tried to do us with your fake hatred. Just like you tried to gaslight everyone into thinking that someone in Chicago had a gallon of bleach and a noose on them and said, this is MAGA country. No one in the history of Chicago has said this is MAGA Ooh. country. I, I mean, we, I, I've been to Chicago like four or five times and like w- walked around at night around mm-hmm. like the nice part of town. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Like, 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 like where the buildings are, like the pretty architecture stuff. Like that ain't MAGA country. I promise you. No, like, like, very like, progressive area. Maybe <laughs> s- actually Southern Illinois. That's MAGA country. Yeah. that's ba- Southern Illinois is basically Missouri. Like, yeah, like, 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 um, you know, I, I drove up there a couple times for my little weed cations and I'd get a cabin up there for a four day weekend or something. That's MAGA country. I literally saw the flags and stuff and I was like, oh man, I, you know, you don't think of like, even as an American, sometimes I lose track of just how big some of these states are mm-hmm. because it's easy to think of like Illinois is like, oh yeah, that's where Chicago is. That's, it's, it's a blue state. It's like, dude. 95 percent of that state is farmland yeah <laughs> and and good old boys with chaw in their mouths and hate in their hearts yeah, and, then, and, then they're just, and then it's just <laughs> chicago like where all the well the majority of the people are sure sure i love chicago that's one of my favorite places to go it's a pretty um, nice town i haven't been in years but this this would be a good time to go they do a huge saint patrick's thing every single year where they like turn the the river green i've i've never gone to it my my brother did last year i have friends who have gone they say it's a blast just insane i know somebody's going up there soon i'm thinking about going with them um, that'd be fun do like a week up there uh because i i just love the food up there like portillo's is really good uh mm-hmm. the Belnati's and um uh, i love that deep dish pizza everybody's like, it's not pizza it's lasagna and it's like all right well i like their fucking lasagna chill out like it's, yeah. it's really fucking tasty either way it's not so that it, it tastes bad like deep dish pizza tastes very good. It's just if you want a hand food for your pizza, it's not the right one. Definitely not. And I, I, I pizza's a hand food. I, I, I like it. Like, and I, I like thinner crust also. I like the, I like a higher topping to crust ratio. You know, I, say. I, I don't have a preference. I just know that it's like a, it's just a different experience. I have a like, lot of like, strong food preferences. <laughs> I remember, uh, <laughs> I, get, I just got good memories wrapped around those deep dish pizzas. That might be part of it. Always had a good time when I was uh, up there in Chicago and eating one of them. So usually had some cold beer or I was stoned or I was with some like good looking young lady or something like that and having a good time and eating some pizza. One of the times I was with Woody and, uh, and Joe, I think um, we went to the place and I think, um, man, I need, I can't talk about Woody this way if he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> but but i know there was an issue with the wait staff <laughs> like, like, I, like like all i know for sure is that somebody got scolded and uh it i think it might have been warranted but i i wish you were here to like uh refresh my memory but i, I just remember like there was something about they had like on tap like root beer on tap mm-hmm. and we were like oh yeah give us a frosty root beer mm-hmm. on tap or something and they were like Two of us wanted those, and then like some, like maybe Joe was like n- just wanted water because like mm-hmm. maybe he's about to fight. I can't imagine, but like his water was like a Fiji, and it was like locked in uh, like a mini fridge because the place just had opened up for lunch. Yeah, and instead of bringing our root beers to us, he waited like eight ten minutes for a manager with a key to show up to get the Fiji water, and and our root beers oh. just sat there like losing their head. And I think that's what happened. God, I, I that, that's what it, I, I, sure I would dislike that. But but yeah, I think I think there was a fucking meltdown over that. But um, but yeah, I love that fucking pizza. A meltdown over that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like I, man, I have not just you saying that. Like I'm picturing in my mind the frosty mug, the the great tasting, hopefully like artisan or like small batch root beer that tastes so good. And those like pizzas are so hot that that like you mm-hmm. you, you you want that like giant thing of sugary like cold 
deliciousness to like wash it down every it's once great. like every once in a while and it's very rare like because i don't like regular soda very much i'm on the zevia kick for a long long time remind but, me to talk about this by the way this is new what is it this is coca-cola starlight what does All it right? mean exactly what does so, it mean so they have uh zero sugar and regular i got the zero sugar i taste really fucking good to me it just says starlight edition starlight limited edition it's flavored like space now to the best of my uh uh sommelier abilities uh <laughs> i can i'm detecting a lot of vanilla mm -hmm. some cotton candy like that, that that like cotton candy like sweetness kind of thing that it has what i don't know how to describe it cotton mm -hmm. candy and like um i heard somebody else say mint and i don't agree with that but lots of vanilla and and sweet cotton candiness and it's really fucking it's like a dessert it's really good interesting maybe i'll try that I'm, I'm not a big fan of cotton candy i've never been a cotton candy man i was when i would go to fairs i preferred funnel cakes it was more substantive more calories more sugar oh yeah yeah well they and cotton candy always hurt my teeth as a kid like like yeah when, when something is so sweet it hurts an eight-year-old's teeth like it, that's, that's come on that should be illegal i uh i got this um this essential oil that i bought from a jockey lot um do you have anybody bought, in your downline yet I bought one tube of it because it had a funny name. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's called uh, First Time Anal. And uh, and like I was like, what did they make this smell like, right? Because it says it Ass. looks like a little tube, it looks like a tube of lipstick and has a ball bearing on one end. So you could like roll it on. Yeah. And it's just full of like clear liquid that smells like something. And they, you know, they're they're like little they're just mixing shit together and of course. Slash weird name. But I had to know. It smells like Tootsie Rolls. It smells just like Tootsie Rolls. And like and now I, I just I just sat it on my like counter in my kitchen and every time I walk by it, I go, Yeah. Yes. Put it back <laughs> it smells so good. It smells like candy, but like really pungent, like delicious candy. Are you gonna incorporate it into your next anal escapade? I don't know how I would. You, maybe you think you you'd... put it put it on her ass. Maybe it won't maybe it'll I don't know what the purpose is. I don't is. think it's meant to be edible. I think it was just like a scent to apply. Oh I think... I, yeah, it's not supposed to be. I was meaning like I think that's, there. I, you know, we really need a black, um, like guest sometime because like, I, I got lots of black people questions whenever we do our <laughs> hangouts, we know whenever we do our hangouts, we've got, um, chocolate in here with us. And like, like, he's like my, 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 my black person that I asked for like, you know, black people questions and like, like it doesn't, what are, what, are, what are some of your black people? Well, questions? like with cologne, right. I feel like yeah. instead of cologne, sometimes they like got some oil or something that they're rubbing on. It like, uh, like cocoa butter no no that's for like moisturization that's that's just making sure that they stay moisturized but like it seems like sometimes they've got like uh like a, like, a like, like that, that 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 oil thing i'm talking about like they're like rolling on some oils or something i guess i haven't paid attention did did he help you clarify your your black person question well i haven't oil? asked him about this that's uh, what i'm saying i wish you were here now like like you know during my time in the clink um <laughs> i noticed that uh my black cellmate like, like he had a lot of products, right? I've talked about mm. it. Like like that one thing that he put through his hair smelled so like like the strongest sharpie, like an industrial sharpie. The way it, it was like fuck. Like like I, I'd pull my blanket up over my face to like keep from getting a contact high. That's pretty I'm, rude. I'm him. Well, I mean, where's where's he gonna go and apply it? Right? Does he need it applied? Do you need hair gel that smells up a whole area? It's prison hair gel. You don't have a lot of options. <laughs> but no, was, was was everybody using this gel? White people only had one option for hair gel. Like, like I like to put something in my hair so that it doesn't. I don't look like Lloyd from fucking Dumb and Dumber, right? <laughs> that's true. Because yeah. that's what my hair wants you to do. do. You, have, you have very straight hair. Yeah, it just <laughs> goes straight there. I, I, I end up like a pumpkin pie, uh, haircutted freak type situation. Oh yeah, and that, it like, doesn't uh, matter. I can get a two hundred dollar haircut and then get out of the shower and just dry it, walk out. I'm Lloyd Christmas all over again. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Like you, you don't, you don't want to go back to uh to 2010. Kyle hair. That's a fucking character, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives Billy Bob Thornton shit. <laughs> That's true. You and Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> We're peers. <laughs> We're peers. All right. So that is so that like, is a funny way to to retcon that. No, I had a shitty Russian haircut, <laughs> not a shitty Georgian haircut. I did. I did. That's what it was. <laughs> Um, and so like, uh, <laughs> dude, I, I got such a bad haircut one time from, uh, Oh, what on, you talking about? let me lose this. The, the, is the, it uh, in your notebook? 
No. Oh, in prison, like white people only had one option for like hair gel. And for whatever reason, it was like this aloe based stuff. It was mm -hmm. clear. It looked like burn gel. It looked yeah. like aloe burn gel and it even smelled like it too. But when you got it out, it was like kind of tacky and sticky, but not really. It was like they were trying to, we, that, that, and that was the only option for like white people if you wanted to put mm -hmm. something in your hair. So I, I would always end up looking like, um, who's that, you know, that goofy dude who does, I hate to pick on him. He, he does food reviews wearing like a tuxedo and his hair slicked like straight back. <laughs> like, no, like, but he sounds like a fucking goober. <laughs> he, he looks like one, but he's a cool little guy. Um, anyway, uh, like, 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 that's what I'd end up with with that fucking aloe shit. But black people had only like two options too, I guess. And one oh, the report of the week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of them smelled like death. Ugh, I don't want that, dude. I, I can't believe you got five months of prison. I, I am blown away. I thought it was going to be like a and three hey, years of don't, probation. Don't do that again. Uh. Was it two years, three years? Yeah, I think it was three years. So I think because he's in Chicago, he'll probably be able to like smoke mar medical marijuana when he gets out. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not 100% on that. It would suck uh, to, to not be able to smoke weed for, for a couple years. Um, yeah, you'd brilliant. know. <laughs> yeah. Five months in prison as a celebrity, though. Good. I, I, I mean, I feel like that's about fair, don't you? Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, it, it does seem fair. Uh, Cook County Jail. Like, can you imagine if a non-celebrity did this and got caught? They would have fucking made an example. Like, they. I think if a non-celebrity did this, it would have been less of a big deal. Like, like the thing that makes this crime so? severe. Well, see, the thing that makes this crime severe is that he is a celebrity. There's, it, it's it's not what you say; it's where he, it's how he said it. He said it as someone with a huge platform. Like, like, like that makes sense. He applied a megaphone to, uh, you know, he yelled fire, but he yelled it really fucking loud, and in a way that could have caused a lot of damage. If a, if an yeah. average person does this, eight eight people on Facebook get upset, and then they realize that it's crazy Larry making up lies about MAGA country again. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, definitely. I hadn't thought about that angle. So I think being a celebrity makes it a worse crime. Um, than oh, it, it definitely yeah. does objectively, because you're right. Some goofy guy making it up that he was attacked by, you know, white Man, supremacists. I'd be, I'd be, oh, I'd be a great prosecutor. I'd want my closing arguments after theirs. Like, like they, they talk about how influential he was and, and, and how many people reached out on his behalf. Like, thank you for making my case for me. I just want to point out that the reason it's so important to stand up here and now and make an example is because of how influential and far-reaching Mr. S Mr. Small <laughs> celebrity is. He was going to use all the goodwill that he had acquired through knowing Mr. Samuel L. Jackson, through no being so close with the Black mm -hmm. Power movement and the Rainbow Coalition, to, to make his claims seem more legitimate, to leverage your good cause into his hateful lie. That's Thank a good you. one. You should... Can you, you I could have, I'd have got him six months. You could, <laughs> <laughs> Double it. Ten months. <laughs> no, I feel like five is plenty. Like, like five seems almost like too much. That's right? like, yeah. In in a county jail, based on everything you and everyone else who has experience in those systems says it is a absolute nightmare. So five months really? is gonna feel like a couple of years in there. It it, it it's gonna really fucking suck. Um I mean, he's a celebrity and it's uh, nobody's gonna probably I, I seriously doubt he's gonna be any like real danger mm -hmm. but like it's gonna fucking blow um jails just suck in general jails are so underfunded they're not meant for long time term stay generally or at least they're not oh i watched a really good program i think it was a vice thing about um um nicotine vapes and in, uh, in jails this uh this one jailer had invented a, a, a vape that like it was like flexible and soft, so you couldn't use it as a weapon or anything. And the battery was so low that you couldn't use it to be combustible. Mm -hmm. And he was selling for like ten dollars a pop to his jail to his to his prisoners. And he, he uses the money to like make the jail better. But he also sells them to other jails to do whatever the fuck they want with them. He they they cost him like three dollars a pop, and he sells them for ten. And he's a prisoner. He's he run he owns the prison. Oh, he owns the prison, so he, he's making money. He's like the he, yeah, he owns the jail or he like runs the jail. And uh and so he's invented uh um vapes for 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 the prisoners. I'm I'm like 
I it didn't impact me at all, but I remember like the stories of like they're banning cigarettes and smoking and tobacco and jails across the country. It's like, like let them have it. Come on, it's about secondhand smoke. Um, that, well, then that, the vapes are a good thing. Like the, that's exactly right. Yeah. So the vapes are are just like they can go back and add vapes if they want. Like like I heard um, a lot of people were talking about like places they had been where vapes were available, like at state facilities and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. obviously we did not have any fucking vapes. I don't think. No, I've seen in some of those 60 day in, uh, things though, where they have the vapes and, uh, but, Annette, but they were like breaking theirs apart and like doing something weird so they could like super concentrate them or something and get high with them. Yeah. Like, they were like doing stuff with, they were like smoking raid off of tissue paper or so, like something literally like bug spray. They, they like put the up. inside of the vape out and it, like the way these vaped work, wait, vapes worked it was like a wick soaked in nicotine or something and so they were mm. able to like they were, they were doing something with the wick to supercharge the smoking experience and get fucked up um but this guy said that it was like really lowering like they'd have people coming in coming off of like heroin and lots of other stuff and he's like he's like you got somebody coming in just had a traumatic experience he just got locked up probably mm -hmm. beat up they're coming off of heroin and then you ain't gonna give that man a cigarette. And I was, <laughs> and I was like, he's got a good fucking. He's point. got a very good point. Give like, him like, something. Like I don't, I, I don't smoke, but I could just if something bad happened, it's like, give me one of them. Give me one of them. <laughs> Come on, give me one of them. Need a little stress them. relief. Yeah. 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 Like for anybody who doesn't smoke, if you're ever real stressed out, try a cigarette. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you'll, you'll fucking love them. Kyle oh. PSA feeling down try a cigarette camel <laughs> recommended by eight out of ten doctors look hey, everybody everybody acts like those old like cigarette ads were all lies here like, like <laughs> they were just mostly lies they're just mostly lies they're not kidding a cigarette will just smooth you right out like 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 if, if, if your nerves are a little jittery you know you're, you're having a hard time relaxing you know burn burn, burn yourself a Nice marble a light down. See if you don't feel better. See if your nerves aren't steadier. It's it's like, what are we going to figure out right now that's so horrible for us? Like, because it's easy to look back and be like, oh, those retards, they thought smoking was okay. Ha, 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 how do you not know? Meanwhile, yeah, those things maybe. But the, the food pyramid was just a, I just looked it up. They changed it in 2011. I was... Halfway through with college, when they switched and said not like for years, people were like those idiots smoking cigarettes. Let me have my ninth serving of bread today, <laughs> like so I'm nice and healthy. I like, I I mean I you could have nine servings of bread. It's more about like uh, the caloric intake though. Like like I don't nine I, I, servings of bread. That could be good for all right, you. All right, nine's too many. Nine's it's, too many. Uh, that's well, the, that's the lower that's, level. It's supposed to be nine to eleven. How many servings are in like uh, a sandwich? Is that is that is each slice a serving? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Six to eleven servings a day of bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. <laughs> Jesus, that the mama mia! You're, like, you're <laughs> Terrible <wrong>. advice. <laughs> all right, all right. That can't. You have to be working so hard to need that diet. Like, like I, I, we would say this though. If you were working in like an industrial era factory turning a big wheel all day and then grabbing a big finished product and heaving it onto a pile that is the meal you need plenty you just fast calories 11 servings of you're like yeah do, do we have any more pasta i've only had eight servings <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to burn through this like, you, <laughs> you have to have a chicken leg i don't want to be unhealthy <laughs> give me my pasta covered in butter but not too much butter sparingly yeah, yeah, I don't that, know. That shit is I like the vertical. Absurd. I like this vertical diet thing that I do. I, I feel like it's. Uh, I don't know. It, Have you been doing it again for a couple months now? Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely cheat occasionally if I want like anything. Like, like, like I'm not gonna. I, I, it's not. It's not like when um, that ketogenic diet where, oh, did you smell some sugar? Well, you're you're out of ketosis now. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh really? Does that mean that like nothing I do for like the next how long is it before I get back into ketosis and it matters again? Oh, well, maybe a day or two. You really took a step backwards here. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> fuck you and your silly diet. 
Okay, your your diet sounds a lot like the Jedi religion to me. There's a lot of Dude, keto. I have to have. Keto sucks. I did it once for like a like ten days, and I have never been low or no. I think it was a full two weeks. I've never been more low energy in my life. Like I was, it was at my old place when I lived in the city, and my now wife and I were working out one time when we were both like into the keto thing. Yeah, and it was like two weeks in, and I was like doing something with a kettlebell, and I just like laid on the ground and like almost went to sleep and I was like, I can't, I can't move my body anymore. And she's like, what do you need? I'm like, rice. And so, so I made myself a bowl of rice. Yeah. 25 minutes later, I'm, I'm, whoo, whoo, I'm oh, back absolutely. in the game. Um, you look, it, 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 I'm sure there's people out there who it, it, it works for. That's the other thing. I don't think there is one. muscle on that diet. I would think it would be. That's what, I, I'm I watched sure. a video from Derek where like he spelled out some stuff that I hadn't considered before where he's like, because everybody who's on keto only gives you the highlight reel of keto. And then like hearing someone like Derek talk about it where he's like, you know, a huge problem with this is like it is borderline impossible to grow muscle at a decent rate with this diet. And it's like, OK, well, the reasons I, I'm not smart enough to repeat, not knowledgeable enough to repeat what he knows and what he said, but it made sense. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, 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 if you said, I started listening when you mentioned Derek, and it was like, oh, mm -hmm. whatever you said is probably right. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I like kind of the, the vertical diet thing because I like everything that's in it and it doesn't really cut out too much of anything and I can eat so much. And I've really grown to like white rice. Um, I got a, a new rice cooker, but I really like just cooking it in a pan. It's so easy to cook in a, in a, in a, in a saucepan that I do that most of the time. So it's just fresh. Is, uh, I watched, I, I, I haven't watched much of his content, seen a couple videos. Is is Greg Doucet like really short? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense because he's like as wide as a house. So, okay. Proportionally, that makes sense. Yeah, he's very short. Um, my guess off the top of my head is probably five, six, five, seven. Okay. He's like, um, who's that other guy who's super knowledgeable, also very short? Oh, um, and uh, he's athlete? Huge. No, athlete not. X? Oh, I, I didn't. I wasn't thinking athlete. Um, he's also short. Is he? Are all these guys short? Well, he's short. Or I, I think that it's it's easier to have like what's considered to be a good aesthetic physique the shorter you are. Um, I, I just for whatever reason just is like like whenever I see someone, although I don't know. I think on I think in a camera, I, I think in a camera, it is. You think it seems so? like a lot of those guys are shorter. Jeff Nippard or Nippard. Oh, that's who I'm thinking yeah, he's of. short too. Yeah, because that guy's back is like like you could put tail lights on it. It's huge. Yeah, I think I've seen videos with him and his girlfriend, who's like super hot, by the way. But they're about the same height. Like like he's um he's on the shorter side. That's a huge benefit in being like an online fitness guru is being shorter because you on screen you look monstrous. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like I think if you if you go to a fitness competition that like I always heard anyway like like, like that, that like Arnold would always beat this guy every year because he was like three inches taller and like he was like didn't matter how hard little Billy worked Arnold was three inches taller yeah. and Arnold <laughs> would just laugh and laugh he'd write little Billy letters he'd call him late at night <laughs> like, mean, you know? yeah. <laughs> and then oh, like God. are there are there any like big fitness influencers, like tall guys? I think Derek's pretty tall, but I don't know. Yeah, Derek is very tall. Um, I think he's like six five or something. Well, then that's infinitely more impressive that he manages to look like that. At yeah, the he's, he's a fucking gargantuan person, I, I think. Um, Jesus I think. Christ, he needs to go to like some of these fitness seminars and like meet up with the other fitness guys and get pictures with them. And oh. that's all it would take for them to be like, you're gonna buy this like, little pipsqueak the, protein powder. <laughs> yeah, you're going to buy Greg Doucette's protein powder as he's yelling like, you know what he sounds like? He sounds like the bird from Aladdin. Haven't you a seen? A little bit. You yeah. haven't seen it. Like, like, like they, they had um, Gilbert Godfrey like mock Greg Doucette. Oh, I haven't seen because that. Because they but... both had the same voice. Yeah. They have the same delivery almost entirely. Like, you know, it's a character. If, if right? anything. Oh, yeah. But Greg Doucette, uh, I would say wasn't quite as reserved and believable as the bird in Aladdin with his character. It's a little, it's a little much very knowledgeable though. I, uh, <laughs> do you know, do you watch the boys? I know Woody does. Uh, this I've, is a topic for Woody, but it doesn't look like he's going to make it poor, poor, 
poor Jackie. I hope she's okay. Yeah, I hope she's okay as well. Uh, um, hopefully, it's good news. But but do you watch? Do you watch the boys? You know the superhero. I've show seen. Uh, I've seen season one. Okay, yeah. so Homelander, the big blonde Superman stand-in, who's just mm-hmm. a horrific person. It turns out the actor is also like a horrific person. Did he rape? But, no, no, he's just like general douchebaggery. So I oh, think he's um. Well, that's not as bad. He's either from New Zealand or Australia. I don't know. I don't know which. But you know, to an American, you guys are like, you guys it go did. together like peas and carrots. <laughs> so um, it, one or the other. He was in some sort of situation at a, a bar or a restaurant or something, and like he like beat up a chef and then got into one of those arguments where he's like, "Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I, I, I can. I'm gonna have you ruined." I'm going to ruin you. You don't even know. I'm going to destroy your life. Like in like drunkenly, like threatening yeah. this guy with like that sort of thing. And, and like, and like apparently like beat up or at least struck the chef. Damn. And I'm sure he did a good, he's a big guy. So he probably threw a pretty heavy hand. Looks like he got a 12 month suspended prison sentence in Spain for this. So literally nothing. So, so, so nothing at all for assault because he's in superhero movie. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In Spain, even in, I bet Spain is a place where like $50,000 means fucking suspended sen- sentence and goodbye. Yeah. $100,000 means good luck on season two. Yeah. Oh, no. It's season three. Season three. I'm, I'm pumped for season three. Now, be honest here. He's a villain in the show. Mm-hmm. Does this make you like him more or less now that you know that he's a douchebag in real life? Very similar to how he is in the show because in the show, you know, like he's a sociopath. He doesn't give a fuck about yeah. like, regular people. It, it makes his character better and more believable, but I still prefer the story of like that interview I saw many, many years ago of Joffrey's actor where they were like asking him, like, what do you think about playing the most hated character in arguably television history? And he's like, well, frankly, it's an honor that people think the way I'm portraying the character is so good. You know, I know he's kind of not a good guy, but it, it really means a lot. And it's like, Oh, this seems like a nice, genuine, good guy who's just a good actor and good at playing smarmy little kids. I, so I'd prefer that the bad guys actually be no, these people. <laughs> no, fuck that. No. no, I want actual villains to play villains. Like, like, like they do it all the time. You know, they need some tough guy in a movie. They hire a professional athlete. They, they've had a lot of MMA fighters recently True. jumping in there. They're terrible um, actors. Uh, some of them do well. I think John Cena's great. He's not MMA, but, you know, he's WWE. Even The Rock is a bad actor. He plays the rock in every movie. I'm, I'm, I, I haven't disagreed yet. I'm trying to think of an example of him like doing a good job acting. Think of a scene right, where yeah. he is surprised by something and he gives that same open mouth face. Um, and then he flexes. And then he flexes. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't think The Rock is a good actor, I suppose. I do think John Cena is a good actor, though. Yeah. Yeah, he really poured his heart out to China in that video. What video? Do you not see that? He accidentally said that Taiwan was like a separate area. And so there's this clip of him speaking Mandarin going, like all that shit. And like the, the, the subtitles are like, I had no idea what I was saying was. And it's like all these celebrities just kowtowing to China. They're progressive as hell until China's like, we don't like that. Say you're sorry. And it's like, I'm so sorry. Please still watch my sport. Like, Shit. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's not about that. It's because um, like it's the Disney thing. It's got to be right. Of course. Oh, yeah. Wait. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Um, is, would that that would be no? That's on HBO. That's not connected to Disney unless they own. No. Well, I know uh, Disney owns everything, and they get, make a lot I, of money in China. It's, it's got to be Chinese China. influence in general. Oh well, that well that's really lame. I didn't know that. I, I think John Cena's still a good actor, though. I, I really enjoyed him in this. Of uh, the wrestlers, he's probably the best. I think so. I think so. Um, although that Colby Covington guy, um, I think that he's working with Stone Cold Steve Austin a little bit to like help him with his lines. What's he been like, in? He's not, he doesn't act. He, he, oh. he, I'm talking about the stuff he says in the ring. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, what was that line that I sent you the other day where like, you know, he got hit in his last fight. He won it handled, like, handily, but like he got hit at one point, went down on one knee and his quote was like, I didn't get dropped. I was taking a knee for the first responders. <laughs> <laughs> His whole shtick is that he's like MAGA country and like, like he's yeah. a big Trump supporter. 9-11, never forget, you know. The- yeah. And, and you know, he, he's like, uh, when he comes out, his music says, you suck, we fuck. It's just like, like and, and the crowd's singing Confident. along. Yeah. It's, Easy lyrics. It rhymes. 
Um, and you know, his, his Instagram shit begins with him being like, uh, what's up nerds and virgins. And he's got like, <laughs> and he's got like two very uncomfortable, like paid models with him in bikinis, <laughs> like, like, like shaking their asses and stuff while he like hawks some sort of crypto scheme. <laughs> 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 and, uh, <laughs> he, uh, on his last, uh, call out, he said, uh, he, he said, I just took out some Miami street trash cause he'd beaten a Cuban guy. <laughs> <laughs> now i'm gonna take on some louisiana street trash where are you at dustin poirier who's from louisiana you cuck you cuck <laughs> show off it you know blah 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 and i'm gonna kick your ass and bring that jezebel of a wife of yours and that little kid charlie who's who is really connor's son <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Like, like he is saying this next to Joe Rogan in front of no less than <laughs> 600,000 people live. Yeah. And and uh, and you know then it goes on YouTube and it's it's like that Michael Scott thing and then YouTube gets a hold of it. <laughs> Back in the day that was a joke, but now it's yeah. like yeah and then YouTube got a hold of it and 3 million more people saw it that day. And so it's just like that is way over the line. That you is. Call it, and and he's He's just following in like Connor's little game because Connor, yeah. that's how Connor got his last fight with Dustin. Connor just fought the guy that he's calling out, and 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 he was like bringing up like Twitter DMs with the guy's wife and stuff, making that public, and like saying that he fucked the guy's wife in public, and like and, and then Connor went in there and like beat him up, and he fell and broke his leg, and that's that's that What's was Connor's this guy's last name. Fight. Dustin Poirier is the one who's like no, getting one, called out. The one being shitty. Colby, uh, Colby Covington. Covington. Dude, that guy sounds like a cunt. Dude, <laughs> he is the biggest cunt. Like at the press conference. I, obviously, they, it's a character, but it's like, dude, settle down. Don't bring his wife and kids into it, you dick. No one's ever brought the kids in before. It's, I, I, I yeah, that's, that's a shit tier move. That's yeah, trash. Yeah, yeah. But, but that guy. It's it's real shitty. I don't I don't know how to feel about it. Hope like, he like, gets like, absolutely brutalized by the most progressive fighter on earth. Next time, I hope a guy wearing a fucking gay pride shirt breaks his nose and he's I'm, I'm bleeding for the first response and he kicks him in the side of the head. I wouldn't put any money on that. Um, I will yeah, bet. Yeah, I've heard that he's good. He's really, really <laughs> fucking good. Like, like he's like if there's only like one guy who's better and he's the champion and it's just like, God damn it. If it weren't for that guy, then this guy would just be the champion because nobody else can beat him. Colby's like really, really fucking good. Um, Dude, Colby was, Covington, day or night. Rain or shine, I will destroy you in Magic the Gathering. Oh. He's okay. too dumb. He couldn't read the cards. He's using cuck as a meme. It's 2022, retard. You're six years late. You're six years late. That's a that's in the millennium of internet wife, time, you dumbass. He called his wife a, he called his wife a, he called his wife a Jezebel. Okay, I like that one. Right. Jezebel is like call a hearkening back to, to the Bible, which is you know, Jezebel and Ahab. Old school. And like, old school. Very, very cultural. That's high IQ. Your, your grandmother might have called somebody a Jezebel. Like, like it's, it's, Jezebel. He knows that that'll like. He knows that nobody will bleep that, and he can get that on ESPN. Yeah, but, I, I really, I don't, I don't like him bringing the wife and kids into it though. That's pretty know, classless. I, look, I don't like it, but it doesn't make it any less entertaining. That's fair, but it's there's it's lots trashy. of things that I don't like and that I think are trashy and awful. But I can't not watch, and and Colby Covington is one of those things. That's Just like true. the war in Ukraine. I was gonna say I don't care for what's going. I'll go so far as to say I dislike it. I hate it. Two thumbs down is the official stance so many, of our show. I've seen so many Russians burn alive this week. Really? Like, oh, you you sent a. I only saw the one tank video you sent uh, last time we talked. Yeah. So like every. I was saying earlier, I don't know if we were recording yet, but like the way to virtue signal now is to send Ukrainians a rocket to, yeah, to, kill, yeah. to kill a Russian. Um, and so like everybody's down. So I keep seeing like video after video. And, and what happens, I guess, is like the Russian tanks, like, and maybe just tanks in general, like up on top where these javelins especially are hitting them is where the ammunition is. And uh, they cook off, which is where the ammunition starts, this chain reaction of exploding inside the tank. And then the turret explodes off of it in this big fireball. And everybody inside is just vaporized. And Jesus. I've seen so many so many of those uh, tanks do that this week. I don't know how many Russians. I've seen so much awful shit. I don't know how much. I, I'm almost like I'm trying to slow down and always look mm. for like verification that things are real. 
because some of it's so awful. I saw a whole family dead in the streets, like little kids. Mm. The dogs were dead. Like, like um, I saw, like I, I watched an old couple get like blown the fuck up in their car um, by by some Russians, and uh, just lots of awful, awful shit. So many mm-hmm. dead kids. Um, they they hit a children's hospital a couple days ago. I guess I heard now. about that. That's horrible. Yeah. Uh, it's, what, it's, what, what's what's a worse thing to strike than that? Is there on the list of things a children's hospital? Holocaust survivors? I don't think there's just like a place what they're if, all hanging yeah, out. Yeah, right? yeah. Holocaust sur- survivor like meetup 2022. It's the last 18 Holocaust survivors. We're, in the we're, world. we're meeting at the St. Jude Children's Hospital to commemorate surviving the Holocaust. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then they, they die in that. Okay. That would be worse. That'd be worse, but 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 children's hospital is pretty high up there. I yeah. think they're like like children's. I think it's like a children's cancer ward too. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. It's, <laughs> it's not even for boo boos. It's for no. <laughs> no that, that's the problem. They couldn't flee. You know, they, they they needed to be hooked up to something. It's maternity ward. No, that's what it was. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, oh it was the sick maternity ward. Oh, oh no no, it was the terminally ill ter- uh, uh, maternity ward. It was newborns who were definitely not going to make it. You 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 can't be telling Wait, that, the truth about that one. Does that make it better or worse? Strangely better. Yeah, that they <laughs> <laughs> it was newborns who were like touch and go. Touch, touch and go. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst. Like there was hope. Mr. Smith, I regret to inform you, your son is a bit touch and go. What does that mean? You know, half in, half out. Uh, how, however you want to see it, I'm a glass half full kind of guy. I'm a I'm a Nick you half full kind of guy, and we're overflowed. So you can take your half dead son home. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's been pretty cancer. horrific. Um, uh, I don't know how Putin's going to get out of this thing. He's backed himself into a corner. Uh, he has, has anything like, happened like progress wise, like on the lines, like the the battle lines? Because like you know, you see oh, like the yeah. areas the Russians oh, have moved to. All have right, they so have they got a lot more? So broadly speaking, here's the situation. Whenever you see that, like, oh, the Russians have taken this big red blob and they move mm-hmm. the blob in closer, that's bullshit because the Russians can't drive on anything that isn't road unless they're in the in the south where it's dry and arid. Everything up around the capital in the north is like bogged the fuck down, and mm-hmm. and those vehicles, like, it's hard to imagine how much they weigh. Like like a car weighs like five thousand pounds, I think, like roughly. Mm-hmm. Like cars are like five thousand pounds. Those tanks are like twenty five. Tons? Don't twenty thousand tons? I think they're twenty five thousand. T- they're they're gigantic. They're just they're thousands and thousands of pounds. Jesus. And they just like sink down to nothing in the mud. And uh, one of the things I saw the Ukrainians plan this out very well. They released a reservoir and like flooded this huge area of like farmland out um, south of Kiev or Kiev. And uh, so the but but the tanks are just on the roads in lines, and then they can't get fuel to the tanks. The fuel trucks all have flat tires because the rubber was dry rotted. Um, and of yeah, course, the whole that. time they're like, shitty Chinese tires. They're shitty Chinese tires. And they're using a mixture of like drones and guerrilla tactics to just continuously pick at the long convoys that are just stopped in the road. Yeah. And tonight, or like, I don't know what time it is in Ukraine. It's probably getting toward the middle of the night by now. Um, but it's, uh, I think, negative 20 Celsius, whatever that is. Oh my and, God. And they can't run their tanks. Is that a, is that a real temperature? They can't run their tanks and stuff to stay warm because they, they don't have fuel. And the inside of a tank is like a heat sink. It's just sucking all the heat away from you. Like oh, you can't like build up any heat like you could in a tent or something like that. So um, they could legitimately be Russians freezing to death tonight. Yeah, minus four Fahrenheit. They could absolutely freeze to death. Uh, I, I listened to captured um, phone calls from the Russians. That's how they're being so accurate, by the way. The Russians don't have field encrypted field communication. Muni- encrypted uh, field communications that mm-hmm. are effective. So they either get listened in on or they get their uh, um, cell phones GPS tracked and shot because they have artillery that can just aim mm-hmm. at a GPS and shoot it. Uh, but they were they were playing the um, the Russian soldiers talking about looting and how they had, he's like, I got a mink coat for you and an Arctic fox for little Mika. And yeah, fuck the, and, and the wife back home was like, yeah, Fuck those drug addicts and Nazis. Steal it all. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I shot a car up today. She's like, did you? He's like, yeah, I killed them all. Good. Get them all. And then the, the one guy was just like, yeah, we captured a few of them. 
and we tied him up and searched him. And we had to decide if we we're going to let him go because they might tell people where we were. So we just shot him all in the head. Jesus and so, Christ. And, and and they're just like laughing about it. And it's it's, it's real maniacal stuff. Yeah, that's pretty um, dark. Talking about uh, the guy's like, oh, yeah, I got a new ratchet. It's in the box. Like they're just talking about looting, like and stealing, like all sorts. Yeah. And, and the wife or whatever is like effectively pillaging Kiev. Yeah. Or the wife, whatever city it is. Just the, just the, wherever they are. The wife is like, they let you do that. She's like, oh yes, they got things of their own. And it's just like, oh, okay, Jesus Christ, they're just things sleeping. of their own. What do you mean? Yeah, like like, like the higher ups have stolen things of their own. Oh. You know? okay. like, like everybody's everybody's looting. Oh yeah. She, I mean, wife, it's a it's a wife, war. Everybody's stealing everything that's not nailed down. Yeah, it's pretty awful, but I'm seeing a lot of Russians dying, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it I watched, doesn't. Uh, look, you don't think it's going to end anytime soon? Hopefully, it does. Uh, uh-uh. uh. No, I no, think no. I, I think I'm maybe having a, a fit of wishful thinking, but I'm hoping they come to an agreement to no calm it down, uh, and stop the. One thing that's thing. interesting. Um, one thing that I would have said zero percent, but but now I would uh, say like maybe sometime soon because uh, Putin has already backed down a little. You know, originally his mm-hmm. deal was. That's good. We're, we're, his deal was like, um, we're going to take over Ukraine. Um, we've got to denazify Ukraine. Um, all of these regions are ours. The all of Ukraine is ours. And, uh, you know, the, the leadership has to go. And now it's, okay, you keep Ukraine. We take Crimea and those other two regions and let us elect like a, uh, like a, some sort of um, a secondary leader who, yeah. who is a Russian and agree not to join NATO. So, like, already they, he's like, loosened up quite a bit but Zelensky I don't think is open to that because you know that his cities are in rubble and there's mm-hmm. tens of thousands of people die uh dead or dying the russian number of casualties uh depending on who who you believe is definitely in the thousands already the russians have admitted um but but the the ukrainians seem to think it's over 10,000 uh really? dead russians yeah who knows what to believe on total number Putin, of dead russians putin um originally said they asked him the question about conscripts which i I believe is when you just force somebody up into the military mm-hmm. and send them in. Yeah. And, uh, and he was like, absolutely not. We don't use conscripts. It's against the law. And then like a day later he came out and he's like, actually we were using conscripts. Those generals will be punished severely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they were, they fired like seven or eight generals, like, like the next day where I, I, of course, I did I'm, not know that. So they're, th- so now he, they've literally admitted. So those guys who are like, we thought we were on a training exercise. I I don't even have clean underwear. It's like, I think that they just, they, it was like that scene. Um, they just kind of, sent a bunch of young adult, young kids in there they're unknowingly. Like they're like, like in America, our reservists like have like jobs and they're technicians and stuff. And like, mm-hmm. they know their shit. This was like, not even reservists. These guys were like, dude, I'm a fucking accountant. I don't know what the fuck's up. Like, 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 I don't know what the fuck is this thing. I, like, like they don't know what they're doing. Jesus they're Christ, like, that's there fucked was up. one unit. The best thing I saw was there was this unit in a barn, and they were interviewing these guys in a barn. They were like, "Our commanders told us we have to sign this piece of paper that says that we were all fired from the army two months ago. So, so that way, our presence here is not uh, Russian military presence. I guess we just wandered here." without food or sleeping bags <laughs> to live in this barn. They left us. <laughs> and I was just like, that is so fucking hilarious. It doesn't so seem glad. like uh, like the Russian army has much care for the lives of their soldiers. I'll tell you what. Or apparently what you're saying, they're not even soldiers. They just seized some guy who worked at the bank and was like, hey, guess what? You get to go on a fun training exercise. When you see fucking Kiev in two miles... It's, it's a mistake. It's Keep so going. clear that 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 Putin wanted to be viewed as like big, strong, and influential on the world stage, and he has done like he's ruined himself and his country. Like 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 this this is not go. I, I occasionally I see someone like maybe he's playing two D chess here, and it's like you're the two, same two person. You're the, you're the same person who always like is like no Donald Trump doesn't have any plans. <laughs> but 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 let's suddenly Putin is a mastermind. No, Putin is fucked. There's no way he wanted the ruble to be worth 0. 0.7 pennies each. There's no yeah. way he wanted like all of these firms and major companies. Did you? I saw a video inside of a Russian mall today. Now, granted, uh, you're probably thinking like, show me a, a video in an American mall. But I think Russian yeah. malls are more trafficked 
than, than our models are. I don't. I think there's. I think they're like 15 years behind us. Yeah. You know, on uh, on on that curve, uh, and everything's closed. Every uh, the, 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 you know the the shutters are down and everything. You couldn't buy anything. I saw a guy who like cleaned out a McDonald's and froze it all because there's no more McDonald's there. Um, but Russia, uh, Putin said this, and and if they go through with this, I haven't been watching the news. It's it, it. He's basically saying let's let's start another Cold War and just go for a generation. I think he was talking about privatizing all of the assets from these companies who are supposedly pulling out, nationalizing so, them. Yeah. Yes, nationalizing them and and keeping them. He's like, oh, you don't want to run run a McDonald's here? Well, the bit the place is going to open up tomorrow, and they're going to be selling Big Macs. Wait, well, you <laughs> can't do that. Yeah, you can. We own that now. No, we own that. Oh, I can't use McDonald's? I just invaded Ukraine. You think anybody's going to be talking yeah. about the fucking burger they're, restaurant? They're talk- They're saying that they may relax uh, trademark and copyright laws so that they can just steal you know, software they need, steal trademarks that they want to continue using. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It, this, so I, McDonald's I, goes, we're removing all of our stores. And he's like, then we will re- put more people in there and put more beef in there and make burgers? Yeah, I, I think they'll just like make it a McDowell's or something uh, McDowell's. And, and just, just serve some Russian beef. I don't know what the fucking plan is with literally a McDonald's, but so much of their stuff is closed that, that, that I think that it's gotten the general population to start talking about it to the point where like maybe uh, they, they'll figure out what's going on. I still see Good plenty name. of people who don't care, you know, or are happy about it. You know, they're like, yeah, get the, get them, you know, well, like, and, like Russians. Yeah, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll be like, like, where do this? you see that? I, I've read it. Oh, okay. I don't where, where, which, like, um, well, it, it's pro, pro Russia, r slash pro Russia. No, well, there's Russia phobia. Um, there's, there's that subreddit, and, it, and it's all, um, people like, like, look at, uh, I'm 14 and I'm in like Switzerland and I'm getting bullied for being Russian. And everybody's like, oh my God, can you imagine? Like just melting down and stuff, and like you know, making it propaganda and stuff. Mostly, there's there's plenty of that, and and yes. I've seen I've seen like mainstream media go in Russia, you know, in Saint Petersburg or, or Moscow or whatever, be like pull out an iPad and like like here's what's happening in uh, in uh, Ukraine, and either they won't look at it or they'll be like, yeah, that's 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 propaganda. I, I'm I'm a Putin man through and through. Whatever he wants to do, that's what I want to do. They literally say stuff like that, so it's. It can be really disheartening when you realize that even if you were to win sort of the information war, that maybe they wouldn't care what they heard or saw. Mm-hmm. Because I feel so awful when I see those fucking kids dead. Oh, and then they showed like they're they're one of the stories was this lady who got killed in a bombing because she was going back to save the starving dogs at the pound. And they were like, oh, and you donate here if you want to help save the starving dogs at the pound. And I'm like, oh, no, not war refugee puppers. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I donate? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. And, Here's 10 bucks for the Ukrainian dog Oh, shelter. my God. It's fucking <laughs> on and on. I feel so awful. Um, and then I see the old crying ladies. And, oh, today I saw, like, there was a little kid, a little refugee kid. She was like three and, and, and like a little fuzzy hoodie and shit. And they, and she had like this little, like, I don't know, like a little chunk of bread out of like a fucking Aladdin, right? Like a, like a, like a hunk of bread in her hands. And she, mm-hmm. she like takes a bite of it and she sees the cameraman's look at her and she goes, you want my refugee bread? She's like, she's like, yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> she's offering him her little bit of bread. I was, I mean, so that's. Fun. So that, fucking sweet. That's obviously propaganda. <laughs> what are you talking about? Setting up a, a shoot to have them hand bread over. Come on. You think they told Come the kid on. to hand the cameraman the bread? Yes. Yeah, probably. That Girl. see, like that kind of thing right, is just too on I, the fucking nose. Here's it's too on the I nose that they're there with their film and their lighting and their ooh, look at this. It wasn't hand. like that. Don't this, this was it was just like they're <laughs> filming like a crowd. Like, like this is this is like a bustling crowd of people and stuff moving around. Yeah, and it's, this was not propaganda. This was just. Well, I, I will trust your 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 careful eye on it. I I, I, I can I find the propaganda. Um, I saw uh, the Samuel Hyde video. Uh, ah. Did you watch that? I did watch watch some of that. It yeah. was so <laughs> rambling and incoherent and weird. And in the background, he had that other guy like just randomly moving stuff around and like shuffling about. 
Wait, wow. which are you talking about the where he was talking about the baby? How he wants to have a adopt a baby because they only have three guys in their in their apartment and they need a fourth for four player games. And well, they like request they want no. a baby with like no, 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 can, no, no. can we get one with uh MS? Nope. So that it can't get up. It just wants a game. Nope. I, I didn't see the one you're talking about. This is about um and, and again, forgive me if I'm wrong about this because it, it was very rambling, but it seemed to me that he was talking it was I'm like a nose for him. It was almost like a poem. And he was talking about if Vladimir Putin were his son. Oh, you and, know what that's based on, right? And and he seemed to be like going back and forth, like, like like he was imagining if he was like a trans man or something. And Vladimir, <laughs> like like you know, it got, it got so complicated yeah. that like like like, like I, I got confused a few times about what gender he was pretending to be and what gender or his wife or and or husband partner or whatever. Yeah. I was so confused by the scenario he was laying out for me, and it was rambling about like. I would love you, little Vladimir. I would, I would tell you you were great. I would tell you you were strong and to never masturbate. And it was just like, it was like I'm just making that up off the top of my head. But, but like, it was that was weird. a good one. It was weird shit like that. Like, like, like. Oh yeah. Do, do you know what that's? I'm gonna watch that after the show because it's gonna be funny. Do you know what that's based on? Mm-mm. So there was this huge meme that this like white woman influencer made, who like straight up was called like if I was Putin's mom and it, like everyone was oh roasting God, this stupid bitch is. who was, who was like, if I were your mom, Vladimir, yeah. I would love you and I would make you feel loved. That's what he did. Never, you okay. would never feel the need to lash out ever again because I would love you, Vladimir so much. And I would care for you. And if you just had a mother who cared, we wouldn't be in this predicament. We need more mothers who care for their son, like a brambling bullshit. And so, yeah, that's what he's making fun of. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely it. Um, sh- shifting gears a little bit, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my little Ooh. notebook of like things I noticed this week. There's a lot of. Uh, I, I found a guy who died in Florida in a really shitty way. Uh, I guess pun intended. Um, so this guy worked in a landfill. Okay, already like, just imagine this guy's life up until this point. Terrible. This sounds young, sounds awful. This Two young man's in. job is working in a florida landfill um it's and probably hot probably even now in march it's hot as fucking balls well he was out there and he had to take a shit and uh luckily for him there was a porta potty so he, he's, he hops in the porta potty starts taking his no. shit and uh along comes his buddy in a bulldozer and uh because he was heading like up up a hill you know, the front of the boat bulldozer obscured his view and he didn't realize that he was driving right over a oh. porta potty. And so a bulldozer uh, makes it, well, it, it's just no match. It uh, makes short work of you. Yeah. Short work of a, of a porta potty and a man inside of it. That plastic just bends to its will because it's thousands of pounds. Oh. And, uh, and so it just mushed him inside the porta potty. And what was inside must have been just a, a horrific scene how did they separate him from everyone else's shit from that day it'd be impossible he has his own shit in there too impossible there would be a mixture of man porta potty and shit if that happened to me just bury me whole just bury me in the porta potty (laughs) you back the bulldozer up and start piling dirt on top just leave me there don't look at what's in there don't open that door that's not being my best I would, haunt, my best. I would haunt the shit Look, out of that guy. I wouldn't want you to open that door if I was just taking a shit. I don't want you to see that. You don't no, need to see that. You don't no have that to image. see that. I certainly don't want you to see me if I've been crushed while taking this shit. <laughs> it's Ugh. so awful. Uh, and and I it's all your, all, your, all your viscera mixed with the poo. The poo. And the landfill. Yeah. It's well, that's like a, you know, for a, this is the best place for it to happen. It's the worst place for it to happen. A landfill? You just kind of kind of move it. Right? You just kind of push him push him a well, little further. Make a mistake you, further into the landfill. I not like you gotta hose the area down, I suppose, if that was your concern. There's no like cleanup per se. Well, I was um, meaning if it happened like on a busy street. Oh. That would be worse. And at least it was landfill. Yeah. Well, the, that poor guy working a shitty job. He's already thinking. God, I fucking hate shitting in porta potties. This is the worst part of my day. But he didn't yeah. know, dude. What if he was taking a piss? Oh, 
that would be even more tragic. Just like a a thirty five second window of death. What if what if what if he he had been like pissing behind some barrels and they had been giving him shit about it? They're like going and he's like, dude, it's just us dudes out here. Who cares? He's like, we're gonna get written up if that lady comes down again. And so like he's pissing in there because they hired Marge to like oversee the trash <laughs> men because someone said there's no lady trash man. What about that? So they made like the head trash man for the region making six figures a lady. So now all mm-hmm. these poor trash men that work all their this is a made up scenario. None of this is true. But they're, they're you know they were working under their under her heel under oh, her. You're boot, selling me, man. Under her boot and and like poor Larry having to go in there and piss in that hot porta potty where it smells instead of behind the barrel like he's been doing for 27 years now, three years away from his his his, his big pension. retirement his pension. Yeah, and yeah. And, and and daughter and dirt, just graduated from college. And and that new and that young little um that white um trans girl that they hired recently um with the with the fox ears mm-hmm. to, to bull she's driving the bulldozer oh no and, uh, yeah she's her, and, her vision's obscured by the fox ears well she has to sit kind of funny because of the butt plug so she couldn't see over the front <laughs> <of> the <bulldozer. laughs> he's got the tail she's got the fox tail in S- sitting on her chair with like like her ass it's part of her identity. Yeah, here. it's part of her identity. So she has <laughs> she's allowed to wear it there at the you know at the job, and but but she, it, it it prevents her from seeing her at the top. So now, three years away from his pension, um, the 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 fox boy has has smushed him. You know while he's just taking a leak in there because everybody was meanwhile, butt plug hanging out. You know all day nobody says a peep because it's part of that person's identity. He should have made pissing behind barrels part of his identity. He should have identified as a dog man, hiked his leg. He'd still be alive. He would be. He'd look silly, but it'd be worth it. You know, tell you what, what you know, he looks real. What looks silly now. is when you get smashed into a poo capsule <laughs> by your friend in a bull. But, but it looks like if you took a Lego and squished a frog with it. <laughs> and then, oh, and then like, like, like I can imagine like. The guy drives over it. Do you think immediately he's like, I pray there was no one in there? Or do you think you can oh, like God, see yeah. the amount of like pop in a gusher? Remember when you used to like so, suck on a gusher until the, the thin walls and then it would pop in your mouth like that? Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I th- he would definitely know he was rated. hitting it unless he was in a huge piece of machinery. Like just the, the little crumpling noises and the, like there's a little bit of a bump no matter what it is. Like, like you yeah. know. Like I've driven big dozers and big like trackos and stuff, but like you know if it's got tires, that um, fucking but sucks. On tracks, it's like I don't know. I, I I like to imagine that like the guy died quickly, but there's no way he did. He died in over the course of like four or five seconds of sheer terror. He died the way he lived, shitty, <laughs> terrified, and amongst filth. Yeah, Ugh. I hate like stories like that are like deaths that don't mean anything. And that are totally avoidable, like accidents like that are so sad where it's just like you get like someone's life. Like they had thoughts and feelings and aspirations and ideas. And it's just I mean, like, well, oh, calm down. accident for two seconds. Gone. I mean, calm down. He was a garbage man. Let's, he had ideas about how to no, collect. No. He had ideas about how to collect the garbage, how to dispose <laughs> of the garbage, how to move the garbage. Let's not act like they had Leonardo da Vinci and the shitter out at the <laughs> Route 30 dump. Okay. <laughs> well, who knows? We've all seen films about the the genius janitor. How about this? I I, I bet Don Donuts. Film, the, the guy's probably a pedophile if he's working at a Florida landfill. For, for being honest. Y- you know what? That is how I how I make my mind okay with things. He he was a pedophile. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the rate they're being caught these days, you flip a coin and somebody's a pedophile. I mean, there's two of us here. <laughs> frankly, <laughs> frankly, frankly, folks. Um, I hope it's not me. I hope it's not me. <laughs> That's all I know. Because um, cause, cause like every fucking week, it's like, oh, yeah, that YouTuber. Yeah, he's, he's a pedophile. Oh, and, 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 and this celebrity. Oh, yeah, they're all pedophiles. And then it'll be like, Massive pedophile ring found in Yorkshire, 87 caught. And then it's like, wait, tell me more. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, a like, like, couple wait, of them you, former members of, of parliament pay no yeah, heed. It, it's, it's fucking wild. It's fucking wild. Um, they're, they're taking they they do it the same way like the NBA did with their refs, where the NBA came to the table and was like, okay, one of our refs was fixing games, but we fired that guy and we're full steam ahead we got rid of that guy who was doing this like that's what almost what i feel like with the weinstein and the epstein stuff where they're like 
so many people are like, oh, we got this snake out of Hollywood. And it's like, dude, that guy's not yeah, even wanna, a percentage of the problem. They want sure. everyone to be like, oh, hey, we got him. And close the books Dust and that like, off. get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It and, was and, funny. Like as when Me Too was like that wildly popular, there were so many celebrities coming out like, oh, it was an open secret the whole time. There's lots of open secrets in Hollywood. And it's like, what are they? I think. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I don't I still want to be able to do Avatar 3. I think that um, a lot of so the idea of these celebrities that they want to be relatable and they want to be like desirable and, and they want mm. their lifestyle to appear desirable so that you want to be more like them so that you want to watch them do their thing. Um, and, and, you know, that you'll buy products that they endorse. It's, it's important to them. But but mm -hmm. nowhere do you get to see the real version of them um, better than, than when you get a, 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 an honest reaction out of somebody. Like you see them in the heat of the moment. And you got that for once when Ricky Gervais was uh, was hosting that time. Um, you got to see people react to someone going off script while there was a camera there and embarrassing them in public. Mm -hmm. No one's ever done that. Do you think that like any of those celebrities like have anyone in their like day to day lives who would who would like roast them? Like like no. anywhere like 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 they're, anything close to that? They're surrounded by yes men. And, and and maybe you could say, oh, but but this uh, Clint, Clint Eastwood there, he's fucking real. It's like, all right, so maybe somebody called Clint Eastwood a coke head like in the 70s or something. Okay, mm -hmm. but, but that doesn't get past my point. They were so offended and like, oh my, when like like, like to Ricky Gervais, mm -hmm. like yeah. honest, real opinions about like the way that they've been behaving them, themselves. I wish that that he was hosting every award show every fucking year and, and he would and he was just, he was just their police. That, yeah. that, that should be the cost of being a celebrity that Ricky Gervais gets to uh, uh, gets to like, no knock warrant your home at any time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he gets the 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 uh, award show host version of a no knock warrant against you. He gets to turn that into a roast against anyone who attends. I'm, I'm totally and against you, no knock warrants, except for people who work in Hollywood. <laughs> I agree with that. We need to. They've got safe rooms where they hide things. That's where the little yeah. girls go. If you get, if, if you're like, oh, Mr. Baldwin, can I come in? Give me 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 40. Actually, you know what? Give me one minute. I can get this. I can get this done. Yeah, I'll I. I, I I'm, I'm super against the no knock warrants. I'm, I, it's, of course, it's fucked up. It, it doesn't. Could, Cause every now and then you knock on the wrong fucking house and kill people. How, like, like, like mm -hmm. uh, unless you're look, I'm okay with the military not knocking on some fucking sand dune across the other <laughs> side of the world. All right, help! Don't even yeah. go there. Blow that the doesn't fuck impact up. me at all. No, it doesn't impact the people <laughs> who employ the soldiers either, which is important. But we've got some fucking like people running the streets, no knock warranting, and that, that poor black lady that got killed. Mm -hmm. and, and then like the I, I think there was some civil litigation and they got like 10 or 18 million dollars something like that holy fuck yeah for the brianna taylor death i think, I think that that's was the one. one where he like shot through a wall into someone else's apartment dude. also right dude act his story is so comical he saw a muzzle flash and thought there was a someone shoot shooting a right i saw a muzzle flash and i just knew that the perpetrator was inside and he was executing my fellow officers in the head one at a time. Meanwhile, nothing of the sort was occurring. What? In reality, what was happening is they all were scared in the dark and shooting into a woman's apartment. So, so like, He-Man flanks around and starts blasting through a glass sliding door into someone else's home. And so that's what this whole trial that just happened was all about. It was, it was about whether he recklessly fired his firearm into a white man's apartment while they were killing the black woman. Cause that's settled. We don't need to talk about that. Wait, the, the 18 million went to the guy in the other apartment. The 18 million was a civil thing that, it, that went up, went down out of court, I believe right. um, between like be the city and the Brianna Taylor family. Um, but, but there's been no legal proceeding about her death. Really? Really? Yeah, they killed. And are they then, not going? Are they not going to? No, they're not going to. And then recently, you had that thing. Um, I don't like cops. Same very stuff. Much. No, nobody likes cops. I don't care for them very much. There's like, there's those, always uh, there's always like the oh, but there's so many good cops, and I'm sure there are, but I haven't met. I've met one. And I've yeah, met me many too. cops. I've met many many cops, and I know one who's a genuinely cool guy who doesn't want to fuck with people. 
Like he he wants to take it low and slow. Like he's a very, he's not a very confrontational guy. But did well, you see that old cop? Um, he was retired who like gunned the guy down in the the movie theater. No, when did this happen? Oh. So the trial just it just ended. That's that's why I'm aware of it. He was like a 61 year old white grandfather in a movie theater, and there's video of it. And it's a little sketchy what actually happened. But I think his story is that like this guy attacked him, and he pulled out his uh, concealed weapon. He's retired, and uh, he killed this man in the fucking movie theater. And I watched the video, and what the guy does, he takes a bag of popcorn and throws it in Grandpa's face, and he shoots him for it. Kills started, him, I'm sure, and, and it killed him. And he just he just got off at trial, but um, I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? It's pretty disrespectful throwing that bag of popcorn in that old man's face. So he is this guy Curtis Reeves in the old west. If somebody throwing a bag of popcorn in an old man's face, first of all, you've been impressed by how much money they just wasted because that popcorn would have been rare. Yeah, it would have been more rare. I wish I could find the video for this. It looks like this old. Oh, I. I don't know why I thought it was an old white guy shooting a black person. It's an old white guy shooting a younger white guy, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, luckily for I him. Can't find video. There's no way that guy could have seen a black man in that dark theater anywhere. Doesn't seem like he could see fucking anything. He hit that guy. Popcorn. Uh, okay. That's oh, right. yeah. Dude, I love hearing um, speeches that have been um, written by lawyers. Uh, he goes, uh, um, what happened then? Well... It's hard to say exactly what occurred then, but I know I was struck in the face and I was I was discombobulated and my glasses were askew. And like like these are all things that cannot be disproven. Like, yeah. like no matter what. It's totally like, unfalsifiable. Like, you, what does discombobulated mean? It's a it, it's kind of in the air. Like, 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 like it, it, it's a what feeling. What does fearing for your safety mean? Yeah. Where his glasses weren't knocked off. I'm sure his lawyer at some point was like. Were your glasses knocked off? No. It could have been a little askew, though, right? Well, no, they stayed on. I got good glasses. But they could have been askew. Yeah, I suppose they could have been askew. My memory is a little fuzzy. That's right, it is. Because because I'm discombobulated. That's right, sir. And then, you know, like somebody had like walked him through exactly how to lay out what had happened to him. So, But it's whatever. I, I, I guess what I thought about it a lot, and I, I what it boiled down to for me was, if you're a piece of shit in a movie theater throwing popcorn in old men's faces, I like that there's one less of you. <laughs> that like, is unbelievably rude behavior to throw popcorn at someone. A whole bag of popcorn. He like, 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 like threw it hard. Like, like struck him in the face with the bag. Wasting, like, like, I'm wasting not. I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to like blow what he did out of like like. Me. And then the bag struck him and his head kicked back like a <sighs> bag of popcorn. But back still, and to the left. Back into the no, it's like disrespectful and uh, like like I don't know. I always try to be so quiet and like polite in movie theaters and like not make any noise and get my. I'd be so embarrassed if my phone went off. Like oh like, yeah, always silent. Sit there, like if I, I'm okay I don't like whispering. I'm I'm okay whispering quietly during a previews. Like when you're sitting there, like oh that kind of looks okay, or ah oh, that looks like garbage. Can you believe that? But yeah, once oh, it yeah. starts, shut the fuck up. And and let everybody else enjoy what they paid for just as much as you. Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. Previews, it's fine. Like like mm. like, talk how you want to the preview. Although, don't like. This is that new Peter Jackson flick. <laughs> yeah, I think he does cocaine. Like, like, like what is this? Guy you always know that guy where it's like this movie's an hour and forty minutes long, and you have five beers in front of you. <laughs> like, I, first of I, all, I, Iron Bladder. How the hell are you gonna? <laughs> But you're you're gonna drink a beer every twelve minutes for the next two hours. I think Jeez, I'm gonna go to the movies beer? Uh, this weekend. I want to see the Batman. Oh, I know I saw you it. saw it. Yeah, and you don't you didn't you didn't care for it too much. Let me let me say this about like because I don't know anything about it. I've mm-hmm. said I don't want any spoilers. I, had, I knew nothing. Here's going what in. here's what I know. Like just from like seeing posters and like that sort of thing. Looks like Robert Pattinson is gonna play like a Batman who doesn't really want to be a Batman very much. And it's going to have to like slowly like be brought into it over time. And it seems like he's much more grounded with his car and with the armor and everything. Like mm-hmm. he's less of a godlike figure and more of like a guy driving a hot rod around beating people up. And it That's seems fair, like he's yeah. more of a detective this time too, than like 
um, like like hoity toity billionaire maybe because I haven't seen any like pictures of him like really in a tuxedo doing like boardroom shit. It seems like he's just yeah. beating people up and maybe at a party once. It, there is. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything, but <clears throat> like because I saw reviews. I, I didn't. I went in blind, but I saw not even reviews. I saw people on Twitter being like, "This is so good. It's such a great Batman." So I went in with high hopes and like. I am not one to bitch about long movies. My favorite movies are Lord of the Rings. I like long epics that build the story and that get you more invested in the character development. I enjoy that. I really do. This movie is, is it's too long for hmm. what they delivered to you. It's almost really? three hours long and there are huge spans. I felt like where the plot was not being progressed in a meaningful way. That wasn't that interesting. There was way too much passive brooding, I'll call it, from Robert Pattinson going on. Yeah. Um, and it, like, it, I just I, I wasn't blown away by it. I was expecting okay. something on the same level of of good as the Christian Bale series, but uh, oh. the, the the Joker. I would put this movie. This movie is not nearly as good as the Joker one, the Dark Knight, whatever. If that's what it's called, uh, it's probably it's better than the bane one i would say oh it has and, to and be also better. it's worse it's worse than the liam neeson one the liam neeson okay. one and the joker one are better than this by far so i don't like i'm a big fan of christopher nolan movies but i don't like the christopher nolan batman movies i like the second one with um the joker but i think mm -hmm. the first one is just okay as far as like superhero movies go and mm -hmm. the third one is like bad bad like like less than average like a, a three or four out of ten like yeah. bad movie bad I, I, movie. I, it was years ago that you told me the bane one was bad and i remember being like he's wrong and then like i rewatched and was like oh this was bad like it's like you want it to be good because it's his because mm, i know, like tom hardy a lot but no, it's also because like christopher nolan is a really good filmmaker mm -hmm. so he has set a story up to make you want big things and good things to happen the music is amazing it's it's it's, it's building to the moment but then when you get to when you stop if you pause that movie in the in the finale of the third chris nolan batman movie and you realize what's happening here you've mm -hmm. basically got a very similar scenario to the 1960s uh batman tv show where they like yeah. blam splat yeah. it's <laughs> daytime Pow. it's a daytime free for all fist fight between men in costumes and henchmen and police officers in New York with a nuclear weapon like sitting over there and the bomb is comically shaped like you know like a cannonball or something yeah. like that and at the end the big Batman fuse. has to fly it away the whole thing is like a children's cartoon it's not even as good as a children's cartoon because that old Batman cartoon that I watched as a kid was fire. That 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 it was so good. I loved the um. It's the one where Mark Hamill is the Joker. That was a yeah. that was a really good show. I saw some episodes of that animated series when I was a kid, and I never. It was one of those where like I didn't know what time it was on, so I would catch random episodes. Same as like Dragon Ball Z. I remember coming home from school and watching no, Dragon Ball Z and having no idea what the fuck was happening because it would never be se sequential. It's definitely not Batman Beyond. Uh, Mark Hamill might have done voice work in Batman Beyond, it, but I'm thinking oh. of it's Batman: The Animated Adventures. I think. I think oh, the animated Batman. series. Yeah, yeah I've just, seen some yeah. of that. Yeah, I would know it if I saw like. But the maybe maybe you'll you like it more. I hope you like the Batman more than I did. It just it took oh, too that, long. It was it was not. Well, you went to the theater, huh? Much. Yeah, yeah, what I was went to like? the theater. Uh, it was like probably halfway full it was more full than i expected but it was also one of those theaters where like we went to the ones with the huge like big sofa seats that everybody yeah. gets with the recliners and and so it's only got like what a, a 60 person capacity at most and okay. i bet there were 30 people there it was, it was, it was a fun experience i like any... going to the movies yeah i haven't been since covid is there any like mask wearing going on in there mm -mm, no no nobody yeah. <clears throat> it's over don't you yeah. love it? Over, like the um, there are for for now the uh the TSA or whatever is saying like still masks, but mm -hmm. they even admit they're like we're about to go to like some sort of middle ground, but we haven't exactly figured out what that is yet. But mm -hmm. but like they're about to make it so that like oh you're vaccinated then no mask, like that's coming mm -hmm. to the airplanes like in a month. Yeah, there's like no there's no masks around where I am at all hardly. 
But I'm just saying, like, on a global scale, like, it was oh, yeah. decided that it was over about two weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> it was decided, like, we're we're not doing this anymore. They canceled COVID just like they're canceling Russia right now. They're like, Coca-Cola has decided COVID doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. Ah, GE also decided COVID doesn't exist. I, hi, I'm from the UK. <laughs> COVID doesn't exist here either. Woo! And this thing, everybody <laughs> went circle and decided. Yay, we all agree. So we can, I guess, stop. And well, then, anyway, like, on to Ukraine. <laughs> I know Woody's point was like, oh, but it's the Omicron variant. It went, it burned out. And then like the news is like, actually, the Omicron variant weakens cells for hardier variants that are yet to come. Instead of <laughs> <laughs> the next, the Omicron How the B hell could they know that? <laughs> <laughs> like, because they've got Omicron patients that they're dissecting in Japan, <laughs> Taylor. They've got, they've got North Korea. Oh, vivisecting. I'm glad I remembered this. Like, like all jokes aside, there's this fucking YouTube series that, that made me cry the other day because it's North Koreans um, reacting to like shit and like for the first time or whatever. And they have like these two like ex North Korean soldier guys. Mm -hmm. And then they got a North Korean soldier girl. And uh, she, she's the one I was watching because um, I guess she'd made a few of these videos. She's reacting to like, what school buses look like in America or whatever, you know, and then whatever. And it was cute. And so someone sent her a care package from the U S and she opens it up and it's front of, it's full of pop tarts and like um, Cheetos and Cheez-Its and goldfish. And she's just like, starts breaks down and starts fucking crying. She's like, I've never been given a gift before. I've never even had a birthday gift. Jesus. And someone, someone has given me all of this, all of this for me. Why, why am I so special? And then she starts reading the card, dude, and it's a troll. It's Rih the, the the shit got sent to her from someone named Rihanna in Space Force. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna in Space Force. And I was like, please, no one tell her that this is just a joke and that Americans are wasteful with their money. <laughs> like, <laughs> because she was so touched. It was so sweet. That, that she, is very sweet. She's like eating the pop tart. She's like, ooh, strawberry, and like 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 everything. Like gaining weight in real time. Just every little food is. An adventure for her like some some beef like jack link's beef jerky she's like it's like a dried sausage huh We're like yeah like yeah. yeah and that's the worst brand of it we have <laughs> yeah. every brand but that is better i like seeing them uh react to like american military because they've been told their whole lives that like north korean military is like neck and neck with u.s oh, for sure and it, and it's only because the u.s is like with japan that they are, are like strong enough to even like be a japan. problem yeah, that's what they're told. They've got two enemies in North Korea: Japan, obviously South Korea, oh, yeah. but Japan and uh, and the U.S. are the are the real problem. Otherwise, there'd be one Korea. That's their mm -hmm. idea. Oh, okay. but, like, Japan, the U.S. are the real problem, and uh, and and so like these guys are like, what were you told? They're asking, what were you told about you know your weapon systems? We were told that maybe not the best, but close, and we had way more, so it didn't even matter. And then they would just, like show them like. Um, oh, uh, but we have this laser system that like shoots a laser beam off of a boat and like blows shit up and mm -hmm. they couldn't understand it at first. They were like, I don't get it. It's a cannon, right? We have, we have big cannons. They're like, <laughs> no, no, no. It's a beam of light. <laughs> and then <laughs> they both went, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> you have this. And it goes, so then it travels at the speed of light. Yeah. And you're like, yeah okay and well then, then and, he's and, pretty bright <laughs> and and then the like the voice that's like narrating the the video they're watching goes and it only costs a dollar per shot because it's just light you know mm -hmm. it's just it's just energy from a nuclear battery or some shit um and then they looked at like just various aircraft and just seeing them blown away is pretty funny um by like so are, various these, like, are these like defectors yeah yeah they escaped so they'll ask him you know like what was what did you do and he's like i mostly shoveled snow and, you know, you'd shovel snow and you'd finish shoveling snow from all day and you'd look behind you and more snow. So you'd shovel more snow. I shoveled a lot of snow. <laughs> like, Jesus like, Christ. And probably it, no shoes or shitty shoes and shorts. Uh, it looked pretty rough. Oh, the, what's fun is to see them eat different foods. So like, Yeah, that would be neat. Seeing them experience something good for probably one of the first times. Yeah. Um, like like seeing that lady eat a Twinkie for the first time and like with her, with her poor rotten teeth. And oh. knowing that this was just going to send her down a down a, a, a dangerous path. path, we don't need to be introducing North Korean refugees to sugar. 
<laughs> they just, never had let, it just lean them in with give them some stuff with like xylitol in it xylitol tastes like dog shit but if someone's never had anything but dog shit it's gonna taste pretty good it was it was real sad um to, to see them react to some of the, like normal shit and just be blown away because they've been told so many lies mm-hmm. um it, it's pretty wild you know we joked around about the st- uh the pledge of allegiance last week yeah, you know, yeah. We said that shit every day but they didn't like hammer it in or anything. And they didn't like let us know that Mexico was our fucking blood enemy. And that one day that we were going to have to kill all the Mexicans or they'd eat our babies. And that's the kind of shit that they tell them. Yeah. Well, I mean, when they have total media control, so they can say whatever they want. Like they, they're not even allowed to like, if they're caught with like a thumb drive or something that they found from the outside world, they get executed. Like it's, it's insane. The authoritarianism they have going on. Um, Makes us feel very lucky to not have been seen, born in a country you, like that. Have you seen them in Moscow and St. Petersburg grabbing people in the streets and taking their phones and be like, open your phone. They open their phone and they start swiping through to see if they've written, if they've looked at any websites they're not supposed to or texted anybody or tweeted about anything um, in Ukraine. And if they did, they're, they're yoinking them. Fuck. Like I, I watched them. These guys, first of all, they're dressed like fucking stormtroopers. Like I mean, mm-hmm. like like black Robocop men in helmets. And he's just, he's like flicking through his this guy's phone, like looking for fucking propaganda or some shit. And the guy's just like, "Fuck, I'm glad I didn't look up any propaganda." You see, I told you, I told you, Paige to be a good boy. Look at this. <laughs> he's gonna look through my. Can I have it back now, Daddy? Thank you. Thank you very much. No, I would I, just I, like I'd have my say my my home screen set to like Putin. <laughs> Just so they're yeah. like, wow, this guy's number one fan, and I'm like, yeah. I'm I'm wearing a Putin hat. Um, I got a Putin. One of those, I got a Putin sound maker. Click, 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 click. So yeah, you're, you're, what's the password? USSR. USSR. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh USA. Yes. <laughs> Bang! Just <laughs> dead, dude. It's it's fucking wild what is going on in the world. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I said last week. This is like the third biggest thing I think that's happened in my sh- my short little thirty five years on this earth. I think the biggest thing is nine eleven, and the second biggest thing is the Indonesian um, tsunamis, uh, and then I think this falls right. and And this could get this could catch up. Uh, this could catch up bigger. Hope, pray that it does not. But it, you know, anything's possible. This is. Well, I'm not gonna pray. I, I mean, I, I'm not gonna do any send, magic. Send send well wishes to the, your heavenly. I'm not gonna pray. I'm not gonna do any magic spells. Probably not gonna do any dances. I'll pray for you. I'm not gonna like burn any herbs. Uh, I might make a big big golden calf. Talk to it about this whole scenario. Um, that can't that can't hurt. I've heard of people doing that before, and it worked for them. Uh, golden Briefly. calves. Golden calves are, are are big. They have been big. I think they're on a, they're on the comeback. They could be, um, but but I refuse to do anything else. Um, I, I send a little money for those fucking dogs to some shit, and um, and uh, if I, I I I hope that like somebody goes over there and tags some Russian vehicles with uh, RSK because we really need Russia to stop killing RSK. Mm-hmm. Um, and and if I could see that on the news, I would just it would just make my day. It would just make my. Day. <laughs> Someone has to risk their fucking life for you to and be like, ah, this. neat. Let me say this: People are always asking, like, "How? Oh, how do you get started on YouTube? How do you get how do you do this and that?" It's by taking advantage uh, advantage of little moments when it's it, when there's the world is there to be taken, and this is one of them. Okay, um, if you were over there making a video series right now um, of you just documenting and uploading it to YouTube with a few GoPros, it would be you'd be a huge YouTuber in a month. And 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 if you went to another level, like if you're ex-military and you like were documenting like your service defending Ukraine, you would be an enormous YouTuber. You might be a celebrity. I don't know, depending on what you get on footage. And yeah. the footage alone could be worth tons of money. And you'd be doing a good thing, right? Defending and those people and fighting for freedom and all that good you'd stuff. You'd have to get some good footage though, which means you have to put yourself in some very risky situations. You want to you want to Get yourself a cameraman, okay? Because you're gonna want some angles. And then send him in. Good call. No, well, the camera. Well, you need two cameramen. Uh, one yeah. to like send in first. That, that, that he goes down, and then you got to go in for the hero shots. You're gonna need the other guy to film. That's you. I, I I like film it Russian like Soviet Union style, where I hire three cameramen, but I have one camera. 
and I send the first guy in, and then when he gets shot, the other guy picks up the camera, and then when he dies, the other guy picks up the camera, and then first I First man gets the camera. camera, second man gets a battery. <laughs> Third man gets the fucking backstrap. Here's your memory card, son. Good luck. It's the only one we have. <laughs> Please don't. He's got enough for seven shots. Dude, they're out of fucking trucks. The Russians are. They're send, They're they're requisitioning all the dump trucks in Russia and sending them to the front uh, because all their trucks have rotted tires. So the only way to get food and weapons, ammunition, uh, stuff like that to the front is with like a dump truck they stole from a farmer or, or a brick I, I I always pictured Russia would have a glut of trucks. Like they more did. Than they would need. Oh yeah, they, they they did have a glut of trucks, and now they have a bog of trucks. <laughs> yeah, and, and the fun part is because like they all got everybody keeps talking about that convoy. What I've heard people say, and and what I believe, that convoy stuck, and and I don't mean don't think like oh the the truck in the front broke down and now they can't go forward. Think like every fifth truck won't start now. Mm-hmm. And and like how do you now how do you turn how around? How do you and navigate go back? that? Yeah. How do you go back? Because you can't go off road at all, or the, or you're immediately stuck, right? If it I, goes um, like tits up for them and they full on lose, they're just going to have to abandon shit loads of armor, right? A, and just hand it to Ukraine. They're basically. losing so many tanks because, like I said, I, it's I'm telling you, if you guys go to the combat footage subreddit, the Ukraine conflict subreddit, the Ukraine video report subreddit. Um, you'll see so much footage of various like anti-tank weapon systems being used to like knock out armor over there and not just like tanks like the I, I'm starting to learn a little bit about Russian vehicles unfortunately but but like not just main battle tanks but anything with wheels they'll shoot a rocket at because there's people in them mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's got to be so demoralizing I watched I they referred to it as a tank battalion and I counted it looked like about 25 big tanks were mm-hmm. like in a city square parked with Russians walking around and they start hitting it with artillery fire, like, like big explosions and stuff. And all the Russians have to run and jump in their tanks and drive away as the artillery fire continues to fall upon them. And then they, they announced today that like the like battalion commander was one of the tanks that got hit and he's dead now. And they, they, every other day they're mentioning like a general or something is dying. And it seems like from what you said, a lot of them are getting fired as well. Uh, I think they fired uh, like a whole uh, sw- uh, swarm of them today or yesterday, maybe by now. Um, it's it's definitely going. You know bad. what? It, it's like a- it's it, as funny as it is. It's scary too because it really mm-hmm. backs Putin into a corner. If he had like globally speaking, I think if he had just gone in and captured Ky- Kiev and and it was over now, like the world is is in a safer place. Maybe not long term. Maybe seventy years from now, we have some serious issues because of it. But like. Because he's getting like, because he's looking like a fool right now, and he's looking weak mm-hmm. and foolish, he's getting backed into a corner. It'd be so scary if he if he if he used a nuclear weapon or he uh, or or he did something yeah, that it's that a very dangerous that draws... country to back into a corner. <clears throat> it, there's some red lines in place that that aren't. Everybody wants this no fly zone because they're idiots. Like, like I don't think anybody older they're hoping than, for World War Three. I don't think anybody like older than twenty five. Um, wants a no fly zone, dude. I uh, saw some fucking retarded like Republican representative clip today, where the, someone asked her like, "Should we, should we have a no fly zone in Ukraine?" She's like, "Yes, we should." And they're like, "So you would approve of us shooting down Russian planes?" Of course. It's like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? You should yeah. like you to to be to be dumber on this than us. Like, yeah, come like, on. No, you got, you got to get out of there. Like, if, like, if normalized I, I, people are like, we don't want World War III, and, and like, and this is, this is like one, one stupid lady, you know, it's, I, I'm not saying there's huge. No, no, I, people but, but I think, it. I think there are people who just like. The neocons want it. Every, when, when I grew up, we, we talked a lot about nuclear war and like how bad it would be. Like all of our scary, mm-hmm. mo- like most of our scary movies had nuclear war in it. There was a lot of movies about, you know, the, the threat of nuclear war. It was, a, it was, a, maybe we haven't done that in a long time and be, and, and like, like like 20 year olds or 15 year olds or whatever don't fucking know it, it's the end it's over if that happens like it doesn't yeah. matter if a few of us live in pockets i'm not saying it's going to turn out into, into like fallout i mean it's not going to turn to a sci-fi movie but like this little trajectory that humanity's been on where every year the iphone gets a little bit better that ends and it doesn't oh, yeah. come back for a for our lifetimes it won't come back or yours or your grandchildren's but what are we on iPhone 12 or something? Yeah. We, you will not see an iPhone 13 if this happens. Okay. 
Like, and, and, and that's the least of your problems. Like, like I'm just trying to talk. Like, I, I feel trying to say is like, yeah. We're kind of done as like right now, every, every year things get better. Like, like, like we're kind of done with that. Yeah. There's, we're, we're done with things getting better as, as a species time for a long get time. Worse again. Things will get worse for a long time. And it might take us a generation or two or three for things just to even back out so that now, like, we're not all dying of hepatitis again. Oh, like, yeah. Like, 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 who knows what we'll, we'll start dying of if we don't have, like, all of the things that we have access to right now. If you just turned off the fucking diesel for a week, nobody would have medicine or food. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're a lot more fragile than we like to think. Like, our whole lifestyle, everything. If 75% of the global population dies the, the, and, and then we're in a nuclear winter, it's just, it's over. It's just yeah. over. So, so we can't people, do that. People have and, this idea that like history is a march of progress. And it's like, no, like there are enormous setbacks. There are huge problems. There are times where centuries go by that pale in comparison to the advances of centuries prior. Like it's, 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 it would be easy for us to lose all this comfort that we have. And absolutely. it's pretty scary, but like, like, like things like warmth, yeah. having warmth in the winter would become would be a thing that uh, from a bygone era. Mm -hmm. like, like, that's the kind of like shit you're talking about with a with a full blown thermonuclear war. Sure. Watch a goddamn YouTube video called called What Happens if Everyone Shoots Their Nukes. You know, I'm not watching that. That's scary. <laughs> I'm gonna send you like freeze frames. <laughs> okay, send it to me. <laughs> so I, you want to call it a show? I am. Yeah, so I, think so. I haven't had uh, water in two and a half hours. I don't want anybody to be like um like super worried about Woody. Um, I haven't had an update from him, but like the I, I wasn't exaggerating. Um, J Jackie had a uh, a little accident on her bike. Um, I don't. I think she's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I know she's okay. Um, she's just got like a fracture or something in an arm or something like that. But, yeah. but like uh, she's banged up, but she'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, check out our cum pills. Uh, check out Matt Farah, fun yep. guy. Enjoyed having him as a guest. And check out we'll... ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN. Anything else? Nope. I think we're good. PKA five eighty six.